Hello, is this working? Is this working? Okay, if you can see and hear me, please say... One star. <laughs> if we know how to raid Koltora, which would be one star, then I guess this is working. Should be able to hear me. Okay, I can see one star. Should be able to hear me. And should be able to hear some background music, which may or may not be too quiet. Would I lose? Nah, I'd win. If the music is too quiet, let me know. I can turn it up. One star. Okay, excellent. I'm recording everything. I think all the emotes are okay. The main issue is that you just see a bunch of cheese instead of the list, so... <laughs> Maybe we should bring that up. Excellent. This is one of the few series where I can't get the thumbnail joke reference. You have to watch Jujutsu Kaisen. Okay, and Plague Mon Karma is here. Excellent! So we can start. Sort of. Once all of the... All of the things are actually on screen correctly. I'm looking for the... Okay, this one says tier list window, which is what I want. But it has to actually uh, contain the tier list window. Right now it says Q nuts, which is not correct. Okay, you can see this, but the aspect ratio is wrong, so I gotta fix that. That's probably fine. We'll do this, and then make sure it's not cut off, right? Aspect ratioed, all this Twitter... Th what does it mean to get ratioed? It's when... That's not right. It's gotta hold alt. Some stuff gets cut off. How much gets cut off gets cut off? Quite a quite a lot. So I'd have to make it maybe a little bit smaller. Does that let me fit everything in? I know this is like the riveting gameplay you guys have come to expect from these lists. You gotta hold alt. Nope. just a little bit okay this will definitely fit everyone but now maybe it's too small that's a Firo. how's this oh that fits everyone and let's just make this bigger okay so now everything fits How's this? Can you still see the individual Pokemon? I think you can, right? I actually want you to see my cursor. I think this size is okay, right? It has Grillemo. This is probably fine. As long as the size is fine, then... Wait, hang on. Why is that white at the top? Did you miss anything? This is a cheese tier list, and it has only been six minutes. So don't worry, you're not going to miss anything until, like, the one hour mark. Okay, I'm locking the tier list. Uh, I've never done a tier list with somebody else actually in the voice chat I don't think I'm brave enough to try it so thank you for the offer but I'm going to I also don't know how that would like technically work it would probably just be a mess maybe next time I'm sorry it's usually just switching and desktop audio it would work fine. I 
I, if people want to try it, we can try it. It's gonna take forever, though. Let's start with the insta-kill toxic leech seed combo. I'm not sure what the soy emote means. Can't learn until we try. Okay, I'm guessing the soy emote means people want to try it, so. I'll try and set it up. How does this work? I think I start a voice call, right? I may need to disable streamer mode. I've disabled it. If I hit this... Alright, there we go. Oh! Okay, Let's I can see. hear you. Can, can other people hear? Okay... Uh, by- I don't know how good my audio is, so I'll just gotta, like, check a sec. Okay, other people can hear. Audio. I think- uh, I have to- I can turn them up. But I think okay. I have to turn the music off, otherwise their voice gets mixed with the music. Which, I think yeah. everyone will be okay with, so, sorry, there won't be any music. Yeah. Okay. Alright, that's pretty good. <laughs> Also, I also yesterday I was sick as fuck. Holy shit! <laughs> so my so my my voice may just be like the worst anyone's ever heard in their life. Yeah, audio quality's mid. Yet yeah, that's just standard for me. Don't be worried. Uh, I'll see if. I... How does everybody? How is the? Sick. How are the volume levels? Uh, I mean, I can't. I I, I have to disable the stream. Oh, uh, let's see. Apparently, I took it. What? How? <laughs> This sounds the same. Oh, okay. Sick. <clears throat> Audio is okay? Okay, I, I just lowered the volume a little bit. So this should be okay. Sick. Sick. <clears throat> oh, man. Why do you have every evolution stage in the tier list you usually rank the final stage? It's because I didn't make this list! I'm probably still only going to talk <laughs> about one for each. Yeah, I saw the stall from Capcord, right? And yeah, this is actually going to be the last time I'm probably going to have any, like, YouTube integration. Uh, I've kind of, like, canned my, my channel projects after ma releasing the thing. Oh. That's released my last video. <laughs> uh. Uh. Okay, so... What do we do here? I do have to get the... There's one more tech thing I have to do. I know, very exciting. I have to get the... This thing. Pacha! the spreadsheet with all of the info that's actually in the pinned comment which you guys can see and they won't read it bro come on <laughs> no no they're not gonna read it i don't expect that at all but i have to show parts of it during the list so uh, they, they gotta read this <laughs> oh i just have to make sure yeah. that it's in like a readable aspect so it is oh this is kind of okay I gotta make sure that... Well, I really care about the Pokemon, right? So this is not working because it's way too focused. Do you know Bulbasaur's the seed Pokemon? If I do this... Okay, you can't see the most important uh, part, which is the stats. So, disastrous. Oh, yeah, shout out to Misty for making this, by the way. Like, it took, it took her, like, three days or so, I think. And, like, just working on it non-stop, it just went completely over the top with it. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> I'm surprised it only took three days. It's a lot of info. I think it was like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think some of it was like adapted from like the source code, I think. And then like they just added all like the TM numbers for some reason. It's insane. It's the most incredible thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, this is not oh, working worries. because I can see the stats, but you guys can't. The stats are what I care about the most. So let me see if I can... If you like drag the window, maybe? Uh, that's that's what I'm trying to do. I think I might end up. Mm. That's pretty large. 
Can I add the Subway Surfer footage? I think I actually can. <laughs> uh, I got a... Yeah, there's Stim Waifus, but that's not... I can add the Stim Waifus, so... Please understand as we set up uh, everything. <laughs> Stim Waifus. <laughs> okay. Oh! I don't cut myself with five gifted subs, thank you. Here, I can play this one as well. Thank you for the gracious gift of convenience. Overlaid right over Erica. I think this should work. And once we get this, we should actually be able to start. Yeah. I asked Brodo Bro about it. I am, I am, I am very well, sort of. Actually, I was sick yesterday, <laughs> but otherwise, I'm good. Well, <laughs> thirteen minutes and not a single Pokemon ranked. Please have good. patience. <laughs> okay, I have to turn the Stim waifus off because they're getting in the way. <laughs> Stat window. Now you can see the moves, but I need the... I need the stats! Oh. Okay, there's the stats. Now I can get rid of this. Mm -hmm. Okay. You even got the crit rates, it's great. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so you can't quite see the Pokemon, but... Maybe if I make this... If you make a clone of the sheet yourself, you could you could just delete, like, some rows, possibly. Oh, maybe. Which then would just, like, bring it all closer. Because you probably don't want the Pokedex entry stuff, right? Unless people want to look at that. I don't know if... I don't know what they're interested in. <laughs> uh, I might nah, be... Uh, this, is, this is usable, I think, because they'll know what Pokemon we're talking about, because we'll actually... Be talking about the oh, Pokemon, yeah, but... so it shouldn't be a surprise. So I want to make, the, yeah, I just wanna make yeah. this a little bit bigger. If hmm. I hit 125, oh, that's pretty good. What if I hit 150? Oh, perfect. Look at that. You can see that it is a little cut off. We're almost oh, done. Oh, yeah, there we go. And then we can just look at one Pokemon at a time, which is what we actually want anyway. Oh yeah, do you mind like screen sharing like uh, you think with me? Because so, so I, my computer has a stroke when I'm like on using YouTube at the same time. <laughs> uh, I can try. Give me a second. Screen yeah, sharing. Yeah. The oh, what? What part of it? Hi hi. I think I can screen share the entire monitor, but I don't know how useful that is. But this is what I see. Right. And hopefully this doesn't destroy my computer. Uh, actually, it may, it may actually. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Okay, my computer is still running. You can see... Yeah, yeah. That much? Okay, I'm, I'm... perfect. <laughs> Alright! What's that? Uh, yeah. What do the different badges next to your names mean? That is the amount of time you've been an official YTC Institute member. I know that time flies when you're having fun, right? Of course. Everybody has fun here. Alright, 13 minutes and not a single Pokemon ranked. It's gonna be longer than 13 minutes, pal. How convenient. Alright, before we actually start recording things... Uh, we're going to try, and I'm not going to say this is going to be fast, but I think we're going to aim to be under two hours premium. I think we can do it, and the way we're going to do it is by being lazy. Because I think if a Pokemon has no changes, we're just not going to talk about it. So, for example, um, like the so first three... a lot of Pokemon three... have got a few changes. What's that? Um... A lot of Pokemon do have like a few changes, like uh, Venusaur, Charizard, and uh, Blastoise have like learned set changes. Well, I don't care about uh, those, so I'm just not going to mention them. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. 
But I, I think if it's like I'm gonna say like significant changes. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I think of the starters, the only one I would actually talk about would be Blastoise, even though it's not actually <laughs> Blastoise. Yeah, yeah. Uh, unless people have strong objections to that, but I think for a lot of them, I just feel like it's almost exactly the same, and I just wouldn't have anything to say. Yeah, yeah. I've been a loyal YTC volunteer before we were loyal sacrifices. That's true, you do have a marsh badge. Gyarados has become immensely powerful. I don't know. It's definitely better, but I, I don't think it's immensely sure. powerful. We'll see. I sure play out of Misty Pistol. Yeah, I, I did add them, but I don't think Misty put them on the spreadsheets, uh, which actually is a bit inconvenient, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> um, it's like some old stuff uh, sometimes. Man, I can't wait for the 9 billionth Kanto remake. This recipe is definitely not 50 years past its expiration date. Hey, man, if you can't appreciate the gr- I love Kanto. You can never get enough Kanto. How can you be 50 years past your expiration date? When the fun never expires. Well, you good, bro? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry. That just happens sometimes when we play Gen One games. Can't, can't relate. Can't relate. <laughs> okay, all the Pokemon are on here. Oh, I didn't know the pre Evos were in this game, like Iglybuff and Cleffa. How do you get those? Um, some of these, some of these words actually, like some of these were put into the showdown mod, but we okay, didn't have space on the cartridge the itself. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, because we we had we had like a stupid limit of like 253 without okay. like refactoring half the fucking game. It was, and I wasn't about to do that. Like I was already like halfway through. It was like uh, nah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so in that case, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna add like a daycare for all these babies. So we're not actually gonna rank them. I think it's it's mostly the babies that haven't been added, right? What color is the day? Yeah, care? it's like the Johto babies and like a few other like little stragglers. Okay. Uh, we, we we put in the stuff that people actually want to use. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, so now I don't have to waste my time talking about the Paris Prevo. Horrible. Baby microwave. <laughs> I think that's Johto babies. So Magby. It's like this, like, Ty Rogue thing next to Hitmon Lee. Which is, okay, like, the so that should also demo. get put in the daycare. It's next to Remus, I believe. Almost there. Almost there. To the right. Stuff, stuff looks really small to me, so please forgive me if I'm, like, flailing. What is this thing? It's a Grimer Prime Prevo. <laughs> okay, well. Yeah, it's it. That, maybe so I should name like, this that, trash that's some stuff that definitely never move <laughs> Porygon uh, is good. Uh, here's Magby. That's gone. So that means Elekid's also gone. This is Mime Jr. Like, next to, like to the left of Hitmonlee in the middle. Left of Hitmonlee uh, in the middle of this thing, right? Ty. Yeah, Ruff. that's what Tyrogue was meant to be at one point. Oh. <laughs> okay, I think I got all the Prevos, right? Everything else should be... Okay, what well, is this thing? Like a... Uh, don't do a pre-evolution. <laughs> Banished. Yes. <laughs> that should be everything. Kotora. I believe the rest got, got, got put into the game at the end. This is... Hisui and Voltorb. Which doesn't exist? I don't think. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the... The regional form pre-evolutions also didn't get added at the end. For the same reason. Okay. I think we were like, one space off to be able to actually do it. Okay. Gra yeah, Growlithe Prevo is also not in. But the Vulpix and one is. is. And neither is Hisu and Growlithe as well. Right. Got banished. <laughs> but what is it? Okay, I'm just gonna very quick. Wiglet is in the game because I caught a Wiglet. Yeah, I was like, yeah, that was. 
No, actually, for some fun trivia on that front. Uh, for a while, we, we when you fished it up, it would end up playing like the the champions theme for a bit because we just it was positioned in a certain way. Uh, oh. Because of the way that the game processes music, it was so so silly. Well, I'm definitely not considering Wiggly the champion. It's it's definitely going in the C tier. The C tier <laughs> is going to be flooding the rest the of the list. Terrible. Like like what what like. <laughs> I think it'll be worse was... than that. I think it's terrible. <laughs> it has nothing going for it. It seems okay. Compared to some of the other stuff that you could be using. Hmm. This, okay, scary... Scary ghost fossil aerodactyl is not actually there, right? Along with scary yeah, ghost kabutops. And everything else is. Okay. There we go. Yeah, that's Surfetch has a funny line to the right of its sprite. It's just how things are in Galar, okay? <laughs> Alright, great. I think, do we have to rename any of the tiers? S, A, B, how many do we need? We definitely need a C tier. We definitely need a C tier. Because, like, half the Pokemon go there. There's so many water types. Yeah, it's like a lot of the, a lot of the Pokemon that are cut from the final game were like really silly water types. It's really goofy. <laughs> well, I'm glad they cut them. I'm sick of water types. I might be biased though. You be biased. You be biased. <laughs> I think can we just cut straight. To... Do we need a D tier? I think it should be okay. Just add it when we add it when we're like in the middle of it. <laughs> This is fine. We'll make it kind of kind of gray. Well, no, the okay. Maybe the daycare shouldn't be gray. I'm sure little babies don't like gray. We'll make it pink. There we go. Maybe if they're like Victorian children. <laughs> oh, okay. We can put them. Well, I don't want to put them to work. They're useless. <laughs> really call that mouse shot of grind, sir. <laughs> okay, I think that's good. I'm trying to think of who I would actually put. In the finest, it's not many. But you could just put Watch here there right now, right? <laughs> I could put what there? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Watch here. You could just put Watch here right there. It's not that bad. Oh, now it has to be, right? <laughs> no, like, we'll go to Watch Trio. You could control F4 if you want to get to it. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. It, it is that bad. That thing has no special. It has 70. That's... It's not like that bad. Uh, and 120 speed it, with like sick crits? I guess... Uh, maybe. And you I don't can know. get surf? It doesn't seem that bad. Uh, I guess. I mean, maybe a bit of right here. Yeah, I, I can see why somebody would want to use it. At least it's I'd, a water I'd, type. I'd, I'd greatly debate their sanity, but like, I don't know. Uh... <laughs> like Needle King's special is not that much better. Of course, Needle King's mm. earlier and has a bunch of better moves. Mm. But I think 70 special with like stat XP is, is not like the worst thing ever. The worst thing ever is like Zubat. Yeah, okay. I, I, th I, th I, th I, th I can dig it. Yeah, especially because it comes out overleveled as well. There is that. Jeez, we get effy dialogue for our lords. I'm not planning it. Uh, you got everything there, Prevost and such. How will you rank them? I will ignore them. I'm probably just going to put the final forms in. We'll, we'll see. I did see Needle, Queen, Needle King getting uh, Earthquake through level up. I would guess that Needle Rain, this is the new form here, is probably also going to be one of the stuff. best Pokemon in the game. It's just Nido. It has the better stats of both Nidos. Which is totally worthless, because I don't care about Needle Queen stats. And it just cha trades the really good secondary ground typing for the kind of whatever secondary rock typing. So I think it just ends up being very marginally worse Needle King, which still makes it one of the best Pokemon in the game. That's your Needle Rain preview. It does absolutely destroy like a lot of the early stuff as well, because like that being a normal resist does come up quite frequently. Uh, it can also take like like it's also like immune to uh, like, like 
Actually, that's about it, because, like, either King also has that. Uh, but, yeah, it was decided to be, like, a very, like, big lore Pokemon, but it turned out to just be, like, great just because it's a Nido, so it works out. <laughs> well, Nido King has always been mostly good because of its timing. Stats are, like, kind of whatever. Yeah. You don't need, stat uh, you don't need stats when you have all the stat XP. <laughs> Uh, $2 range from Drifting Breath. Add a D tier, there's a gap between bad and finest. Is there really? Maybe. I'm trying to think. I mean, I guess I would put Wug Trio in, like, bad, so we could do that. Add a row above. Let's call it D. And needs a slightly depressing color. This is, well, we can do that, and then we can make B green. We can make A like yellow. Yeah, that's that's okay. <laughs> uh, Five dollar microtransaction from Bro Duder Man. If we get Danny Doyle or another emblem tuber, we can make a Pokey emblem expansion list. They're gonna tell me that. Calves are bad, okay? I'm never listening oh, to another so thing cool. any of them say. Oh, that is great. <laughs> I'll never forget She's the super... Cavalier Wars. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Who is the guest? It's literally the creator of the ROM hack. It's uh, Plague Von Karma. I think the, a link to their channel should be in the description. Yes, please please watch my Rock Wars movie. It's It, it took me so long to make. <laughs> <laughs> Iguanark didn't make the emote list. Is it not there? Oh, it might have. It might have gotten cut. Because I don't think it's that. I, I bad. made like the small but Yeah, you made like the small Iguanark, right? Yeah. <laughs> I might put in D. What's a description? You can't get me. People said calves were bad. Which game? I don't know if they said calves were bad, but it was Fe Seven, and they said they gave the Cavaliers like Kent Insane, like three stars without Lin mode, which I think is madness but i can't say they're i can't say they're inexperienced with fire Emblem. they literally run fire emblem channels so maybe i'm the one who's wrong maybe i'm fighting on the wrong side of the cab wars but i doubt it i'm just gonna run away at eight move all right 7 30 so 30 minutes and not a single pokemon ranked which isn't that bad i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about we're gonna do an intro we got to probably talk about the Kanto expansion pack itself and like what changes there are. I specifically got to go over the type chart because it's a little bit different. And then I think we can go ahead and start the rankings and we're going to do the thing where we ignore Pokemon that don't have significant changes. That is the plan. Uh, any, any amendments any of you would like to make to the plan? I could be here until two hours after the stream start. I wonder if you'll see a single rank. You probably will. I would guess. Sounds like a solid plan. Okay. We're going to try and make this snappier than normal, okay? It's still probably going to be like at least three hours live. And I'm hoping to have the edit. The edits almost always are about half the length of the normal, of the full stream. So I'm... I want to have the edit under two hours. <coughs> under two hours. Starters did have big changes. Charmander got nerfed by having a huge... Did they make Slash later? Uh-oh. I'm not muted. I'm just letting Cheese talk. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, no, Iguanark is here. But uh, it yeah, was a here. candidate for an emote, and it's not an emote. That's what they meant. It's here and not very good. I've considered making changes to it. <laughs> How much did they nerf Charmander slash? Well, Charizard slash. Yeah, we, we, we reworked its, its learn set by quite a bit, adding a few like anime moves to it and stuff. Because when we, we changed the title, toss, it ended up getting like a million moves. Um, I believe it did end up coming out like, like a bit worse. It should, slash should be there. Uh, level 44. Oh, yeah, damn. way worse. Why? Why was that done? Oh, I saw the headbutt. 
Slash, yeah, Slash is way, way later, so I guess it was nerfed. It was just too good. Hmm. Why they give Bubbles a whirlwind? Didn't you see the legendary duel against Koga? <sighs> Use whirlwind. Clearly, you haven't seen every episode of the original anime. I'm, I'm guessing that's why they gave Bulbasaur Whirlwind. I think it's because in in Japanese they said Fukitobasu, which is blow away. And then they just made it the move Whirlwind in English, which doesn't make any sense. Fukitobasu is also how they say Smash in Smash Brothers in Japanese. There's your lesson. Okay. I think we're almost ready. Is Hector a five-star unit in this game? Absolutely not. Where's the login Pokemon in the background? I need stimulation. I can... I can stimulate you a little bit. Just a little. It's gonna be at transparency, though. Is it playing? It's not playing. Okay. So I think we'll start in... A couple minutes? I think everybody who's gonna be here is already here. Oh, you meant music? I can't play music because it'll get mixed with uh, Plague's audio. So I, I can't have the music in, because otherwise I can't cut. You could use the volume mixer, I think, because it should be like a volume mixer on your computer. It, uh, it would be disastrous. I, I, I assume so. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I, I'm just going to assume it's not going to work. It's too dangerous. <laughs> Too powerful. I mean for the premium, yes. I could do that. And I horribly messed up the FE7 mixing, so I'm not going to risk that again. You guys don't know how horribly yet. It's not actually that bad, but it's just kind of annoying. I've definitely had a few videos where my, where my sound mixing is just awful for no reason. I uh, just, like, didn't, like, notice it being bad for a while. <laughs> That, like, it just already came out. And everyone just, like, complained about the comments. <laughs> I hate it. Is Eevee an S tier? Well, some Eevees are. We'll put it that way. I think all of them are good, except for, like... I think only... I think only Flareon would be quite a bad. Maybe something else. Leafeon is right there. <laughs> uh, it's not that bad. It's it's and definitely worse compared to the other side. <laughs> I think it's complete trash. Oh, fair. Uh, actually, when does it get? When does it get? When does it get? Is... Uh, race leaf again? Oh, geez, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wait. I wait till level thirty six. <laughs> no, Leafeon is st might actually be fine. It's it's so bad. You're here for the I mean, Eevee Wars. Stats and everything, but yeah. Eevee Wars is every <laughs> single stream, even if Eevee's not in the game. I think the I think the thing that kills it for me is that like it has to wait until level thirty six for Razor Leaf. I think it's like the main issue. Oh, I forgot to actually say refreshed. Refreshed. <laughs> Yeah, but like you can wait until Fuchsia to get Glaceon and then it just destroys the game in general. And like, you know, you don't have to go that far away to get to get the Ice Stone from Fuchsia. I'm here to make sure you put Gyarados where it belongs. Where would you put Gyarados? I'm not putting Gyarados in this. Cheese, what do I think of Dunsparce Power Flinch? I've got about 38 minutes of, well, not exactly what I think. Oh, it's it's nice to see somebody discover live why Leafeon is total ass. That's <laughs> yeah, just not enough. <laughs> I think Fuchsia is too late for an evolution. I agree. <laughs> Mostly because of Snorlax. I think it's kind of weird how... 
Experience true freedom in this living, breathing, open world. Surprises await you behind every corner. Go left or right. Tell your own story and make your own fun. Open world. Rated E for everywhere. This is an open world game where you can go left or right, forge your own experience, tell your own story. But Snorlax is still there, so it still makes Fuchsia a lot later. Yeah, if you if you want, to, I can explain like the the mindset behind that. I guess. Sure, we could, we could. I think when we do the actual like intro, um, or when we're like officially recording, we should um, we can get like developer insights. Yeah, sure, sure. I, I, I love talking about this stuff. <laughs> Why are there three magnetons? There's a new magneton form, bro. Yeah, they'd be here. <laughs> but that's that was, like one that got cut from the game, and it definitely, clearly needed to be cut. <laughs> I think if our if our voices overlap, that should actually be fine, because I can mm -hmm. just cut one of us. Or, like, shift yeah. us around. So I don't think we actually have to worry about that. That's very convenient. Hmm. Alright, I'll take one more drink and then we'll start. It's not patched. Okay. I mean, it was a little bad at Fleefion. <laughs> it was a little bad. <laughs> but besides, you get, you get body sub for it anyway. <laughs> Alright, I gotta turn the wife who's off. Your last chance to tap. Tap! Tap right now! Upper right corner! <laughs> She's gone. Porygon God tier. We'll get there. Oh, yeah, that ball's kinda good. <laughs> All right. If you want to take like the like the sort of like interview type perspective when we record, I don't mind. <laughs> Sorry, uh, could you repeat that? If you want to take like an interview type of perspective mm. when we start recording, by all means, I don't mind. <laughs> sure, maybe um, at the beginning, yeah, when we do like the yeah, intro. Yeah. Sure, sure. What am I drinking? Show you? No, it's uh. It's Georgia coffee, and it says, oh, it says it on the back. Uh, it's apparently uh, luxurious black, whatever that means. And then monkey field coffee directed. I don't know what that means, but that is what it says. Compared to regular iced coffee, how is the bottle so vile? It's terrible. But it, it is, like, functional. Luxurious black, black and white remakes confirmed. See you on the 28th, whenever Pokemon Day is. It's going to be terrible. Oh, yeah, I, I have no faith in that at all. <laughs> is the yeah, coffee... I, I, the, pro the problem will be that they're remaking black and white one. That's how it's going to go. And then everyone will remember why Black and White 1 were, were like so derided on release, just like Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> I don't think Black and White is like Diamond and Pearl bad, because Diamond and Pearl is like dire, but I do get what you're saying. Oh, oh absolutely, yeah. It's yeah, like... yeah. It, it's definitely a step up, but like it's sort of like how, how SV was like a, 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 a quote-unquote step up from Sword and Shield. I don't think it was. <laughs> I mean, when people say that Gen 5 was underrated and overhated, they probably mean that in the context of black and white 2 but like black and white 1 was yeah. it wasn't bad but it was i think the hate was deserved i didn't like black and white 1 that much it was okay black and white 2 was much yeah, better the, yeah like for me it was like kind of like how they um, they just kind of like went to this weird soft reboot and like in a period where like the series was already doing really shaky like post post gen 2 mm. it was really strange and like all that familiarity that the series had built up had just disappeared for no reason <laughs> Black Woman was definitely overhated for the time. I don't know. Oh, no. I didn't like it. I thought Bro, the weird 3D-ish art style was really ugly. 
I agree. And I mean, they changed so, hey, some of them for Black and White too. Like, for example, one of the more obvious ones is Embor. In Black and White 1, it just kind of stands there. But in Black and White 2, it's it bounces a little bit more, and then it's just like this fist slam, which looks cool. It looks like a fighting type. It's a lot better. But still, some of them look kind of weird and, like, puppety, which maybe is the point, but... Eh. So for, so for trivia, actually, like, the hatred for Black and White 1 was, like, so bad of a time, but actually, like, reached for the magazines I read as a kid... Like, it's just, like, it was even in, like, the Pokemon World magazine, this this, this UK uh, thing that was, like, was put out, like, every month or so. Mm -hmm. Like, there was literally, like, documented in, like, the Pokemon Propaganda magazine. <laughs> Pokemon Propaganda magazine. It was that bad. <laughs> ah. Uh. All right. 43 minutes and not a single Pokemon oh, ranks. Let's go. <laughs> Shall we start the formal recording? I mean, I've been recording this whole time, but we'll yeah, I'm down. We'll start it. Okay, so I think we're going to start with... This part's probably not going to make any sense to anyone, but I've got a creative vision, okay? So, right after I play this... Bro, Duder Man, for the $2 microtransaction. I've got to work now. Good luck in FE4 Remake for the win. Don't jump the gun, okay? And there's no FE4 remake. Not until it releases alongside the Switch 2 as a launch title. I'll see you there. Wait. Wait a minute. Ma wait, Martha, you were at the 2011 VGC Regionals? Wait, we almost met then. What the hell? <laughs> wait, why? Wait, what the hell? We almost met, like, 13 years ago. What? <laughs> <laughs> is daycare ranked by cuteness? Absolutely not, because in that case, it would look like this. Oh, Igglybuff is horrifying. I think most of the babies are at least kind of cute, except for Igglybuff. Yeah, I went to every single UK VGC from, like, 2009 to 2018. <laughs> Whoa. Real-life lore? Hello. Alright, so we're going to start with the, um, this is going to be the very beginning of the list. It's not going to make much sense to anyone, but uh, I, I have the intro planned, okay? So, I, I guess I'll ex well no, I won't explain what's happening. You'll just have to watch the premium to find out what happens, but don't worry about it, okay? It's, it's not going to make much sense. Alright, here we go. Action, <laughs> almost. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait, what was I thinking? I'm just here for the riders here. <laughs> right. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, and welcome to the premium version of this Kanto expansion pack in game tier list. Uh, no shade at the developers for. Oh, okay. Well, almost. Oh, yeah, I should explain to anybody who's here for the first time. It's it's probably not many of you if you've survived 46 minutes, but uh, probably I'm going to repeat things. You might not understand why, but it's just so that I can get a good take. So, please understanding. Soul for the vision. <laughs> All right. Hello, and welcome to the premium version of this Kanto expansion pack in-game tier list. Uh, no shade to the devs for that intro, but there's a lot of water types in this. So. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's probably a good intro. Um, <clears throat> we must expand the water types. <laughs> now this, this is the this is the second ever official tier list. Okay, <clears throat> this is the second ever official tier list. Now, official doesn't mean quality. After all, Detective Pikachu 2 is an official game. However, when I say official, I mean that the creator themselves, Plague Von Karma, is a specter in the audio. Say hello! 
Hello. Yes, it's me, Blake Volkava, the Silly Beach Uber. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. So we've got official developer insights in the form of uh, psychic whisperings. <laughs> Uh, and they'll, of course, be in the chat, uh, the, the voice chat, to chime in with official comments. So you'll have two perspectives. The perspective of the person who actually made the ROM hack, so I guess the correct perspective, and then my fanfic interpretation of... You also have Martha and Misty in the chats as well. Uh, their comments will be appearing periodically. Um... The Martha helps develop the, the hack, and Misty made the funny spreadsheet, and made a few, like, post-release changes at times. Perfect. I'm in your balls. <laughs> I think that's... Okay, how much, uh, how much else do we have to talk? We should... Okay, I think that's it for, like, an intro, right? As in, like, intro intro. And now we should start talking about the game. Uh, okay. <clears throat> For those who don't know, <clears throat> what is the Kanto Expansion Pack? For those who don't know, how did you find this video? But if you want more details, I'll spoon feed him to you now. Open up! You can start by looking at the description where you'll find links to all of the relevant resources. Uh, there is the link to Plague Von Karma's channel, as well as a spreadsheet that has infinite details about anything you would actually need to know about the game. I'll give you a quick rundown. The Kanto Expansion Pack is, as the name implies, Kanto Expanded. Uh, most of the vanilla... Most of the vanilla... Hmm. Most of the vanilla aspects of the game are intact. There's just more. If you want a really quick review of whether or not you should play it or not, I will say that, yeah, you absolutely should play it. Uh, would... Well, hmm. Expand Kanto. Let's see. Kanto, but more Kanto. We can add that in. Um, I guess I already have the graphic. That's a good idea. We should do that. Um, so I will do that. Give me one second here. We'll redo that part. Genius for streaming and recording at the same time. I used to... Do it separately, but it was too much work. We'll just make free content, domain expansion. Okay, we'll do this. We'll add the, um... <clears throat> now, I'm gonna be brutally honest with you. Even though I'm dressed as red, I'm really sick of Kanto, okay? <laughs> this is not a list I wanted to... This is a list I wanted to make. can never get enough Kanto. Well, uh, what is the Kanto expansion pack? Well, if you love Kanto, which you definitely do, or, or else, uh, you'll love the Kanto expansion pack. It's basically Kanto plus. I know that's a really basic description, but most of the vanilla mechanics of Kanto are intact. There's just more to do. I actually got the name for the Kanto expansion pack from Donkey Kong 64. Um, I've considered I considered calling it like Kanto DLC at one point, but like DLC wasn't really a term back then yet, so I decided to just call it uh, the expansion pack. Well, there's uh, I thought the... it was a pretty nice touch. There's the official um, also, explanation. Oh, sorry. Uh, go on, go on. <laughs> no, no, you, you can go ahead. Um, I actually forgot what I was going to say. I have a three-second short term memory span. <laughs> oh, okay. No. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> well, they, they actually ruined a joke I was going to make. I was going to say, you can trust me <laughs> that the game is good, but I don't know if you can trust the devs when they can't even spell expansion pack correctly. But it turns out. But it's from Donkey Kong 64. It turns out they spelled it wrong correctly. So. <laughs> Task failed successfully. <laughs> What's actually different in the Kanto expansion pack? Most obviously, there's a bunch of new Pokemon. Uh, all evolutionary lines? 
uh, at least the actual evolutions, not the Prevo parts, are complete. If a Pokemon evolves in a later gen, well, they evolve now in Gen 1! Wow! Uh, the way you actually get some of the evolutions had to be changed, uh, because not all mechanics are implemented. For example, Friendship Evos are now level Evos, but you can find details on how to actually get those Evos, either within the super information Excel sheet, or I, I might just tell you during the course of the tier list. Uh, so, some of the evolution methods were taken from the Space World demo of from Gold and Silver. So, for example, I believe Tag Growth was level 42. Um, so we just put that in instead. Um, I thought it was a decent touch, although nobody's going to get that reference. So it just comes off as convenient to most people. <laughs> well, they'll get it now because you just told them. <laughs> and if there's anything my viewers know about, it's convenient. So don't worry about that. Oh, yes. I very sure. Why couldn't you program French Evos when French Evos mechanic in Pokemon Yellow? Uh, number one, it's kept as a Pikachu thing. And number two, no one actually likes Friendship Evolutions, so I wasn't going to put it anyway. <laughs> Very fair. Any excuse to remove that shit? Oh, man. Nothing is fun of that. <laughs> Speaking of the Space World demo, that's where some of the... Speaking of the Space World demo, that's where a lot of the original... Uh, it... Kanto expansion pack exclusive content comes from. So there's some Pokemon you might notice, like this uh, very, very thick Magnemite here <laughs> that are not real Pokemon, and that's because they are cut Pokemon. Well, <clears throat> speaking yeah, of the... the... Oh, sorry. Uh, some of them are from uh, uh, the, pr the prototype version of Red and Green, because mm. some assets were leaked in, like, 2020, mm. which is where we got found out about, uh, like, Guardia, for example, the prototype Evolution of Marowak, okay. which proved a bunch of, like, weird conspiracy theories correct. Uh, others, like uh, Belignan, uh, which is the, the weird-looking Victory Bell thing, uh, comes from the Space World demo. Ah, okay, okay. It's really nice. I'll include both of those. Mm-hmm. I don't cut myself. Thank you for the five uh, gifted subs. Five more people can learn about convenience. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Um, speaking of the Space World demo, that's actually where a lot of the original content of the Kanto expansion pack comes from. There are some Pokemon you might not be familiar with, such as this uh, very thick Magnemite evolution. <laughs> Look at those thunder thighs, literally electric. Uh, but a lot of Pokemon here are either cut from the official games at some point between Red and uh, Gen 2, or they were cut from the original games, and the Kanto expansion pack has added them all in. So if there is an evolution or Pokemon that looks a, a little fanfic to you, none of these Pokemon are fanfic. They're all official in in air quotes so we're just not official enough <laughs> exactly and speaking of the space world demo again because i couldn't think of a better way to tie these in the type chart is a little bit different than you might be used to and it comes from the better. space world demo <laughs> It's so much better, in my opinion. I hate the I hate modern steel type so much. <laughs> so Kanto expansion pack does have dark and steel types and fairies, but your memory cannot be trusted. These are different than the types you know. Ooh. So if you want some context, um. Originally, we were actually going to have the modern type chart, but Galarian Moltres was extremely broken in playtesting. So my friend Shelldots suggested that I use the Space World type chart, and it turned out to actually make more sense because, um, well, it's the original games, so it'd be more historically accurate. Um, I, f I found it was quite, it was just much more fun to play with in general as well. Because it ensured that, like, Tauros wouldn't, like, end up being significantly affected in the showdown mod. Um, someone's asking how, how broken we talking about Galarian Moltres. Um, Galarian Moltres made Mewtwo look like a joke. 
like straight up, it would set up so effortlessly, and it would just wipe out teams entirely. Steel types did nothing to stop it uh, because there was just so much like a, like special there. It would deal like sixty percent with false surrender, uh, which was like I'll I'll fill in for like uh, for fiery wrath because I didn't want to add like every single move to the game. I want to like have things that had congruent effects. That's a bit of a tangent anyway. Um, I do. <laughs> I'm going to use my college education to use a term I heard a lot. I want to springboard off that comment <laughs> uh, to mention that uh, this actually started as a competitive showdown mod. Uh, it was probably one of the most popular. <laughs> which crazy. is why some decisions might seem a little bit strange to people only playing this as a, a playthrough experience. So... The, the part, one thing that really sticks out to me is that although fairy types are in the game, Clefairy is not a fairy. It's still normal, and that's because, I, I, and please correct me if I'm wrong, I believe the developers wanted to preserve as much of the original Gen 1 competitive scene as possible. So retroactive types are not actually in this. Yeah, there was, it's actually a few... It's a, it's a twofold reason, so that is correct. Uh, but we also chose it because it would make sense for the original uh, interpretation of the Pokémon. Gen 6 Clefable is fundamentally a different Pokémon to Gen 1 Clefable. Uh, so in Gen 1, it's mostly like using normal stab and has like a lot of special moves. Uh, same with Wigglytuff as well. Uh, Wigglytuff is meant to be like an auxiliary one. And Magneton uh, conveniently ends up being like a... Um, because uh, that's like just mono electric, which actually synergizes well with Magnezone's like secondary steel type. So you could just uh, so you could choose which one you want to use with a Thunderstone, which I think from a playthrough perspective is quite fun. Uh, so you could choose whether you want the weaknesses of a steel type, or you could choose to use just the original Magnezone. Uh, so in general, it didn't make sense to add the retroactive types, uh, just because the original interpretations were so different, and making a change just because a later game did it would would just kind of suck. <laughs> now, this is one part where the developers and I don't quite see eye to eye, probably because they're taller than oh. me. <laughs> I'm six foot one. <laughs> yeah, okay, they're, they're seven inches taller. <laughs> if it were up to me, I would have just implemented the retroactive types, but it's not up to me. It's up to you, because it turns out this entire ROM is open source, so if you want to make changes... You just go to the ROM, link in the description, and do it yourself. So for once, me saying, do it yourself, is not actually just being mega condescending. Megas are back, by the way. You can actually do it yourself. That's pretty nice. Yeah, it's actually uh, really easy to do in this case, because you could just, like, you literally just change, like, norm, like normal to fairy in the base stat file. And then the load sets, you could just, like, add the fairy moves. It's really quick. You could do it in, like, five minutes. I just decided not to do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, probably in the premium, I'm because this is not like fitting on screen. I'm just going to overlay the type chart in like a visible thing. But uh, because the dark and steel types are so different, I want to actually just tell everyone what the matchups are. Oh, I actually have a list somewhere. I think. Uh, oh, perfect. Like... Uh, I'll have to get off my other account. One second. Okay. I'll try and read it. Uh, okay. uh, as far as I remember. It should <clears throat> be in the, in the FAQ that's really called Descending. There it is, yes. Okay. That, that FAQ is so, oh my god, I always forget how condescending I mean, that's so. <laughs> oh, there, there it is. Oh! Okay. Thank you. I'll just, uh, if I pull this up, can you guys see it? No, you can't. Um, here we go. Uh, so I'll... how are Pokemon moves and types stored? Uh, they're they're just like they're just in uh constants. So you just you just put it in capital letters. Uh, you d it takes literally no effort to edit the source code. It's just ma it's made in a very very lovely way. Uh, a five dollar microtransaction from Drifting Breath. Uh, I started learning ROM hacking from modifying Kanto expansion pack to make bug types not complete ass. Definitely recommended as an easy introduction into this scene. 
that's a bit of foreshadowing that because they had to change it to make Bug not ass, it is ass in what we're going to be talking about today. Oh, absolutely. The vanilla types are the same. They have to have their roles preserved. <laughs> so, <clears throat> because the type chart... Because the three new types... Oh, I have this. Um, <clears throat> of the three types that weren't in vanilla Gen 1, Fairy is exactly the same. <laughs> Fairy is actually unchanged. I'm not going to talk about it that much. Although, we'll talk about it when we talk about <laughs> Sylveon. Fairy might not be as good as you remember, even though it is technically unchanged. But Dark and Steel are so different... I'm actually going to read out the matchups to you because I, I need you to know them as we talk about the Dark and Steel types that are in the game. So Dark is categorized as special. It is weak to normal, bug, dark, and fairy. So it's weak to normal and it's weak to itself. Uh-oh. It resists psychic and ghost. It's not immune to psychic. It just resists it. And it's super effective against psychic, ghost, and and dark and it's resisted by normal so it's absolutely wild it has some parallels with modern dark but it's basically its own thing imagine being weak to normal in gen 1 i'm sure that means that every dark type is terrible Ooh. as for steel you might know steel in the modern games as uh, insanely overpowered <laughs> Whereas in Kanto Expansion Pack, it's actually a normal type that you might <laughs> reasonably expect to be in a game. It doesn't resist everything. <laughs> Let's go over its actual matchup. So Steel is, as you might expect, physical. It's weak to water and electric. Which actually, I think is very intuitive, right? Because it rusts and it gets zapped because it conducts electricity. I actually thought that... Real Steel was weak to electric and water when I first played Gen 2. Uh, it resists... Yeah, I, think it, it's, I think it's really nice as well, because, you know, like, water conducts electricity, so it's weak to it. So it also, like, carries on a bit more. It, like, continues the old Gen 1 perspective, which I really enjoy. True. Uh, it's weak to... Oh, I just said that. Uh, it resists poison, fairy, rock, and fighting. So it's no longer immune to poison, it's just to resist... And it's actually resistant to fighting, which makes a lot more sense than Karate Masters being able to punch through steel. Instead, they just break their fists. That makes a lot more I mean, sense. That's a lot... I mean, that's a lot scary base video, I guess. <laughs> Huge change here. Steel does have an immunity. It is immune to steel. Ooh. So, only case of a type being actually immune to itself. And it's super... It is. It's also really good. It's also really, really good because uh, we added Iron Head to this game, and Iron Head is incredibly obnoxious. So ha having your own steel type to like switch it on it uh, comes up very frequently in like the showdown mod. Uh, it's actually why Omega Arch ends up being really strong in, that, in the showdown mod and Mel Vessel, of course. Uh, Omega Arch, for those of you guys who don't know, is like the Mecha Godzilla Pokemon. I don't think it's very good, but I'm talking about in game. Uh, for s for offense. It is super effective. Uh, for offense, Steel is super effective against Rock and Fairy. So, Ice types oh, have yeah. been spared. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And it's not very effective against Water and Electric. So, overall, Steel is a lot worse. But it still looks pretty good. It's just that actual Steel is disgustingly overpowered. Yeah, uh, there is still actually some additional context I can give as well uh, to the types itself. So these types were from before the 1997 National Tournament happened for Pokemon Red and Green. So at that point in time, um, Tauros absolutely ran rampant along with Articuno. And so after that, it seems like they changed Dark and Steel to specifically try and balance the game after that performance. Which is probably why Steel suddenly started resisting Psychic, despite logically given like cadaver's existence it should be weak to it you know like the whole bending spoons thing you'd think that that would like come into it right uh but it seems like it was very purposefully designed uh to like try and to try like curb a lot of the old offensive uh cause of the time period so it makes even more sense for the space for type chart to be used because again it just just more historically accurate 
I think I, I am overall a fan of a weaker steel type. I think I would still give it more resist than just this, if it were up to me, but it's not up to me. I, I do like this version of... It does, it does feel a lot more like a real type. Hmm. All right, I it's think... Is there anything else we have to actually talk about regarding Kanto Expansion oh, okay. Pack changes? I don't think so, right? We talked about the type chart. Yeah. Oh, I've got those two questions here, actually, from Amber 2. Sure. Uh, so, explain why Poison Types are made so bad in vanilla Gen 1. Uh, so, during the development of Generation 1, a significant amount of moves were actually just removed. We don't actually know what most of those moves are, except for Uppercut and Powder Snow. Uh, Powder Snow only because it actually got into Generation 2. Uh, so that's the main reason why, why Poison is so bad. I think if it had actual moves, it would be a lot better. Um, as for Space World Dark Type nerfing Psychic Types, it does resist Psychic. It's just not immune to it. Um, but like, it's, uh, eh, it's not very different. <laughs> All right. We talked about the different type charts. Uh, we talked about the new Pokemon that are in the game. Um, I think we can talk about tiering criteria. Hour and eight minutes in, not a single Pokemon rank. We're getting there, okay? We're getting there. I think we can talk about the tiering criteria now. So S, A, B... C, D, Kanto's Finest, and then the Daycare. I, I think that's it. We can talk about the pre-gym. Uh, I don't know. Do we have to actually mention that? Uh, there being an actual post-game okay. matters the for post -game tiering. Actually yeah, so it. we'll mention that, I think, with the tiering. Because I think, normally, I don't really count the post-game. I just count up to the champion. Post-game's really long. <laughs> but yeah, the post-game is really long. So I think we actually will give post-game credit because otherwise i don't think porygon is that good but because the game is like yeah, this, over like, it's, it's i didn't actually realize how long the post-game actually was until like i started watching your stream of like when you start the post-game i went to sleep woke up and you were still going through the self corner i think oh yeah <laughs> but my streams it's, are I didn't also realize like, how long it was. they're not exactly <laughs> speed runs i guess yeah yeah <laughs> Okay, yeah, so I, well, I we'll mention that. Um, <clears throat> let's talk about the tiering criteria. It's the same as always for me, so this is an in-game tier list. What does that mean? So I, I don't care... So although this is technically a competitive mod, I don't care about competitive at all. I only care about how good these Pokemon are in a playthrough of the game. Uh, normally, I actually only consider up to the champion battle, but the expansion pack, a lot of the expansion is in the posterior uh, at the actual end of the game. Uh, there is actually a pretty substantial post-game that actually, importantly, has a lot of battling. There is a Silphco gauntlet that's like 40, 50 battles. So Pokemon that are available later are actually going to do a lot better than they normally do on my tier list because I do consider availability. Uh, if you've ever played a Fire Emblem game, you'll know what that means, but quick rundown is basically that availability is how much of a game a Pokemon is actually in. So for example, the starters, uh, you literally start with them, so they have perfect availability. They're in every single battle of the game, which is good. Whereas a Pokemon like Mewtwo, although Mewtwo itself is extremely strong, uh, on this list at least, it, it's basically unranked because it is the last thing you do in the game. You have to actually finish the post-game to get Mewtwo. I think that does cover availability. It doesn't cover... I talk about the island, I guess. <laughs> oh, I should mention that. Well, maybe mention... Well, hmm... I only mentioned the gone. I don't know if we have to mention the island. We do have to mention this 199 micro jackson for frat. Here's for all the great content. Thank you. We activated the infinite money glitch last time. There was just a slight delay. <laughs> uh, any new items? Uh, there's new like bag items, but nothing. There's no held items in this game, so that doesn't actually matter. Uh, Brooklyn B J. Oh, I guess it is Sunday. 
Uh, good morning, Brandon. 8.12 a.m. Thanks for waking up. And thanks for reminding people to... If I can find it. It's in a different folder. Kick it and hammer that like button to help increase the reach of the stream. And I should also thank the... Mighty Patreons. We are going to be talking about Eevee soon. Mm. But thanks to the Patreons for your contributions. Uh, you're all on screen. Now, if, you, if you're a patron and you're not on the list, please let me know and I'll, I'll add you. Oh yeah, we should mention the trade Pokemon thing. Uh, nice. I think I might mention that actually when we talk about the first trade Pokemon, which I think will be Alolan Raichu in this case. Yeah, yeah. I have a lot to say about the Raichu stuff, actually. It's, it's really fun. Perfect. <laughs> okay. I didn't get here until late because my notifications go off until now. Are there any important changes besides the type chart? Where can I read them so Jesus doesn't have to explain? You're just going to have to watch the premium. There's too many. You might notice that uh, I was actually a lot kinder than I normally am. Because normally, uh, Icarus Avery would already be being torn apart limb from limb by the ghouls. But it turns out some people <laughs> didn't like that. About the allegations. <laughs> It is understandable though, like like running the Kanto expansion pack, like sometimes you just get like the same question over and over and over again. It's just ugh. I did the live stream. It's live like the one thing I regret from making it. <laughs> I did the live stream with my sister a few days ago. She was only in the stream for like two hours, and already she was going nuts, getting the same questions over and over. You can't yeah. do this and yeah. maintain like a normal facade. Mediocre move, by the way. <laughs> Like, you will go crazy. Yeah, yeah I remember when, like, um, when you mentioned, like, it's sort of like having, like, everyone, like, ganging up on you in a corner or something, I think you mentioned. And, like, I relate to that so much. I never had somebody, like, word it in such a way. But as a content creator myself, I it is so, so, so hard to handle sometimes. I, it's partly why I stopped streaming so soon into, like, my YouTube career. I just could not stand it. Even with, like, four people. I just... just I just closed up. <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, it's fine. It's fine. Anyway, I guess about the allegations, we're just going to... We're not going to not play graphics. I think at least one person will probably get ripped apart per stream, but uh, we'll probably play them less. We'll, we'll add, like, a cool... An unofficial cooldown to them. <laughs> uh, and probably the, um, the... The pipelines aren't gone... Uh, but they'll probably be, like, shorter and, like, a little bit less mean. Because I actually, the original pipelines that you guys never heard were, like, really mean. And I made them a little less mean. You might see, like, what? They're still really mean. Yes. Uh, but they're less mean than they would have been. The pipelines are the best part of the stream, to be honest. <laughs> That's what I think. And, of course, you viewers can't understand. You could never understand my pain. But often when the pipelines are playing, that's when I can, like, go to the bathroom or, like, refresh. You guys don't see it because there's automatic content. It's so convenient. Uh, they are actually really convenient. <laughs> Ki <saying> that word. <laughs> Kindness wins. I guess relative kindness. We're still going to destroy viewers. We're just, like, a little less. Thoughts on XD? You can't get me. It's so close to being good. <laughs> uh, any other... Hey, jeez, what's a good Fire Emblem to start with? You can't get me, Fire Emblem 8, the Sacred Stones. Uh, what, what was I thinking of? That's a good opinion by that, though. We were, we're, we're discussing the criteria, so we talked about availability. Uh, <laughs> it's 199 microtransaction from Frat. You're limiting my power... You'll regret this. Hey, there's no restrictions on the shorter graphics, okay? Nobody complained about... Well, I mean, some people complained about those, but I don't care about them. So, we can still absolutely play this one every time. I will bring honor to my father and my kingdom. Light. Guide my path. Moonlight's not in this game, by the way. Neither is, uh, Moonblast. But Dazzling Gleam is. I'm kind of glad Moonblast didn't end up meeting the criteria. Oh... That would have been pretty good in Gen 1, actually. <laughs> All that. Would it? I mean, we'll talk about it when we get to Sylveon, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Uh, I didn't talk about offensive Pokemon. Uh, I should mention that. <clears throat> 
one of the, I'm not going to say controversial aspects of the tier list, but I definitely get people complaining about it every time, uh, is that I don't care about defense at all. Uh, if you can kill a Pokemon in three turns with the instant death toxic leech seed combo, to me, that's awful. <laughs> Uh, the Pokemon that do well on my lists are the ones that hit first and hit really hard and then not knock the opponent out in one hit. In Gens 1 and 2 where there's the stat XP system, that's actually a lot easier for a lot of Pokemon to achieve. So normally a Pokemon like Golem that has 45 speed is just ass because it's way too slow. But with stat XP where you eventually get essentially full EVs in each stat... The floor for all of the benchmarks gets a little higher. Most Pokemon are better compared to enemies than in later games, but there still is a limit, okay? Like, the Slowbro Pokemon are still too slow, and that is going to work against them. I think that's an okay explanation for the uh, offensive weighting that I give Pokemon. That, that, that's all right. One take? Yeah, yeah. I think the graphics get annoying when you spam the same and if they aren't a recurring joke. You're entitled to your opinion, okay? Even if it's wrong. Unfortunately, everybody has to suffer for it. I do hope you feel the weight of your sins. You won't have that much time to consider what you've done, though. I tap three Patreons. Oh, fire kind of sucks in Gen 1, by the way. A little unfortunate. And I play the crux of fate. Choose one. Destroy all viewers or destroy all YouTubers. Either way, uh, both Plague and I can finally rest. I think one of the unfortunate <laughs> things about being a creator and a viewer is that both of the choose one effects destroy you. Maybe that's kind of <laughs> kind of a nice thing. We don't have to deal with you guys anymore. Yeah, focus on my studies. <laughs> Alright, so I guess yeah. crux of fate is on cooldown. So it's restricted, okay? There's only one in your deck. <laughs> oh, yeah, MJ wants us to talk about the trades. Uh, oh, the trades. Uh, we want to talk about them now or later? I was going to talk about it when we talked about, about Alolan Raichu, but we may as well yeah, talk about yeah, it yeah, now. Okay. Um, we'll mention trades now because there are actually a lot of trades in the game. Almost every regional forum is obtained through a trade, it's just a very minor change to trades. Well, well, okay. It's not really minor. It's it's a simple trade. It's a simple change. So I'll just try that again. Um, <clears throat> I'll mention trades now because there's actually a lot of trades in the game. Almost every regional form is actually obtained through a trade. And there is a simple change to trades. It's that they no longer give boosted XP or have any obedience restrictions. So just keep that in mind. Trades are probably... Your nicknames. Yeah. Oh, and you can change the nicknames. Uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, trades are probably a little worse than you think they are because they don't get the boost. Okay, great. Can I also I... mention that... Um, so, so the Alolda form trades and the, and the others are based on Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee's philosophy, uh, where they kind of took a back seat um, in, the, in those games. We made the final evolutions because we couldn't fit the pre-evolutions in. Uh, it was a bit, it was a very tight squeeze. This this hack just barely worked. Cheese, why are your guests nicer than you? It seems odd. I mean, it's not a very high benchmark. I'm not trying to be nice I'll, to I'll get viewers. Me time on. <laughs> I can I can be very mean. <laughs> Anything else we have to mention? I think we just have to talk about what the tiers themselves are, and I think we've done everything else, right? We talked about availability. Yeah. Came late for the stream, who's the guest? Uh, it's literally the creator. It's Plague Von Karma. Link to the channel in the description. Please watch the Rock Wars movie. <laughs> okay. So what are the actual tiers we're going to be talking about? Uh, they're the same as the ones I always use, so at the very top we have the S tier. Uh, these are the absolute cream of the crop, the best Pokemon in the game. If you're not using them, you're just making things harder for yourself, which is maybe what you actually want. 
Pokemon in A are just very, very solid. Uh, probably with some minor flaw that keeps them from the very top. Probably availability. Pokemon in B are totally fine. You can use them. I won't make fun of you. But you can do a little bit better. Uh, replacing the letter C tier, we have the word C. Water types are everywhere. A lot of them are interchangeable in that they have stats and can learn the move Surf. There's probably going to be quite a few Pokemon where literally the only thing I have to say about them is that they're a water type, so I guess they're going to go in the sea. And water is a pretty good type. Underneath, or under the sea, we have the D tier. D for don't bother. I think these Pokemon are quite bad, not quite unusable, but pretty close. And if you're going to use them, it's probably because you really like them. And at the bottom, we have Kanto's Finest. Uh, these are Pokemon that are just awful. <laughs> Uh, their, rede their only redeeming quality is that they're so bad that using them is kind of funny, so that's why you might. But as for actual viability, absolute gutter tier in the trash, which I guess does fit because there's a ton of poison types in Gen 1. And then under Kanto's finest, but not really, we have the daycare. So these pre-evolution Pokemon, they probably would be the very, very bottom but they're spared from that fate because they don't actually exist. <laughs> they're in they're the showdown mod. They make it the game. <laughs> but they're not actually in the uh the, they're not actually in the playable playthrough version. They're in the showdown mod, but they're not actually in the ROM that you can play through, so you don't really have to worry about them. We'll just put them in the day game. Out of sight, out of mind. Well not out of sight, they're literally right there. But we're not ranking them. <laughs> Who you named the D tier to Lobar? Hey, Lobar's not in this game. Why is the signal there? It, I mean, we added it as a separate form with the showdown mod, so people could pick on aesthetics. That that just it just kind of arrived here. That's all there is to it. Last major deviation from my normal lists. It's that because this is a remix. <laughs> Of a list I've already made, right? Gen 1. Uh, I'm actually not going to rank a Pokemon if it has no significant changes. So, for example, we're actually going to start with Squirtle. Because for Bulbasaur and Charmander lines, nothing really changes. So, I'm just not going to talk about them. For the sake of expediency. This video is probably still going to be close to two hours. That's my prediction. But it would be even longer if I had to talk about Pokemon where nothing changed, so I won't do that. Alright. I think that's it for the criteria. Everybody okay with that? I think so, right? Seems alright. Do people feel really strongly that we should re-rank Pokemon? Otherwise, I'm just gonna skip them. There are a lot of differences, like with the trainers themselves, but I don't think it comes up that much. Right. Where's the secret partner Pikachu and Eevee? I mean, they're not secret, right? You you start with them, right? We're going to be talking about them, because they have huge changes. Oh yeah, Trademax does change the post game quite a bit, but uh, I don't think it matters that much, since by that point you're already pretty powerful. Would you consider just copy-pasting the old Gen 1 tier list so the list is complete? Yeah, I guess if a Pokemon has no significant changes, we'll still put them on the list, but if I don't talk about them for more than 10 seconds, it's because nothing changed. I think that, that compromise should satisfy everyone, hopefully. Apparently the co-host is deathly ill. <laughs> it, it's it's slowly it's slowly going away. <laughs> All right, it's eight twenty-seven, so we'll start at eight thirty. 
So the official uh, X amount of time and nothing ranked is an hour 30. Are you missing Alolan Vulpix? See, a week ago I would have destroyed you. The chat will decide your fate. Do we destroy them or not? We did explain this. It's up to you guys. Oh, wow. The first response is light. Okay. You're very lucky. Uh, no, Alolan Vulpix is not uh, in the game. A lot of the Alolan forms are just trades. So you would trade Ninetales for Alolan Ninetales, but Alolan Vulpix is not in the game. Let the cools feast. Destroy them for the lights. Ravenous. We do have a chance to take a drink here. Cheers. <coughs> Refreshed. <laughs> For you, for anybody who's played World of Warcraft, here's my question. Here's a trivia trivia question for you. What uh, boss is it that says, "Surely you wouldn't deny an old man the chance for a refreshing drink"? If you haven't played WoW, I think that sounds like kind of a crazy ask. But if you fought this boss, you definitely remember that line. Praise of a very dusty bell. Ragnaros, no. I mean, he says he's an old man, so not Ragnaros. It's a burning crusade, boss. Oh, that's like a good fight to that point. <laughs> Kael'thas, you're getting closer. Mr. Rabbington, you'll be waiting for a while. <laughs> Kel'Thuzad, he's a zombie. He doesn't need to drink. Although, I guess the, uh... The character who says this actually is a ghost. Do I have... Oh, I actually don't have this one loaded. Hmm. I'll load this in case I need it. I'd go over some months that did get kind of big changes, like Meowth gets encountered much easier. I mean, uh, hey, Riddle of Lightning, first one to get it. You are correct. Shade of Iran. Good job. Yeah, it is Shade of Iran in um, Karazhan. He's like a mage, but he's a ghost. And then, if you ever hear the line about refreshing, you're about to die, because that means you messed up. So how the fight works is that he casts a bunch of magic, but you're supposed to stop him from casting his spells, because when he casts spells, he uh, loses mana, and if his mana gets too low, he turns you all into sheep, talks about getting a refreshing drink, and then he blows you all up with fireballs. So if he ever refreshes, that means you lost. These people pick some terrible Yu-Gi-Oh cards, jeez. <laughs> Isn't Raigiki, like, banned for being too good? It actually got all bad a few years ago. Uh, they tried it in one format for a bit, then rebanned it, and then they brought it back again. Oh! Uh, but it's actually been powercraft by Lightning Storm by this point, which lets you pick between either being Raigeki or Harpy's Feather Duster. <laughs> Who's in charge at Konami? What is this clown show? It's so fun, though! <laughs> Alright, let me see if I... I found it, okay. Yeah, Positive Greed is still bad. That's so fun. <laughs> I'll probably have to stop this immediately, I can't I think. God, you people pick such terrible ones! Something oh, it does work. Okay, I'm just making sure that one works. Uh, it actually might be too loud. Let me just make sure it's not too loud. Surely you want Ultimate Slayer or something but these days, right? Something It's not too loud, okay. <laughs> Dark World Boss sucks. I'm Don't not playing that graphic, unless people actually want to see it. I think we could, but uh, maybe we'll use that as a break as we, uh, after we start ranking. Like, you don't just got a card for that, though. So, just know that casuals are in danger, okay? If you say something casual, 
You might have to fight an enemy you can't defeat. Oh, these people still playing Fissure or something in the decks, I swear. <laughs> Let's put this in order. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Tarmogoyf is now unplayably bad. I'm kind of surprised it saw play for so long, right? It's literally just vanilla, but it's huge. All right. That's still so fun, though. <laughs> An hour 33 and not a single Pokemon ranked. It's time to change that. Oh. <laughs> All right. An hour 33 and not... An hour 33 and not a single Pokemon ranked. Well, that changes now. We're talking about Bulbasaur. Gen 1 Razor Leaf's pretty good. Full details for all these ones that I just briefly rank will be linked in the description. You'll just have to watch that old tier list. Charmander. Probably the worst in-game Gen 1 starter. It's actually even worse because... For some reason, apparently not that intentionally, they delayed one of its best moves, Slash. So instead of it getting Slash in the 20s, it's now in the 40s. Why? It does have a better it does have a better Brock matchup at least, because there is a seismic toss TM you could get in the in the museum. So it can actually beat Brock way earlier than it's that it usually would. Um it's not that helpful later on. So is that <laughs> I'll actually redo these really quickly, because uh, I'll mention something. Uh, please remember that anecdote about the uh, the Brock matchup, and please say that again when we re-rank them. Welcome okay. to this uh, very professional production. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. An hour 34, and not a single Pokemon ranked. Well, the lethargy ends here, okay? Bulbasaur. Gen 1 Razorleaf is pretty good. One of the changes to some of the move pools, they actually come from the anime, so... Before, in the vanilla version, Bulbasaur is probably like a... Yeah, a kind of reticent S? Is that the right word? A kind of... <laughs> well, okay. Is Not reticent, I don't think so. Is that a word? <laughs> reticent is definitely a word, I don't know if it's the right word. Maybe it's Reticence? just... I'm gonna say lukewarm, uh, okay. My All right. French knowledge is kicking in for some reason. <laughs> An hour 35 and not a single Pokemon ranked. Well, the lethargy ends here, okay? We're going to rank Bulbasaur right now. Gen 1 Razor Leaf is really good, always crits. This is kind of a reluctant S tier in the vanilla game, because it is still grass and grass is kind of ass. But... One of the changes made in the Kanto expansion pack is that there's been anime inspiration added. So now, Bulbasaur actually gets Whirlwind. So it's way better. If you want full detail... If you want the full... If you want full details on Pokemon like Bulbasaur, I just kind of throw them somewhere. You'll have to watch one of the older tier lists. Link in the description. I'm actually lying about Bulbasaur. <laughs> You're lying about Whirlwind. <laughs> Does it not get Whirlwind? I'm not lying. No! <laughs> okay, okay. It is, it is really funny, though. It doesn't get Whirlwind, it gets Razorwind? Alright, we're fact-checking right now. <laughs> Just gaslight yourself. <laughs> You're literally just gaslight yourself. Oh, wait, does it not get Whirlwind? Hang on. No! Is... <laughs> I did mention anime moves, but specifically Does it Charizard. even get Razorwind? This is a I disaster. I think it does get two by egg moves. Hang on. I think. Hang or on. Or am I thinking of for alligator? Oh no, it is for alligator, yes. Here you go. Okay. <coughs> oh, it doesn't get either. Oh, no, yeah, it does. Yeah, trademarks. Oh, it gets Razorwind. Okay. Such a classic. <laughs> yeah, okay. it gets it by like an egg move from like a few specific Pokemon, I think, in Gen 2, which is like change back locality is so weird. Like it gets the randomest moves. We're actually starting off with a lie, okay? It doesn't get whirlwind. 
it's even better. It gets Razor Wind in the post game. <laughs> Hell yeah. There we go. I actually had a, um, I think I can actually play this because it is on my computer. So I made a basic mistake, right? Let's see if we can get this to work. Shame. <laughs> Technical issues aside, this is a hidden by the heart, so I don't know what you mean. Where is it? Oh, a fun street. What? Are there actually technical issues? I don't think there have been that many, right? Is it by is it by voice or <laughs> are there technical issues? Let me know if there are. If you mean just like setting up stuff at the beginning, I wouldn't call that technical issues. I have a file called YouTuber Apology. <laughs> oh, the setup. Okay, I wouldn't call that technical issues. That's like normal. Is it really cheese through if you're not setting up for like two hours? That's why you gotta watch the pre exactly. It didn't even take two hours, an hour and a half. Where is this? I'm like hunting through my computer here. At this you point, know, it's like which takes two hours. <laughs> at this point, it's like not worth it. But at the same time, the sunk cost. I'm, it's What's the sunk cost exactly. <laughs> I'm looking for a, the file name is called youtuberapology.mp4. I give up. Just know that there's a youtuber apo Oh no, I got it. Zard is underrated as a starter. I agree, but I also don't think it's very good. Is this working? There's no ukulele. Oh, damn. No ukulele Pichu? <laughs> we're scrolling. We're scrolling. Where is this? I'm surprised nobody's like... I got, surrender, like, okay. Um... I surrender. You guys are going to see the YouTube YouTuber apology soon. You do like you get like the ukulele Pichu from Guardian Signs. And just like I'm like dancing around the screen. <laughs> Maybe... Does anyone gonna... remember that, by the way? That one time I just randomly put that Pichu in, in the, in the like, Guardian Sides? I only know what? the the ketchup one. Oh, you know, someone remembers Guardian Sides. Let's go. Not alone. Right. The game was so good. <laughs> it's impossible to play on emulator just because, like, it's a fucking ranger game. Alright, here's the, uh, we're gonna go to Charmander now. Remember the thing about the seismic toss? Oh, yeah. yeah. Alright, here we go. Charmander, my favorite starter, and by far the worst one. Uh, it's actually been, I think for the most part, nerfed. <laughs> so Fire sucks in Gen 1, and its best move, Slash, uh, instead of being mid-20s, is now in the 40s. So Charmander is just worse, but it's still a starter, so it's not that bad. Yeah, uh, the Brock matchup is certainly approved for people who enjoy playing with, with Charmander. Um, you can go into the Pewter Music Alliance. And there will be a guy who just gives you the seismic toss TM. It's a reference to Fire and Leaf Green. There's lots of uh, TM guys around the region for that. Uh, so if you're interested in using Charmander for some reason, you could do that, I guess. <laughs> and that's the first instance of the ROM creator themselves lying to you because it turns out that Charmander beats Brock anyway. Don't fall for the super effective swindle. Watch the video. Yes, you could use Ember. But if you don't want to grind, I guess you could do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seismic toss is probably better. It's more consistent, at least, technically. <laughs> First Pokemon with major changes. It's the Squirtle line. So you might notice that Blastoise looks a little funny, and that's because it's not Blastoise. It's a brand new Pokemon. Tor... Tartle? <laughs> Whoa. 
So it's Blastoise with quotes. It's special is a little bit better. It actually goes up to 100 special. And it gets a dual type. And dual types are almost always better than pure types. What dual type does it get? <laughs> Just covered my eyes here. <laughs> it's water grass. Yeah, it's like Ludicolo, don't you remember him? <laughs> yeah, I love Ludicolo. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a reference to uh, the fact that it's a Midogabe. Uh, the Midogabe is um, it's like this really old turtle that has like seaweed growing on its back. Um, this blast, this uh, Blastoise uh, thing, uh, first we call it a tarsal. Um, it turns out that Blastoise was made significantly earlier than Squirtle and uh because they actually intended for something completely different to be there. But when they started like cutting Pokemon for space, they just kind of like put it. They just kind of compressed them all together. So they just put just replaced it, which explains why War Turtle just changes so much when it goes into Blastoise. So it's eh, it's alright. Also, the, it does, doesn't get much grass stuff. Uh, it's like Mega Drain and Petal Dance, <laughs> but it's cool. <laughs> but that's about it. Capable of living for ten thousand years. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, okay. Capable of living for 10,000 years. Well, I hope you, the trainer, have... Okay. Capable of living for 10,000 years. Well, I hope you, the trainer, also have an eternal lifespan. If you're gonna try and use a water grass type. Ah! I mean, I'm putting it in S, because... Oh. We also switched the defense and special. <laughs> I I I'm I'm not as big of a grass and apologist as you think. I, I assure you. <laughs> no, I, I do like grass types. I I picked Chikorita as a kid. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you can't trust anything they say. <laughs> At least with Nokia stuff. <laughs> I mean, I'm still putting it in S. It, it is a starter, and it is better than Blastoise. But Blastoise is really underwhelming. It's just that it's a water type, and now it's a water and a grass type. Hooray. Hope you like Mega Drain, 40 base power. It does eventually get Pedal Dance. The bad version of Pedal Dance. Yep, it's, it's, it ain't 120 BP yet. Oh. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, we can talk about the new Funky Mode. Starter Pikachu. Yellow Pikachu is... Probably the worst starter in Pokemon history. I do think it's worse than Chikorita. Are oh, things... absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> are things different in Kanto Expansion Pack? They are. Are you ready? Starter Pikachu is one of the best Pokemon in the game. I might have actually messed this up. Okay. Um. <laughs> Are you ready? Starter Pikachu is one of the best Pokemon in the game. Mostly because it's not a Pikachu. <laughs> so, Starter Pikachu, the main thing that holds it back is that it can't evolve at all in yellow, which makes it complete garbage. However, in this game, not only can it evolve, it actually has three different forms, sort of. So by far the worst is uh, Vanilla Raichu. In fact, I'm not even going to rank it because it's actually not the final evolution anymore. Ooh. So back down you go. Pikachu now has two different final forms you can go to. You can either trade your Raichu for Alolan Raichu, which gains the Psychic dual typing super, super good in Gen 1. So you've got Stab Psychic, you've got Stab Electric, and you've got Surf, along with, like, very reasonable speed and special at the very beginning of the game, because it's your starter. Super, super good. You just have to wait for the Thunderstone in Saladon City. Actually S-tier Pikachu. That's insane. However, if surfing is not your hobby of choice, you could try 
Goroing? I actually don't know what the Goro in Gorochu means, but Gorochu actually exists in this game. It is an evolution of Raichu. You have to trade for it, but there's actually a new NPC in the Cinnabar Labs that will do all of the trade evos for you. So as soon as you get Surf, you can get all the trade evos. Gorochu! More like Gigachu! Super, super good! Stats-wise, it is very slightly better than Alolan Raichu. I'll actually show you how much slightly better it is. It's like very barely better. Uh, because we kind of... Because it was, it was cut for balancing reasons originally. Um, but I could absolutely see why they cut it for balancing reasons. It's really, really, really strong if you go any more than that. It just has some like, power creeping Jolteon and everything else. You can see stats-wise, compared to Alolan Raichu, this is Alolan Raichu, their stats are basically the same. I think Gorochu has literally five more special, and it's a little faster, which doesn't really matter because they're both fast enough anyway. The big thing with Gorochu is that it loses the Psychic Stab, which is bad. However, it gets Horn Drill. And Gen 1 Horn Drill, yep. if you use X Accuracy... Uh, X accuracy instead of boosting your accuracy just bypasses accuracy checks, so you can have a guaranteed one shot on any Pokemon. You can just kill everything in sight. <laughs> you can do an old Nido King speed running attack. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah, so an intro a thing I've liked that just kind of happened when when adding like the EV Pikachu starters. So because Pikachu because Raichu evolves via trades and EV ends up evolving via stones, you end up with like a, a neat dichotomy between the two. So you have the Kanto stars that are like all level up. You have the stone evos with EV and the trade evos with with uh, Pikachu. So you get like the like all three Kanto evolution methods. It just kind of happened by accident, but I really like it. It's like poetry. It rhymes. Is that correct? <laughs> You close enough. <laughs> it it just ends out. It, it ends up working out really well. A lot. Of, that's how a lot of stuff in this hack ended. It just kind of just kind of worked out. I should also mention this here, but selecting either Pikachu or Eevee actually changes the game significantly. It puts it into yellow mode, which then allows you to get the other three. Uh, vanilla Kanto starters later, as you would in Yellow version. So I actually think you should always pick either Pikachu or Eevee. Maybe that means that Eevee's kind of good. Ooh, stay tuned. Oh yes. <laughs> All right. Eevee. I feel like a not insignificant portion of this channel is dedicated to talking about the Eevee Lucians. Well, we're gonna do it again. Eevee, start Eevee is one of your options for your starter. And we should probably talk about each of its forms individually, because they are all radically different. The stone evolutions, uh, just like in vanilla, you have to wait until Celadon City to buy the stones. Vaporeon. It's a water type, pretty good special, but it's really slow. Probably okay with stat problem. XP. Booster. I the, box, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess we should use their Japanese names. Showers. <laughs> we got showers. It's a water type. Pretty good stats, but it's a little bit slow. But hey, really good special. Jolteon. It's an electric type. Uh, imagine being outclassed by Pikachu line. <laughs> Only in the Kanto expansion pack, but it's still pretty good. I, I actually think it's probably it's better than Charmander overall. We love th left it. <laughs> we love thunders. <laughs> uh, two. Oh, I gotta mention this. Actual mm. Vaporeon. Uh, two dollar microtransaction from level five Vaporeon. Slow and only okay. I mean, it, it gets a lot worse than Vaporeon. Vaporeon's okay. Boosta! The traditionally terrible... Boosta, the traditionally terrible evolution. Uh, some traditions do make... Boosta, the traditionally terrible evolution. 
Can't betray tradition all the time. B for Boosta. 130 attack is really good. Uh, what moves are you using? Effie! Psychic is really good in Gen 1. Effie is a Psychic type. The main thing that holds Espeon back is that a lot of the special evolution stones are actually gated until Fuchsia City, which I'm gonna say is like the latter half of the game. If it weren't for the later availability of Espeon, uh, it would be S for sure, right? It was S in literally the last tier list we did. However, I think because of the significantly late availability, I can only put this very high up in A. Very sad. If it was available earlier, it would definitely be S. Discount Alakazam is still one of the best Pokemon in the game. Yeah, the Discount Alakazam does hurt it quite a bit, in my opinion, because it doesn't have, like, access to recover, for example, but I guess you're, you you usually rate by using items, for example, so I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, there is also, like, the lack of Thunder Wave, I believe. I don't think it gets Thunder Wave, uh, which would come up a bit. But then again, you're not attacking in that case, so I guess it doesn't matter either. <laughs> yeah, I don't it actually... It only gets Psychic. I just want to reiterate, I want to drive this point home, I want to really hammer this point in, that uh, I don't think that recover or being able to heal with items, I don't think either of them actually... Oh wait, how do I say this? Okay, um... <clears throat> I just want to reiterate this point, I want to really hammer it home, I want to really drive this point in, uh, I don't think that recovery... I don't think that recover for Alakazam is actually a point in its favor, uh, because neither Alakazam nor Espeon will ever get hit, ever. Because the enemy will be dead. Right, yeah, that's fair enough. And, and if it's another Psychic type, it'll just crit anyway. It's really fast. <laughs> just use Alakazam? Well, I mean, two Pokemon can independently be very good. Yeah, Alakazam does get the punches in the post game, which is pretty insane. And I guess Espeon gets, uh, it does get um, growth, <laughs> which is really funny. <laughs> All right, Buraki, one of the evolutions that has been most maligned by my particular style of tier list, because while Umbreon has always been a very reasonable defensive Pokemon with. Lots of utility on the competitive side of things. In my playthroughs, Umbreon has always been a piece of crap. Because <laughs> all it does is sit there and not die. Are. You. Ready. Buraki. Yeah, this thing tore off your, your, your playthrough. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's one of the best Pokemon in the game. Now, here's where we talk about a question you you might have been thinking about in the back of your minds. Just how did they do the special split for Pokemon that didn't actually exist in Gen 1? Uh, so, we can get the official that? explanation, right? <laughs> yeah, so, uh, the way I did it was, I looked at how the Pokemon special changed in Generation 2 first. So, in this case, um, well... I th the example I always go to is, is Primeape, where it goes from, like, uh, I think it's 50 special to, like, uh, 60 special sixty special defense or something, I think. So uh, I would always pick the special attack in that case, because it would be the one that's the same as the original. Uh, oh, it, you know, the same slot. Um, so when we go, when we get um, Umbreon, it's... Um, uh, so we just end up going with the 130 in that case. Actually, second. I'm just gonna look this up a second. I always just forget the numbers. <laughs> I'm, I'm a fake fan. <laughs> da, da, da. Yeah, so Eevee in this case, it goes from like. Six... Oh, sorry, you might cut out. Uh, could you repeat oh. from uh, Eevee in this case? Alright, so uh, Eevee goes from 65 special, 65 special defense. So in this case, we will always go with special defense because it's the it's where the stat would have transferred in in that case so we get the 130 special on, on uh which that means it just becomes a special attacking monster uh we do this for every single pokemon in cap uh which includes back mortar 
Uh-oh. Which means that Ed's no, a not yet. One they're not ready yet. Okay, okay. they're okay. they're gonna yeah. Yeah, they're yeah. gonna start they crying. They can look it up themselves. <laughs> <laughs> and they won't watch the rest. Of the- Don't talk about Mag Mortar yet. Oh no. <laughs> Oh yeah. So to be yeah, to be clear, a lot of things about Umbreon are actually horrible. So it's kind of slow and dark type. I'm not gonna say it's terrible, but it actually is very poor in game because you're weak to normal and you're resisted by normal. And there is a ton of random normal types you go against. So a lot of the time you're gonna be taking double damage. And dealing half damage. Oh. Gotta make sure this works. The aspect ratio is wrong. Oh, oh, please remind me uh, to fix the aspect ratio if I ever don't. Bop. However, when you have 130 special by Mount Moon, it doesn't really matter. It just takes double damage instead. <laughs> you'll see, HP, you'll yeah. see the not very effective text as you hit them with your like 60 base power resisted brutal swing, but the enemy dies anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, like if you watch uh, if you watch Cheese's like take you just see Umbreon taking like double damage instead. Like it just it, it doesn't actually do anything. It takes like it takes like five damage from a psychic all the time. I think. In it's crazy. In our playthrough of Kanto Expansion Pack, we had to stop using Umbreon because it was too good, and it was too boring to just watch it kill everything. It's kind of like the anti Nido King because Umbreon has good stats and horrible moves, and Nido King has kind of bad stats but amazing moves. But they both end up being really good. Just in different ways. A 675 donation from Smash Hero 75. Thank you for the... Mm. A microtransaction. Why 675? Uh, Buraki Supremacy. I might have to cut that from the premium, but thank you. Uh, oh. oh no. <laughs> I think that's everything to say about Buraki, right? Like, it's it's really good. Nobody, I don't... Mostly because of timing. But timing is important. One star? No oh, way. <laughs> Alright. What's Leafeon's Japanese name? Leafia? I think it's Leafia, right? Uh, Reefy, I think. Oh, it's Leafy? Yeah. What's Glaceon? I know... I don't know. Oh, that's... <laughs> I know that... Sylveon is Nymphia. Leafy bad YouTuber? Are they banned, or are they just... They weren't formally think... banned, were they? I think it's just kind of stopped. Glacia? Gla- is it Glacia and Leafia? That's alright. It is Glacia, okay. And then, I'm guessing it's Leafia as well. Okay. Glaceon is Glacia, okay. And it's Leafia, I see, okay. Alright. Leafia! Another evolution that has traditionally been... I'm not gonna say underrated, because it actually has just been really awful. <laughs> yeah, it's been flopping for years, jeez. <laughs> but Kanto Expansion Pack, it's got something for everyone. With Gen 1 Auto Crit Razor Leaf available at an early level, once you get that Leaf Stone and you go to Leafia, you get a pretty okay Grass type, especially considering that its special stat is... I mean, it's technically, it's technically like Kingler. <laughs> technically like Kingler. Yeah, as if that's a good the... thing. Yeah, it's totally good, right? <laughs> oh my god, this thing's horrible! <laughs> what? 
I think it's actually <laughs> finest. This thing is horrendous. <laughs> Now, you might think, like, okay, it's not that bad, right? It's got 110 attack, and it gets Razor Leaf. It gets so stats. It gets so stats. It's surely okay, right? It's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at yeah, this. So, the stats... I'll admit, the stats aren't the worst thing... I'll admit, the stats aren't the worst thing ever. What is the worst thing ever? This. The yeah, hell is this? Yeah, yeah, I'll take the L for that one. <laughs> level thirty-six razor leaf. Where are the physical take down level forty? What is this? Well, well, well take down you get via TM and sell it on city anyway. That's horrible. Yeah, you know, like by the time you get it, you get to take down. You know. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Why doesn't it get thing? Actually, that's a very good point. Uh, you could just give it. To, you just you could just give it to. The Jeez, uh, what would it take for Leafion to be somewhat passable? It would take an early Leaf Stone, and it would take early Razor Leaf, and it doesn't have either of those. Leafion is garbage. <laughs> Put it in the compost bin. Horrible. Oh yeah, we, we got that Gate Freak Star Design going here, don't you? <laughs> I, I lie about as much as as much as well. As well. <laughs> yeah, this, this is pre buff absorb. It's garbage. <laughs> Don't you worry. <laughs> Actual discussion about pre buff versus post buff absorb. <laughs> that is how dire Leafeon discourse is. Oh, um, oh yeah. Terrible. <laughs> All right, Glaceon. Another one of the evolutions that is often considered extremely bad. Uh, it had a brief moment in the sun in the Conquest playthrough as Cold Roy. However, it, it still wasn't that good. Is it good in Kanto Expansion Pack? Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. So, for some context, actually, this Pokemon is why the Ice Stone was moved to Future City. Like... It broke the game in two. Like, if you look at like the Discord server, like there's a massive like discussion from myself where I just like I did a test playthrough. I like because because when you get it, if you get it sold on City, it would come with like the TM for Ice Beam, which is like instant destruction and everything. Because this thing has the same special as Articuno. You're it's just more getting than Articuno, yourself an Articuno. Right? It, yeah, actually, I think it's five more, which is just even better. Sorry I to cut you off. While but... the game it is. No, 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 no. It's good. It's good. Always correct me. Um, but yeah, it's it's probably one of the like because like keep in mind, Gen One Ice type is fine. It's it's good. Like it's it's perfectly serviceable in Gen One, and it's just it it has no resists. You just you just click Ice Beam until you win with every fight. It makes it make, like it makes Umbreon look like a joke actually, even though. Obviously comes later, which is how we balanced it. It literally had to change the game around it. <laughs> it's also why we had to change it has to be a little all of the matter. <laughs> yeah. So there you have it. Yeah. Official statement that Glaceon was so good it had to be nerfed. And even post nerf, Glaceon is still one of the best Pokemon in the game. It has literally the strongest blizzard in the game at 130 special. Mm -hmm. I think it gets fake tears as well. I don't know if we removed that. I think we. I think we had to. Uh, fake tears, more like fake news. I oh, is fake tears on here. Oh yes, yes, okay, we did yeah. remove it because in the showdown mod, it was actually even more powerful. There, it could just use fake tears on Chansey and then just like blizzard it away. Although <laughs> let's comedy. let's be real. In game, you would never use fake tears, right? You would you just blow to, them just up kill immediately. Them anyway. <laughs> yeah, you just kill them. <laughs> Yeah, Je as uh, Plague mentioned, Gen 1 Ice is actually very, very good. So Ice types being locked to late game because they're too strong actually did make sense. It's just that in the Gen since then, Ice has been kind of a joke. Yeah, Fectior still exists as a move, it's just not on Glaceon. If Glaceon was actually at the same time as Umbreon, it would probably be the best Pokemon in the game. The only reason it's an A is because of the intentionally late availability. Super good.
All right. And last but not least, because it's not Leafeon, Nymphia. <laughs> and this is somewhere where I think Plague and I are going to disagree because Plague has stated that they don't think that I forgot its name. Nymphia is that good. I think it's perfectly fine. Ah, oh, seems right. it's actually quite reasonable. Um, so. The thing with the the thing with the fairy type in this game is that like it's answering a meta call that doesn't exist. So fighting isn't that strong. I mean, yes, there's like Galeria Zapdos now and stuff like that. Um, oh, you won't be fighting that in this, of course. Um, and then you have like, but but like Dragon doesn't really have anything going for it. Its immunity doesn't matter. Poison is ass, I guess. So like, it just kind of like adds a meta call that doesn't exist. So. You just kind of end up with like neutral coverage across the board, which is fine. Um, but it's like it just feels very underwhelming whenever you use it. Um, you get it at the same time as Umbreon, but like you should just pick Umbreon every time, I think, and you, nothing would happen. Um, like the like as someone here saying, like like it's, it's it has the same stats as Umbreon, but you get it at the same time as well, so you just pick that, right? <laughs> so I think the as, as Plague said, even though the fairy type is unchanged, it's actually kind of bad in Gen 1. I think the dragon immunity is... L I think the main selling point... <laughs> I think the main selling point of fairy in the modern games is the dragon immunity. And in Gen 1, the dragon immunity is literally useless because the only dragon move is dragon rage. And set damage moves bypass immunity anyway. So the dragon immunity just doesn't exist. Uh, it does have very good stats, the exact same as Umbreon. Uh, however, it does have the exact same stats as Umbreon and the exact same availability. You use a Moonstone instead of the Poison Stone, both of which are found in Mount Moon. However, I just think it has overall worse matchups than Umbreon, who already has a bunch of bad matchups. But when you match up poorly against Poison, and Poison is on everyone's team, that's a bit of an issue. <laughs> Not I, guess, too... I guess a fun fact. Oh, okay. I guess right. a fun fact here. Um, it uses Future City's palette uh, to give it its proper colors, which I thought was like a cute little thing that that that's Martha did. <laughs> uh, can you? Sorry. Can you um repeat that with oh. Sylveon on on screen? Oh yeah. So a fun fact. Um, when, when we were making uh, Sylveon sprites, we uh, Martha decided to give it Future City's uh, palette for for its colors which just happened to give it the right coloration. It's the only Pokemon in the game to use a map palette for its color, and it works out really well. Do we want to... Should we just put Sylveon next to Umbreon? They're, they're basically the same, right? We can do that. Just Umbreon, I think, is I a little better. Could. Yeah, I guess you could. Uh, well, it, was, it does feel very weird to use sometimes, but I guess I could see it. We should also mention, because I don't think I said this before, but moves have not had their types retroactively changed. So Bite is still a normal move instead of Dark. However, they've added a bunch of Dark and Fairy and Steel moves. Yeah, we made them congruent to Generation 1. Uh, so if it wasn't exactly identical in effect, as in, like, down to the percentages, it would not have been added. Um, so... Dazzling Gleam is in the game because it's just a neutral fairy move, but Moonblast isn't because the percentage chance is different. I just couldn't be bothered to code if you once. But also, I just thought it'd be nice to have something like proper, fully consistent gem one. I wanted like a very purist experience initially. Um, Sora's here bringing up like the poison weakness. Um, I don't think you know how bad poison moves are in Generation One. They, they, that like, like twenty base power is going up to forty in a super. Fast. It's not going to do much. <laughs> Oh, wait, they don't have literally the same stats, right? Umbreon has way more defense? Oh, yeah, Umbreon has yeah, way more defense. Yeah, it doesn't okay. matter that much, I don't think. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. The, the point is mostly that... S, or, the point is mostly that Sylveon gets gigantic special in Mount Moon, so the type chart doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. Alright, next. Radicate. Okay. Rats gang. 
Raticate. Well, it turns out when it's a regular Jagan and not a Nega Jagan, as in you actually get it early, it's totally fine. Not a superstar, but hey, decent stats early game, and then you can bench it. Or you can be like your rival and permanently bench it. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Uh, Superfag's pretty good. Our first... Well, actually, our second. Alolan Radicate is in this game, and you can trade Radicate for it, I believe, in Viridian City. Mm -hmm. Alolan Radicate is Radicate, except it's a little bit slower and a little bit bulkier, neither of which matter. The main thing that matters is that it's also part dark type, which would normally be really good, but in this game it's just kind of good. The main advantage of Alolan Radicate is that it eventually gets Night Slash, which is Dark Type Slash, which in Gen 1 means Auto Crit, and that's pretty good. But in the, at the end of the day, it's still Eradicate. I think it's a little well, bit Somebody better. here brought up that like, Alolan Radicate was balanced to be difficult to obtain for Misty. I... I am, I really admire you, like, like coming out like, like as if I'm, like, intelligent. Um... Actually, we were just getting rid of our version exclusivity from Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee's traits, which is why Marowak's not in Lavender for some reason. Um, so we just kind of like went, eh, let's just put the Severidian, because a little Golem made perfect sense in Pewter. But uh, yeah, so we just put a little Raticate in the last place that was possible. <laughs> People in the chat pointing out, Dark is special though! It, it really hurts it! I looked at the stats beforehand, kids! I, I'm assuming none of you are actually kids. They don't have any attention spent the last two hours. <laughs> it's like Kingler, right? It's like Kingler. This is a difficult <laughs> video for me to make. It's like Kingler. Yeah, 40 special's really bad. I thought that was... Sorry. Horrible. <laughs> Didn't do the research. <laughs> Okay. Oh yeah, great sprite, but I mean that doesn't factor into the ranking. Shouts to Albatross. Everybody okay it's with? Actually, but it has fifty special. <laughs> Everybody okay with uh, Nega Radicate in B? It's probably going to be low B by the end. If it was available later, it'd be way worse. It should be in D. It's not that bad. It still has all of the normal traits of Radicate. I think it's alright, though. It's also ugly? That's mean. It doesn't matter. I think it looks alright. It's Biggie Cheese. Like, you could name it Biggie Cheese and it'd be accurate. It's great. <laughs> it's technically Radicate, but worse. For availability, you won't get it until hard. after Diglett Tunnel. You could just walk back to Pewter, right? Yeah, you could just go back. That is a change they made, so... You're correct in Vanilla, but not in Kanto Expansion. I think we're actually just going to use Final Forms, because we have all the Final Forms here. So let me just swap <laughs> those out. It's now a Charizard. That's now a Venusaur. It's for the Charizard bias, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, I think Is that's it for... Eradicate? No, that's totally a reason. You can tell you use it over Radicate. Like, 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 the Night Slash animation is really good, I assure you. <laughs> Alright. Pidgey! Pidgey. The reason why people think regional birds are bad. It's Pidgey. Wait, did, wait, At... didn't, you just, didn't you just say you got to put final forms in? Oh, you're right. <laughs> Pidgey line. The reason why people think regional birds are bad. Even though they really haven't been for the past, like, decade. But this one's definitely bad. At least it's on Route 1. I have so many issues with Pidgey art. <laughs> I hate this thing. If I was adding the bird type into this, I probably would have reworked like 
like Pidgeot, Fearow, and, Do and Dodrio. But I decided to do Gates Stits like really early on, so it's just kind of like, eh. <laughs> I really don't like it. <laughs> I just think the Pidgeot Evo, well, Pidgeot should have better stats, and it shouldn't be like a level 30s Evo. It should be like mid 20s, and then it would be still bad, but a lot less it worse. Has 22, it gets 22 moves, so they can fit on your monitor screen. If you go to Swaggle next, it literally fits on your monitor screen. It's, it's that bad. It is dire. Uh. Like, 19 legal moves. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so depressing. Uh. Alright, our first pre-evolution. Meowthline actually gets a Prevo. Coin Purr? Now, Coin Purr obviously is completely horrible. It has worse stats than Meowth. But, you do get it earlier. You do get it on... Route 1, which actually means that it is an overall buff in availability for the Meowth line. So, Gen 1 like is the... Problems. Oh, sorry, is that? Yeah, it solves like half his problems, I think. Um, although, there's still many of them. Um, uh, but it also gets Payday really early, which is quite nice. Although, like, the the money you get isn't that much, but, you know, it's stocks, I guess. But I it is normal stab. I think it's negligible, <laughs> the yeah, Payday utility. Yeah, not much. But it does. To buff payday, but, uh... It does get the buff from earlier availability, and Gen One is the only Gen where Persian is not complete ass. So I, I think like top of B maybe. It really wishes it had slash earlier. If it had like level twenties slash, it would probably be an A. But slash is kind of late for my liking. Hmm. Yeah, you can also get the you can also just get a, a Persian for free in Vermilion City if you do quest. Although well, it does take a while to do. Um, I added that from Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, and it took me like a week to code. Even like half the half the really good stuff I did took me like a few seconds, but that one specifically just took forever. And I think it's still glitchy. <laughs> I don't know if it's glitchy, but I am gonna say I didn't do it because it it was way I mean, it too way much too work. Long. You have to trade five Growlithe for a Persian. Like, I just want to play a game. No, I'm just... Yeah, you can also get, like, early game Arcanine as well, and stuff like that, which is, like, much more effective, I think. Oh, is the Lapras glitch still there? Why? Uh, let me actually see exactly when Slash is. It's really late. It's pretty like, late, even right? if it, I think if Vanilla is, like, level... Four, I think... I think we made it, like, earlier, I think. Oh, God. Oh, level yeah, 40. we made it earlier, but... Yeah, uh, le it's still, level... It's like, sinful. It is sinful, yeah. Level 40 slash is not gonna cut it. Uh... Yeah, you kind of, like, rely on, like, Crit Fury Swipes, but even that's, like, really late. Joining alongside Persian is... Alolan Persian. I guess living in Hawaii makes you evil, apparently. Alolan Persian. I think it's just better in Persian, right? Is this is this crazy? So I know that I just made a fool of myself by talking about Night Slash on Radicate, but I think Night Slash on Alolan Persian is actually good. It also gets nasty plot for Thunderbolt, which is quite nice. And you get it right when you get Persian as well. Okay, 75 special. Not great, but certainly usable with stat XP. That's almost Nido King. Really fast, you get sick crits. Ooh, level 46 Night Slash. Ah! Oh, but you get Nasty Plot level 35. And Nasty Plot in Gen 1 is like two calm minds. That's actually really good. Yeah, it's just Amnesia. So you can use it with Fate Attack and whatever. And also you can get Thunderbolt on it as well. So it just kind of goes off. Pretty good with the bubble beam as well, if you don't have anything to use the bubble beam TO on. Although that's better on Persian. Kind of okay, but with high level restrictions, so I'm thinking I'm thinking B, but maybe behind the boost for both of these guys. Uh, that's that's tragic, isn't it? <laughs> Alright. 
Perserker Pers is really slow, right? Like, really slow. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, it's 50. That's pretty slow. With, uh, I don't know, Smart Strike. What's the base power of Smart Strike? 70. 70. Okay, that's, wow, that's actually pretty good. You can get it right away. Mm-hmm. And no reusable TMs. You get. You could just buy them in the post game. Yeah. All just, right. Just, just go to the post game. It's great. Perserker. Are you tired of the Meowth line yet? I hope not, because we got one more. It's Perserker. A hundred and ten attack. That's a lot. Fifty speed. That's not a lot, but it it is Gen One with stat XP. It's pure steel, and steel is a lot worse than you remember, but it's still kind of okay. And unlike these two goobers, it actually gets a very reasonable stab move. Smart Strike, 70 base power. Very early. Uh, level 21. So I, I think I can say it's better than both of them. I'm still not terribly excited to use this thing. I wouldn't say I would go Perserk for Perserker, but yeah, it's okay. Uh, somebody has talked about like the anti synergy between Nasty Plot and Night Slash. What are you talking about? So, uh, with I understand the logic here. It's like, uh, oh, uh, because it like all your boosts. That doesn't really matter because the the immediate power of Night Slash means that your setup isn't going to be interrupted. This is uh, a very common debate in like in like the competitive spheres because like, oh yeah, why does why do we use Slash plus Sword Stance with uh, with Kabutops? Which is why we just use Vive Beam, not Slash. Um, it's not it's not a big deal. Um, in fact, it's just not a deal at all. You use not use nasty plot for the thunderbolt and and bubble beam, not the night slash. The immediate power is very important. Oh, I might have missed a donation. Sorry, hang on. From like a while ago. I'm sorry. Oh, oops. <laughs> no, it's my fault. Um. Oh, I did. I did. Sorry. Uh, five dollar donation from Jacob McBanks. I hope they're still here. Gotta play this. Mm. And I, I will read it. So it says, Not really related, but in the past two days, I fought and killed the same guy's Evolution team four different times on the Gen 7 ladder. We might do a dramatic reading of the, uh, Can you guys not read Copypasta? Which I think does involve Eevee, right? God. Oh, no. Eevee fans must be destroyed. Sorry for the delay on reading that. I hope you were still here. And yeah, Vic, it's like... So, oh, 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 do you want to go? Uh, okay. Uh, so, yeah, uh, with regards to the... Um, like, with regards to that stuff again. Um, it, so, you don't always get the opportunity to, to set up. So, it's better to have the immediate power instead. So, you can always threat to something. So, for example, like... Um, whenever you send out a Pokemon, you're not always going to immediately click the, set, click the setup button. You don't always have the opportunity. So, it's like... That, so, Light Slash is much more useful than, say, Fade Attack for that reason. And here are... And here are Berserker's stats, just in case you want to see them. 110 attack is pretty good. Uh, you have to be careful, though, because I think both of the... Oh, no. You have to be a bit... You do have to rush a bit, because the Berserker trade is on the SSN. It comes back after... Saffron City Gym. So you can either get your Persian on board the SSN the first time and make the trade, or you have to wait till much later. And if you wait till much later, I think that Berserker's a lot worse. So you, you do have to do it on your first pass through. If you want the amazing B-tier Berserker, ooh. Yeah, you have to do the... You basically have to do the quest, for, the side quest for that then. Okay. I think that's it for those guys. Butterfree! Pretty much unchanged from vanilla. It is a decent early game Pokemon that doesn't fall off that hard because it does have usable psychic moves. And 75 accuracy sleep powder, even without compound eyes, is very okay. B for Butterfree. It's basically just a just a catch-em-on. <laughs> 
Bee Drill. You like bug poison types? I don't. Even though it gets the early game power spike, this thing's garbage. I hate Bee Drill. It doesn't do anything. Not yeah, the bees, it yeah. Not the bees. Not the bees! Terrible. That's what Leafeon how? Um, <laughs> it's a lot <laughs> earlier than Leafeon. Yeah, it's silly. New Pokemon! W what's this thing called? It's got a weird name. Carapthor. Carapthor, okay. New Pokemon! Carapthor! More like Crapthor! It's not that bad. <laughs> it's better than Beedrill, but that's not saying much. It's Beedrill's uh, old design, actually, which is quite interesting. <laughs> it has the same base stat total, uh, so... Oop. That's a bad <laughs> sign, but it does have a oh, better yeah. secondary type. That secondary type being fighting. Unfortunately, <laughs> it is Gen 1 fighting, which is really bad. <laughs> It has a very funny Pokedex entry. <laughs> oh, here's the Pokedex entry. It's often called the Forest Gent. Karamthor strolls around forest with swagger to Beedrill's ire. Oh. Its highest stat is 85. There's only so much you could do with 350 BSC. <laughs> what kind of fighting type has 85 base attack? Horrible. There's only so much you can do. <laughs> the main thing this guy does is punch Brock, which is already of pretty dubious utility, since you could have one of the Nidos kick Brock, or you could just use Ember with Charmander. It's kind of fine. Ah, oh, well, do we get any good moves? We got... It gets Uppercut instantly. <laughs> uppercut is a new fighting move. Doesn't even have a hundred accuracy. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh lordy. Uh, the great Prometheus. The thing about Karapthor is that because it's um, not like a it's not like an official Pokemon, it doesn't really have a chance for redemption, right? It, um I mean there's a like I like there's not really much you could do. Like I did try like a lot to optimize it, but like this the, B the base that total is too low, and I need to, like, stay to the Beetle idea, right? <laughs> yeah. At least with Beedrill, in Gen 6, it got a Mega also, Evolution, you a, right? You got a massive donation, by the way. And right? I, I got good news, because Megas are back, guys. Megas are back! Uh, 77, 77 donation from Prometheus. Well, I love Beedrill. Yeah, 80 attack and 75 speed seems bad. But on Mega, it gets min-max to 150 attack and 145 speed. Making it a real offen- oh, I think doesn't Mega Evolve? Oh my god, this thing's horrible! <laughs> Thank you for the generous donation. Although Megas are back in our fanfic livestream. Unfortunately, they are not back in, in the real games. Yet. Okay. Megas are gonna be back in Gen 10. Mark my words, okay? We're gonna start our Gen 10 playthrough right after we play through Fire Emblem Echoes Legacy of the Crusaders, releasing as a launch title for the Switch 2. I'll see you there. It, it's gonna be great, guys. Mega Sigurd when? <laughs> oh, I'd, I'd love a genealogy remake. <laughs> The yeah, Genealogy remake is coming, okay? For sure. I'll see oh, you at I the next so. Nintendo Direct. So. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. Uh, anybody anybody have any qualms with Kanto's Finest Beedrill or uh, Bottom of B Karapthor? Is it is it good enough for me? Like, Karapthor? Like, is it good enough? <laughs> are, are you sure? It might not be. Like, like I don't know. It's like. <laughs> All right, fine. Crap. Yeah, it's better than the pitch y'all. I'll give us that. Okay. <laughs> Huge official endorsement from the wrong hack creator. It's better than Pidgeot. <laughs> 
There's a lot of things about the Pidgey. I'm surprised I think quite a Crap Thor. Or Crap Thor. More like Crap Thor, except this time I mean it. Alright. Coltora line. This replaces Pikachu in Viridian Forest. Uh, if you look at the chat, you'll see that. I guess I should ask people to type Kotora the emotes. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Please type Kotora now if you can. There it is. Kotora, the replacement for the Pikachu line within Viridian Forest. We named our Kotora Lin. X. Lin is a one-star unit in Fire Emblem Seven. I don't think Kotora is actually a one-star unit in this game, but it's. Definitely not very impressive. It's an electric type. What were you saying, Final Force? I should use the final form. <laughs> I don't think Kotora is actually a one star unit in this game. That's a little harsh, but it's definitely outclassed by Pikachu, which is a crazy sentence. <laughs> Yeah, so we put it in Viridian Forest because, like, you know, otherwise the start of Pikachu would be pointless, right? Because uh, you could just go to Viridian Forest and get it. Um, it, was a, it was a nice way to, like, introduce, like, some of the some of the newer Pokemon and stuff. And gave you something to chase for in Viridian Forest. These final form stats of Gorotora are, you know, very reasonable. 105 attack, that's great because electric moves are all special. Ah, so you're going to be using 95 special, which is fine. I think the main strike I would say against the Kotora line is that the final evolution uh, is kind of late. It's level 36 to the final form. Yep. If it was like it's level... Got a, it's got a Pidgeot card set. <laughs> oh, it's definitely better than Pidgeot. <laughs> uh, it also really needs the Thunderbolt TM because otherwise you're going to be Thundershocking for the entire game. In which case, yeah, it might actually be one star, but I think that's because we treated it unfairly. Yeah, in the showdown mod, it was designed to, like, actualize what Jolteon wanted to do. So, in RBY Overused, uh, Jolteon was often used as, like, a Zapdos check, uh, because it would, like, uh, it would use Rest to just stonewall it for a while. But repeated critical hits would often, like, just send it to hell. Um, so Gorotora was designed to alleviate that and also get more physical moves because there wasn't really a, a physical attacking electric type. Um, obviously, that's terrible, but you know it was a decent arch archetype to add to the game, which is something that, like later games do play into. Electivire does it as well, but you know it's good to have a new Pokemon design around it. Um, uh, uh, someone's asking level thirty-seven of Thunder. Why? Uh, it actually uses the Space World Learn set. Um, interestingly, this Pokemon was actually finished. It's the Space World demo. Uh, so the stats you see are pretty much accurate to what you'd see in that demo. You just get to use a fully finished Pokemon. I'm glad Gorotora exists, but I wouldn't use it. It's my evaluation. <laughs> There's, lots There's lots of better things you could use. <laughs> All right, next. Firo! The way cooler and way better Pidgeot. It is like... Raticate, except it doesn't fall off as hard. And hey, it eventually gets Drill Peck, so... Very bottom of A, I think very unexciting, but it is usable. Maybe very top of B. <laughs> like, you could just pick Dodrio. But Dodrio's I, later. I think, I think, it, yeah, I, I think that getting the, the birds at the stars is actually a trap. <laughs> oh. Uh, because you get, you, cause you get Fly in Celadon City, right? So mm -hmm. by that point, you could just get a Dodrio it's at the right level for you, and it gets drill pack really quickly. Uh, I think Dodger is probably one of the best in-game Pokemon of all time, because it actually gets Tri-Attack as well by the, by, well, by the TM girl. Um, Dodger is definitely better, but the main thing is that Spearow like, is like root... It's not quite root like, 2, but it's immediately it west of Viridian City, right? So you get it a lot earlier. Yeah. You can peck the entire forest. Lots of targets. Yep. It's pretty good. Like... But like, what's actually hitting though? Like he, like I guess Brock to stop, but there's, there's, there's Brock to buy, and the other is like um, the entire the, forest, and there's, there's lots of like girls. The entire with forest, but like, is that wasting XP though? 
it's wasted XP though, right? Because like you're not gonna, you're not, you're probably not gonna be using it by the time you get to sell it. Or you can just replace it. It's pretty good. I think it's fine. Like, like, but that's but like, what's it actually? It doesn't hit anything. It like, hits like, like half Misty, the it's game. Really difficult. <laughs> The entire forest, like, there's a bunch of bugs and grass types, it beats all of them. The and forest it, is difficult, though! <laughs> it's not, but it's an easy way through the forest. Like, there's so many better options, right? There are, like, that's, like, it's why, not that's why like, it's only like, in B. But, like, the, like, it's, like, there's literally no reason to use it, though. Like, it's like, not the, like, that bad. Them, it's perfectly fine. Over, like, committing a gen- over doing a genocide run- Over your forest, there's, like, nothing there. <laughs> what is this Fero slander? <laughs> I despise this Pokemon. Time to remake <laughs> the first episode of Pokemon, but with play getting destroyed by the swarm of Firo or Spiro. <laughs> like, like, there's again, like, 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 there's no reason to pick a bird until you actually get access to fly. And like, when I like, Dodrio is right there. <laughs> I gotta disagree. The Firo Wars. Like, like, cause, like, keep in mind, like, like after Misty, you have. You have Vermillion, which is, I mean, you, get, you gotta get killed by Lieutenant Surge as well. It sucks! It's so bad! It's not that, but what is this? You don't I... understand, okay? Firo has 61 special. I would never use Dodrio with its paltry 60 special. This is a Firo family, okay? Oh yeah, oh yeah, Dicelin. I, I only, I only like, uh, I only like the good birds. This is not a good bird. I disagree so much with top of me. <laughs> Such a shame. Surely. <laughs> Such a shame to have a guest host for the first time, and and to have it end in such a gruesome manner. You have <laughs> failed me in oh, turn. No. <laughs> it is you who should suffer. Be content that your death sorry, is a I'm good sorry, one. My <laughs> I cast Dismember! Cost zero if a co-host deceived you this stream. I eroded the text. Strip target intern of their channel membership. Then they die. What membership? Horribly. A first <laughs> Let this one's gruesome fate serve as a warning to the rest of you. Your entrails will make an excellent feast for the Firo. I think Firo's fine. I, I understand that it's outclassed, but it's not outclassed it's immediately. It's not just outclassed, it sucks! It's not that it bad, what is this? It does nothing! The Firo War is- there's, there's gonna be no resolution here, I think Firo's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Alright, we'll move on for now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, this one should be very non-controversial. So, Nido Queen and Nido King are some of the best Pokemon in the game. Uh, Nido Queen has better defenses, which does not matter at all. Nido King has better offenses, which does matter slightly. So, Nido King is better. The main reason why both of these are up here is that they all of their stats are like kind of mediocre. They're really, really good for the point in the game where you get them, Mount Moon. And then they can leverage that early game advantage to then just snowball and get completely out of control. And they learn ev every move you could possibly want. So they just end up taking over the entire game as soon as you get them, which is, like, right after the first gym. Both of them, really, really good. But you already knew that! Nothing really changed for them. Although I think, uh... Nidoking now gets a level yeah, up Earthquake at level 36, so it's even better! But there is actually a new member of the Royal Nido family we have to talk about. It is Nido Rain. So this is not just petrified Nido Reno. This actually is a new third evolution uh, for both of the Nidos. Either male or female Nido can evolve into Nido Rain. You have to use the Moonstone. <laughs> so now Poison Stone, the new stone, actually gives you the classic uh, Nido royalty. Nido Rain has... I think strictly better stats than either of the Nidos, it just has the best stats of both of them. The main difference is that instead of secondary ground, it's secondary rock, which is worse. So overall, I think it's better than Nido Queen, but probably worse than Nido King, because although it has better defenses, they don't matter at all. It doesn't get Stab Earthquake. 
Still so, one of the best. Pokemon you don't read really actually. We put, we we put a significant amount of thought into it. So sorry, um, uh, uh, it was I actually... cut you off. Could you, um, <laughs> could you restart that with uh, Needle Rain stats on screen? Just give me a second. Yeah, here. sure, sure. There's a lot of moves, so it's awkward. <laughs> so uh, one one second here. I gotta get the right. format to work. Here it is. Uh, okay. It's just that. That, it's just that yeah, petty so. boost. Here are Nidorain's stats. It still has, like, all the moves you could possibly want. Mm -hmm. and, and now we'll get some official commentary on the royal family. Alright. So, um... Nidorain had a significant amount of thought put into it, because we didn't really know what it was. So, in the prototype version of Red and Green, there was a third Nido. Now, Helix Chamber interpreted it to be, um... Uh, like a rock poison type of thing. Uh, I don't actually remember fully how it was, but it is where we got the name from. Uh, but we did some digging ourselves, and it seems that it was based on the Chinese interpretation of the moon rabbit, which was uh, which had this like rabbit making elixirs on the moon, uh, which is where the Pokedex entry comes from. Um, I'm not really sure what it was meant to be outside of that. It may be that like. Both Nidos were meant to evolve into it, and then Nido King and Nido Queen were separate, because they were made beforehand, I think. Actually, no, Nido, Nido, Nido Male was made a lot at the same time. Um, but yeah, it is a very unusual one. Um, although the rock type does come up quite a bit in in-game playthroughs, uh, because you have the whole... Because uh, you, you just resist uh, normal, which is great. Um, the non-binary thing that people would be saying in chat is purely coincidental. Uh, that didn't come into play at all in my mind. Uh, but it is interesting, I guess. <laughs> All right, thank you. Any uh, any further comments on Nidoran? I'm, I'm assuming nobody has any qualms about the placement, right? It's basically just Nido King, <laughs> who's one of the best Pokemon in the game. Okay. All right, next. Zubat, one of the infamous powerhouses of Gen 1. Although it does evolve into Crobat in this game, I would say that overall, Zubat has actually been nerfed. Because it now has a pre-evolution that you have to suffer through before you have the privilege of using Zubat. At least the Crobat evolution is really early, right? So do you want some background on that, actually? Almost. <laughs> Uh, we'll just do a little thing here. <laughs> Alright. Forty. Forty levels. Forty levels! For this. Which is actually pretty good, but... No. <laughs> 25.39% crit rate. 75% chance to waste your time with Crobats. <laughs> this thing is horrendous. Oh. So, do you want some background on basic that? <laughs> Almost, almost. I just gotta talk about the pre-Evo uh, stats. If you don't think that Crobat is this bad... Try and use these Bitty Bat pre-Evo stats. <laughs> you can! 220... 190 BST! What is this?! Horrible! I think that Crobat is one of the most consistently overrated and underhated Pokemon in my in-game tier lists because, my god, this thing is the definition of it's really fast so it goes first. And then what? Sludge? Wing attack? Hell no! 
Okay, Karma has been very patient. Please give your thoughts on the Crobat line. So, uh, Bitty Bath, uh actually revealed a lot about like the developments behind Golbats, which you know is infamously bad. It turns out that it was severely nerfed on release, like immeasurably so. So it's it's original third set. It actually got psychic moves, so it was most likely a psychic flying type at one point, which in Gen One would have been insane. So Bitty Bat's existence comes from like just kind of a freak accident because obviously we wanted to add Crobats in the game, but we couldn't rework the vanilla Pokemon either. So Bitty Bat just happens to exist for that reason, and I wanted the red green uh, Pokemon to be prioritized over everything else. So we actually like I actually fought to keep Bitty Bat and Magnetite in the game for that reason. Um, but yeah, like Gol, like yeah, Golbat was meant to be a psychic type, and it was probably going to be insanely good because you know. It was a three-stage line, uh, which meant it probably would have had better stats as well, sort of like Seeking, which I could, which is just as tragic. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, really sad. But yeah, uh, Crobat is unfortunately very bad here because we go with, with Space Wars uh, Evolution Conditions, which is level 40. Um, so yeah, it's just very bad, but very interesting. <laughs> I kind of like how it's a little reminiscent of Swoobat. Hmm. But this is actually, I think, the first four-stage evolution that uh, we are talking about. It is actually a four-stage evolution. Bitty Bat, Zubat, Golbat, Crobat, and they're all horrible. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Gee, dude. Yeah, I think Swoobat was revisiting that. I think Swoobat was definitely re revisiting that concept. I think they were just, like, apologizing for the creation of this, of this shitty Pokemon. Oh, they definitely like, should Crobat's apologize. Crobat's been terrible for years. <laughs> I guess we can end with that. Oh, bitty bad. More like bitty bad. <laughs> it's horrible. Uh, you, you can't get Zubat in the in Mount Moon, so it's literally just completely pointless, but like, it doesn't do much to save it. Zubat's still terrible. Yeah. <laughs> oh, awful. All right. Gee, dude. You got the got the, got the, they all had, yeah. Gee, dude. You caught a Gee, dude, right? Geodude, super good! Uh, especially in Gens 1 and 2, where it's absolutely abysmal speed. It does at least get a little bit patched up by stat XP. It's not quite as good as it is in Johto, because in Johto it steamrolls the entire region, but it's still pretty good here. 8 tier, maybe? Especially since it's even easier to get to its final, the boulder form, thanks to the trade dude in Vermilion City. Very, very solid physical stats. Very early in the game. Uh, rock type Giga sucks uh, until you get Rock Slide. Uh, rock Throw in general is just absolutely horrific, but Rock Slide is what? Celadon? And then you've got Stab Ground. Very, very solid. What is not solid is this thing, Alolan Golem. You trade the incredibly useful ground type for incredibly useless electric type. With how much special? Nothing. <laughs> 55. 55 special! No thanks! You'd be surprised, but some people are actually experimenting with it in, in, uh, in, the, in the overused tier. Like, I don't know why, but, like, high-level players were legit, like, looking at it. Like, people like Metal Gross. It was insane to think about. But, yeah, they were, like, looking at it. Well, it is insane to think, think about. I don't want to look at this thing any longer than I have to. Even though I'm putting it in the <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. But I think Alolan Golem is just way worse than I Vanilla think Golem. Maybe because it survives a surf, but, like... I don't think it matters much anyway. <laughs> yeah, probably doesn't matter for our playthrough. It, it's definitely worse, but it still has the really good physical stats. It's oh, just, it right. gets a way worse secondary I, type. Yeah, Tato's right, actually. It was the Thunder Wave. Oh, that was it, Thunder. Yes. Okay, well, that makes a lot more sense then for, like, competitive. Depressed Makaya. Somebody, did somebody answer your question? Somebody did, right? The co host is Plague Von Karma, creator of the ROM hack. All right, I think that's it for the golem line. I don't think you need to discuss this one. <laughs> Pars and Parsect. 
One of the worst typings ever. But at least it gets Spore, which is like a giga auto kill in Gen 1, if you're faster, which you're probably you not. For, you don't need it for Spore anymore. <laughs> Horrible. But at least it does something. And the Parasect Evo isn't that late. And it has like 90 attack. Ugh. It's basically in D for Spore. Otherwise it would be like the worst Pokemon in the game. Uh, it's, it's probably about the Pidgeot. Is it better than like, Pidgeot? I, 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 I would actually use it over Pidgeot. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> oh, damn. That's, that's damage, actually. Whoa. <laughs> Doesn't Gen 1 Yeah, it's three, four have... times weaknesses, yes. Because of poison. Right. We should bring that up. Uh, in Gen 1... In Gen 1, Paris is actually even worse. It has three quadruple weaknesses because Bug is actually weak to poison. It's almost a quadruple quadruple. So sad. Alright. Clefairy. Into Clefable. Clefable gets a lot stronger in Gen... Clefable is one of those... Okay. The Clefable stonk market is very strange because Clefable got a huge buff in Gen 4 with Magic Guard, and then it got a huge buff in Gen 6 with the Fairy type, both of which are integral to it being good nowadays. It was very mediocre in Gen 2 and 3, but in Gen 1, it's actually... Really good! <laughs> It's pretty good, yeah. For pretty much the exact same reason as the Nidos. It has great stats for when you get it early on. It gets pretty much every single move. And Stab Normal is very, very useful. It's probably better than Nidoking Stabs until Nidoking gets Earthquake at level 36, in which case it's obviously mm -hmm. better than normal. But for a decent portion or of the game... Vision. Clefable is actually better than Nidoking, which is really saying something. I do think that Nidoking is better overall, because uh, it does have a better type, and it does have Horn Drill Cheese, which Clefable cannot do, but... Clefable is no slouch! Yes. More reasons to not change it, because of her stabs. <laughs> How is Clefable so high when its stats are so bad? Well, because it gets those bad stats when it's not bad. When it's actually very good. It's a Jagan. And like most Jagans, it doesn't actually fall off. Mm -hmm. Are we going to say it's that like calling Jagans bad, that's a casual take, right? Vote with the yeah, emotes. So. What do we do? Do we treat them like a casual? Or do we spare them? The normal type, the normal type still have this immunity to process for body type? Yes. Which is very important, for sure. <coughs> Ghouls. Okay. We haven't played this graphic yet, so we'll play it once. It's nothing personnel. Alright. Wouldn't that be an Oife? Fake archetype, okay? If you All think that... Kings. If you think that Jagans are bad, then you must be a casual player. And if you're a casual player, then you're out of your league. Something you're doing? I tribute two interns. I can do that. And I special summon... The Unbreakable... Gate Guardian. Negate all added effects from casual creatures, but you still take the damage. I think the outcome of this duel has already been decided. Why don't you just surrender now, and save us both the hassle? Or do you intend to keep wasting our time? I think Lefable's pretty good Who's in this Who's this Kelsey Guardian, by the way? <laughs> Apparently Gate Guardian is a real card, but I didn't know that. Oh yeah, it, it is, and it was notoriously bad for a really long time. So, um, you had to summon it by tributing Kazajin, Suijin, and Sangha of the Thunder, um, which are all two tribute monsters. 
It sounds horrible. And it was act it had it had less attack in the, than the combined total and didn't have their effects either. It got to the point where like recently they actually made a new archetype entirely around it. Because uh, it's where, so like, bad? They gave, yeah, they made it a, a they made it a fusion monster instead now, which like has like a triple negate, which is insane. And like the uh, like the other like half combined versions would exist as well. It's really silly. Like Gate Guardian has this just this really long story of being terrible. <laughs> uh, it's it's so so bad. Well, luckily oh, the my... uh, the person we're dueling against, uh, Amber Two Fuji Productions, they surrendered. So they made the wise choice: duel us again sometime <laughs> when you're stronger. Thank you for being a good sport about having to deal with Gatekeeper. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think Gate really is actually meta. I think Gate Guardian is actually meta for a little bit because of a new support, which is really mm. weird to think about. That is interesting. I have a good idea. Lord Clayble A tier? No, it's basically Nido King. So no. Yeah, no, it's it's it, it actually takes like a set damage moves better as well because of a high HP. So it's like fine. <laughs> now Clefable is pretty good. And Wigglytuff is also pink and a Moonstone Evo and available at the same time, so it's also good, right? Hell no. Damn. Hell no! Wigglytuff sucks ass! It's so bad! Yes, it learns every move. It's the same picture. It's the same picture. It's the same. It's the same. It's the same bulk overall. Here's Clefable stats. Not very impressive. Here's Wigglytuff stats. 50 Bulky special. The same. 45 speed! What is this? This is horrible! The same picture. Actually horrendous. It's the same picture. It is not the same picture. You, you've been <laughs> swindled. You've been bamboozled. You've had the wooloo pulled over your eyes. It's, a, it's, a, it's basically just Clefable 2. I can't believe I'm... I can't believe I'm being trolled on the internet. It is definitely not Clefable 2. It is so bad. I mean, nah, I think competitive is used way. But yeah, I guess it's like different for a game. But I don't really know what's so different though. I guess like I guess Jigglypuff starts worse because like it just comes with Sig. So there is that, I suppose. But it's I don't think so it's bad. like that different overall. Because it's because like while the while the defenses look bad, the HP does even out and actually makes it switch in on like um like for example like a seismic toss easier. Um which is like legitimately helpful sometimes. Uh there are like legitimate like good uses to make it tough. Well, not in not in the in-game playthrough. Horrible. Like, I don't really, I don't really oh. see like so, so different though. Like aside from like um, like because like Clefable goes uh, is like going last as well anyway. Is it special? Is not that much different? Like it's sixty speed is not enough. So Clefable stats, they were right when they said that Clefable stats were not very good. They're barely good enough. And considering the timing and the move pool, Clefable actually ends up being quite good overall. Wigglytuff is so much worse at everything. It's so bad. Like the bulk is the bulk is overall the same. Well, the bulk uh, doesn't matter. The attack is the same. I know the special is is like low, but like it uses it uses Bubble Beep anyway, which just hits the rocks. It just clicks Body Sub all day. I can't believe these. I cannot believe these wiggly tough apologetics. I mean, I mean, I would use it before Firo. <laughs> That's how I know I can't trust you. <laughs> so I thought Firo sucks. <laughs> I think this thing is absolute garbage. You it's probably not, it's not can. Worse than parasects, like. I it's think it's worse, worse than, than Parasect. Parasect at least has Spore. <laughs> I will say this. Kanto Expansion Pack overall does make Wigglytuff better because one of the only good things about Wigglytuff is that it has a really good move pool. 
Normally, you wouldn't waste your good TMs on Wigglytuff because it's so atrocious, but in the Kanto Expansion Pack post-game, you can buy every TM, so you don't feel as bad about wasting resources on Wigglytuff, but you still shouldn't. IMO. Seems we are gonna do it, so <laughs> <What else? laughs> All right. I'm not changing my mind on Wigglytuff. I think it's terrible, but I guess well, the, the official opinion is that it's <laughs> comparable to Clefable. The great concluder. <laughs> All right. Sand Slash. Very underwhelming. I think if there was a letter C tier, I'd probably put it there, but... I mean, it's a ground type. Evolves kind of early. It's better than Alolan Golem, surely. <laughs> yeah, it's probably better than Alolan Golem. What, like 100 attack? That's okay. It has soul stats. It's great. And it does have uh, access to Gen 1 Dig, which is 100 base power. That's actually pretty good. Uh, Dai the the uh the post game benefits do factor in because post game is like the post game super long. <laughs> Alolan Sand Slash, fancy new form. Uh, it gets the mm. Ice Steel typing, but this is Kanto Expansion Pack Steel, which is probably not as good as you're thinking. And even in the modern games, Alolan Sand Slash is like not exactly a superstar. However. Eh? I, I do think it is actually better than Vanilla Sand Slash. I, th I thought at first, like, okay, well, it's probably got unusable special, right? <coughs> 65. Is that unusable? It's it close to it, but... <laughs> It does have special is like Phylus and Taurus. <laughs> it does have Stab Gen 1 Blizzard, which is really, really good. Cause you're only gonna be using it to hit the hit to hit like the rock ground types anyway. And like the like the grass types. Like they tend to have like iffy special. Unless you tag growth, that's like bulky as hell. Like it's yeah. fine. Like this 65 special, let's let's make make no mistake. 65 special is not good, but when you do have Stab Blizzard, it's better than it seems, which isn't hard to do because it seems horrible. But it still does have <laughs> that base 100 attack. It's okay. Uh, 70 is what Taurus has. 65 is Snorlax. Hey, it's got Slash and it's got Iron Head. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's got moves. I think low B is fine. Is there a go-go equate for, uh, for Gen 1 mixed attackers? You're looking for Taurus. <laughs> yeah, Taurus has 70, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the gradient. <laughs> Alright. Ekens and Chabok! This one's easy. Uh, one of the worst Pokemon yeah, in the sucks. game. Oh, uh, if I was buffing stuff, I would have buffed this thing so much. I, Arbok is my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, complete garbage. But yeah, I ain't defended that shit. I can't. <laughs> It literally just uh, does nothing. Horrible stats, horrible yeah, type, horrible. Yeah, yeah. Moves. Yeah, Glad plus the rap, like, it's in theory so cool, but just, it just has nothing. Ugh. If I was doing a rebalance, I would have done so much to it, but like, ugh. Fun fact, actually, I used Arbok in the, in a bleep at VGC 2050 re uh, regionals, I think. In Did the you UK. lose? <laughs> I. I can't, I actually got 47th, which was enough for it to be featured on a full swipe gaming video. So if you go onto the um, if you go onto the full side game, you look at how good was Arbok. I am in the video for being the only person to actually place with Arbok in any capacity. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I used it as a Sylveon counter because I actually could Oko it with Gunk Shot. That is oh, more. That is more star power for Arbok than the anime. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> Arbok's strongest oh. fan, and yet forty-seven. I am. I'm Arbok's strongest soldier. <laughs> Absolute garbage. Oh. Yeah, it's it's terrible, but it's but it's my garbage, you know. <laughs> Volpix has been bu okay. Um, Volpix, Volpix has been buffed because it now has Vol 
P, a pre-evolution that makes it available, I believe, immediately east of Cerulean City. Uh, it's also better in Gen 1 because it has 100 special as Ninetales, whereas in later games it gets 100 special defense. Oh, and only 80 Crossing. special attack. Unfortunately, fire overall is kind of ass in Gen 1, but it's not that bad. Put it there. It's okay. You can do better with it. You can do better, but it's fine, yeah. Very you, serviceable. You definitely can do better. You could do the Alolan form. So Alolan Ninetales has 100 special. Blizzard. Wow! That sounds pretty good, and it's a fairy type, which actually isn't that good, but that doesn't really matter, because ice is actually very good in Gen 1. I think I'm going to give Alolan Ninetales maybe, like, top of B? I think Alolan Ninetales is pretty good. You could probably put it in A tier, to be honest. Like, it, like, it, like, although, maybe, like, have a bit of, like, a, like, a PTSD moment here, because, like, during development, this was, like, the second Kami of Glaceon. Um, because, like, this was, like, the reason why I changed back to a more, more soft open world, because, uh, not only did, like, Gen 1 fans like the soft open world, rather, like, a full thing, um, they also, they also, like, um, uh, it also caused a lot of Nitals to be really broken, because you could just, it was very easy to get, so you could just go to, go to Saladon, get the Firestone, and then, like, get, get Nitals, go back to Cerulean, get all the Nitals. And then you already have Ice Beam, so you, have, you just get the Glacial thing again. <laughs> you think I care about personal. what you have to say? You're right. <laughs> Let's do that. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Charizard. They're back to back. <laughs> Let's take a look at... Uh, a little Ninetale stats are, I think, the same as in the vanilla game, except it has more special attacks. So it's actually... It has more special, yeah. Yeah. So here, looking at Alolan yeah. Ninetales, you can see uh, 109 speed. speed, really good. 100 special, perfectly fine for this. And wow, 20% crit rate. So, yeah, I think A they is took, probably yeah, they good. Took away, they took away some attack, get put it to speed. And so, like, it loses nothing for the stat change as well. And it gets a little bit extra crit, right? Super yeah, good. It's just, yeah, literally loses nothing. And his move pool is just incredible. I think it was one of the earliest Pokemon I actually, like, adapted. I think I should mention here, I don't think we said it yet, but Stone Evils are also a little bit better because in Celadon, there's a move reminder uh, who can just instantly, mm -hmm. for no cost, uh, or minuscule cost... Oh, it's 1,000, but yeah. <laughs> ...give you back uh, any move you previously had. Alright, Alolan Ninetales in A. It's really strong. All right. Also, get hypnosis in the post game if you want to like uh, roll, like roll the dice. <laughs> Sixty percent chance, right? Sure yeah, like it's good and competitive, but not here. Annihilate. Are you ready? This thing gets zero ghost moves, <laughs> aside from Nightshade, so it can't be that good, right? It's great. <laughs> super, super busted. Oh, yeah. Actually incredible. Just being a ghost type is enough. Yeah, yeah. That pretty much sums it up. Just being a ghost type is enough. You're immune to, I, I don't think it's an exaggeration to say, a majority of moves. It, like, it might actually be over 50%. So many enemies just have random normal garbage. It just cannot touch you. And this is Annihilate without many of its best features. It doesn't have any Ghost Stab, and that includes not having Rage Fist, which is its strongest trait in the modern games. Yeah, so some commentary on the on the uh, Ghost Type things, because a lot of people ask me questions. So I didn't add any moves for the vanilla types. And the reason for that is because I wanted to keep the type's original purpose. So, Rage Fist wasn't included because it just wasn't needed to be in the game. And even if I even if I was, I would have I wouldn't have added it because it would have to be congruent to Gen One to meet my criteria. Um, I don't consider signature moves because they often just get distributed anyway. Like Sacred Fire, for example, got given to Entei. There's lots of cases. Waterfall was seeking signature move. That's some stupid trivia for you. Uh, but yeah, so uh, 
Ghost is just like a defensive type of gem one, so it's keeping that purpose. And for Annihilate, it uses it perfectly. Yeah. The Annihilate stats also, you can see them on the screen, are nothing to sneeze at. I hope you don't have allergies. <laughs> I mean, 115 attack, great. 90 speed, more than good enough. And its move pool is also perfectly serviceable. Fighting is not the best, but you do have an early game buff in the form of uppercuts. You get an early fighting move to punch Brock with. And neither Mankey nor Primeape are that bad. They're, like, perfectly fine. If Annihilate wasn't in the game, I'd probably give them, like, a high B, maybe? Uh, but Annihilate gives it that extra punch. Not quite literally, because it doesn't get Rage Fist, but just becoming a ghost type and getting the extra attack are massive, massive upsides for Annihilate. This thing is invincible, and also just really strong. Yeah, it's brilliant. It gets so much done. really does. Any complaints about S-tier Annihilate? Mankey is also available super early. Mankey is also available super early. You can get it immediately east of... Mankey is also available super early. You can get it immediately west of Viridian City. And then it is a little while until you get to Cinnabar Island for the trade that lets you get Annihilate. It is a trade Evo, but it doesn't matter. It's perfectly fine until then. And once you get Annihilate, it's like unstoppable. Yeah, Primeape is a good gay Pokeball already, so like, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Vile Plume. Vile is right. It doesn't even have Razor Leaf. What is this? It's not better than Parasect, surely. What the hell? <laughs> it's better than Parasect's horrible. This thing is no, just really bad. It does nothing. <laughs> it's got Sleep Powder. It's got better speed, which isn't saying much. It gets Petal it Dance. Sleep Powder and then what? <laughs> it does nothing. <laughs> I mean, this is not. I'm not like endorsing it. It's going in D. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, it's surely, like, it's gonna be worse. <laughs> I'll put it next to Parasect. Yes, it does nothing. <laughs> it's got, like, a hundred special, right? That's not that bad. With Mega Drain! <laughs> it gets Paddle Dance. Uh, like, like, you have to stick with Gloom. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Does it do more than Pidgeot? It actually might. Like, status it does, powders. It doesn't do more than Pidgeot. It's so bad. Maybe at least Pidgeot could just hyper beam things if you, like, if you go out of your way. We're, like, arguing really? over scraps here. <laughs> we Hell definitely yeah. agree this thing is trash. I'm Jewish. This is my culture. <laughs> Horrible Pokemon. <laughs> you know what's worse than Vile Plume? Blossom. <laughs> hey, it's not Psychic Week. It's not Psychic Week. I guess it's not weak to Psychic, except it loses the poison. It doesn't even get Stab Acid. It's so bad. Like, Stab Acid is terrible. It does less damage to Body Slab, huh? How is Blossom worse? They're both horrible. <laughs> Blossom's better. Like, surely, right? Like, like po losing poison is good for, like, 90% of the cast. So these are Vile Plume stats. These are Blossoms. I think they're literally the same. So the only yes, difference yeah. is that Blossom doesn't have the poison type, which is good and bad. I think it's I mostly gotta, like, bad. Out, I, I gotta, like, come out, like, on a limb for, like, the fairy... <laughs> is the fairy resist what does it? Maybe... I think the one thing... So, I think... this Earthquake. Well, let's see here. Even if you think that losing poison is an upside, which I, I will concede, it might be true, right? You then are no longer weak to Earthquake, perhaps more importantly, no longer weak to Psychic. I think the main reason why Blossom is worse is that it's a Hearthstone Evo, right? So it is actually significantly later mm. than Celadon City. So just for that alone, that's I think it's point, worse. Actually, yeah. yeah, that's a good point, actually. Yeah, yeah, didn't think of that. But either way, both of them are terrible, and you shouldn't use either. <laughs> <laughs> I 
All right. That's Blossom and Vileplume. So, time to talk about the parallels to Blossom and Vileplume. The Bellsprout line. Actually, it gets a new evolution, but we'll talk about the old one first. We've got Victory Bell. I don't know if you actually win, but it's more like Draw Bell. It does get Razor Leaf, which is a huge difference. How big of a difference? It's like a huge difference. <laughs> It's pretty good. Turns out when you actually can hit things with... Just to give you context, Stab Mega Drain is 60 base power. Stab Razor Leaf is 110 base power. Wait, that's not even counting stabs, so it's actually more than that. It's, it's like, uh... I think it's like 140? Yeah, it's like 140, so really I'll good. say that. So to give you some context, Stab Mega Drain is effectively 60 base power. Stab Razor Leaf is over 140 base power, factoring in the crit. It's more than twice as good. Vicious Vic. <laughs> also, Vicious Vic here, like, it absolutely destroyed competitive. Oh my god. For like, what, for like a straight year, this Pokemon just, destro this Pokemon just destroyed, like, Gen 1 OU. It was so funny. Not to mention the fact that Victor Bell's stats are just better than Vile Plume's. <laughs> it's yeah. faster, uh, and it has more attack. Although the attack isn't that much, the attack isn't that no noteworthy. Except it lets you have a stronger wrap. Wrap is another tool that Victory Bell has that Vile Plume doesn't. So the Oddish line just is just trash. You should definitely use the Bell Sprout line. Having said, you should definitely use the Bell Sprout line. You shouldn't actually use Victory Bell. You gotta use this thing. Lig. What's this called? Belignan. Belignan. Have you seen this thing's stats? A fun fact: the Spoke Wall is actually finished in, in, in GSC. It's actually had a cry and everything. And they just cut it for no reason. <laughs> so for Belignan, you get slightly less special, 85. That's actually still good enough when you crit everything. And look at this. 120 attack. 120 attack. This is like one of the strongest rap games in the entire continent. I think the only one that has a stronger rap is Dragonite, right? Yeah, I think so. Super it's good! It's also a really good source sets, user. Really good for source sets. As Plague mentioned, this thing was finished for GSC. So this probably was what the people in Bellsprout Tower were worshipping. I'd worship this! Great mm -hmm. stats! Yeah, it's it's so, so good. Like, it had a, it had a cry, it had a lured set, it had Pokedex data. Like, that's actually the real Pokedex data for it. Uh, there is so much there. And they cut it for, I think, a pre -evoke? I think it was for Sunkern. I think it replaced it with Sunk for Sunkern. Imagine like, getting... That... <laughs> yeah, it, like, so many of these, like, side grade evolutions were cut for, like, the shittiest babies you could ever think of. Imagine getting cut for Sunkern! <laughs> yep, yep. Also, you can get this earlier with the Poison Stone, which is uh, so that's what you brought up. Very, but, very, very convenient. Yeah. Although it it is definitely a thing in Belignan's favor that this is the Poison Stone Evo, which you do get earlier than the Leaf Stone. I don't know if it really gets credit for that because your other Poison Stone Evos are really good as well. Because Umbreon is Poison Stone, mm -hmm. so I would probably choose Umbreon, but... But Lignin, the second Poison Stone uh, in Future City is not that much later. And you could also just use it for Belignan. Very good, very good. Ha! A tier! Alright, next. Magikarp and Gyarados. Magikarp has sort of been buffed a little bit. Fishing overall has been overhauled. 
So fishing has now all been condensed into one rod, which you get north of Cerulean City. So that means that all water types have better availability. Well, not all. That means that most water types actually have better availability. And Magikarp, you can actually fish up at a higher level. So the grind to level 20 isn't as bad. This is also where we're going to mention... Switch was also buffed. True. This is also where we're going to mention that the EXP share has been buffed. The EXP all is no longer this horrible communist apparatus that makes your entire team useless. <laughs> It's now just like Gen 6 experience share, where everybody gets, like, a very reasonable amount of XP. However, you don't start with it. You actually get it near Fuchsia, so it's probably too late for it to actually factor into Magikarp. Magikarp is a little better. Uh, switch training itself has also been buffed. When you switch a Pokemon out, now all Pokemon that participate get full XP. So it is still easier to get Magikarp. All of that being said... I still don't think Gyarados is that good. Uh, just because being in the slow XP group, it just takes forever. It takes forever. And although 100 special is perfectly serviceable, it's not amazing. I do think it rises above the sea for that early availability. And of course, 125 attack means that just using random normal moves, you're going to be doing a ton of damage. But I don't think it's a superstar Pokemon. Not a huge fan. It's better than Butterfree, right? No, I think Butterfree's better. Uh, that's cool, yeah. Yeah. I, I think it... I, I don't want to over... I don't think I can overstate how punishing the slow XP group is. Yeah, yeah. Slow XP group is really slow. It's very good once you get it. It is a lot of work to get. Why is Gyarados being disrespected so much? I think it's fine. Trainees are bad. I you know, fun thing about Gyarados, I actually found out like a lot later. Mm -hmm. um, it turns out like it's actually meant to be based on a certain catfish from this one lake. Uh, there's this one lake in Japan. I think it's called Lake BR or something. Oh, I don't B think was a the name big right. Lake, yeah. yeah, it was. Yeah, it turns out that Gyarados was based on that, and that the lake, it, the, the Lake of Rage, was originally called that in Prototype GSC. They just called it Lake BR. <laughs> yeah, they did. Yeah. Um, so it seems that like Gyarados was like, uh, like the whiskers on it were meant, are probably what makes it angry because like it senses the earthquakes and stuff like that. Maybe oh, that's okay. why it's always angry. And then later really on with Whiskash, they made like a legit. Yeah, yeah, one. it's really funny. I was yeah. uh, walking with my sister through Tokyo, and then she was wondering about the catfish signs because on all the highways <laughs> there's just catfish, um, and it says like emergency road. So because catfish can sense earthquakes. Uh, the catfish signs here mean that this road is specially rated to be safe during earthquakes, and when there's an evacuation, she uses this road. And yeah, Whiskash was banned from the anime because I think it was supposed to appear, and then there was the gigantic uh, 311 yeah, uh, earthquake I, here in Japan, so they pulled it. Yeah, I, I, I think I remember hearing about that, yes. Sorry, but back to Gyarados. Uh, I think... Obviously, Gen 6 and beyond, Gyarados is gigabusted. <laughs> because you get all of the power of post-special split Gyarados with none of the work. Uh, but I think in this game, it's just it's just too much work. For not enough reward to be like S tier. Like, remember, of course, Magikarp still sucks ass. It's super awful. Yeah, there's also like a lot of like of like alternative water types now as well. Yeah. And you could get lots of them at the same time. Yeah. So you could just use those instead, rather than like suffering with Magikarp. Yeah, one of the things that made Gyarados good in the original is that if you went through the nightmare of switch training it, you did at least get a pretty good bubble beam bond. Uh, before you could get any other water types. But in this case, uh, because the fishing rod is so early. Gyarados loses special utility from that. Alright, that's it for my thoughts on Gen 1 Gyarados. It's okay. 
I know, but like level 20 is relatively early, so how can it take so long? I've already destroyed you before. It's because it's in the <laughs> slow XP group. It says level 20. It's really like level 35. It's really bad. <laughs> it's only eight levels? I bet you think that Ralts is good in XD as well, right? <laughs> Horrible. Oh, no. I think we're on uh, Seeking now, which should just take like two seconds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't Seek think the comments on this. <laughs> Seeking line. It's literally in the name. It's water type. It's actually nerfed. Because <laughs> Seeking was too powerful. Now you have to deal with this pre Evo. It was a Silver Dean? I don't know its name. It's called, uh. I think it's called All Fry? Yeah. Um. It pro like, to be honest, like, it seems like Seeking may have had higher stats before release, but they just forgot to rebalance it properly. Like, that's what I was thinking of, at least. It's so bad. Uh, or fry. More like, or die. That's what I'd choose if I had to use this thing. Ugh. Absolutely awful. You have to get to level 16 to access Goldeen. And until Hell, then, yeah. enjoy using these numbers. <laughs> oh. Naga, why do you know that information? Seeking survival meets with the ball. Why do you know this? What the fuck is wrong with you? Have you? Why I'm, the fuck would you look that up? Are no, you insane? You've, you've unfortunately just outed yourself as a fake fan because Seeking surviving Thunderbolt is a key part of the Pokemon Stadium playthrough. That's, That's why. Why? No, you just no, you spam explosion. That's, that's what you do. You just execute explosion. It dies. It's fine. You don't need to do- you don't need to, like, go to the extent of using Seeking! Yeah, I mean, we were Trade just playing around. Wise. We were spamming uh, one-hit KO moves, and uh, Seeking is one of the ones that can drill Mewtwo. I think I was there why. for the stream, yeah, because I, I suggested, like, you like, use, like, um, Explosion Onyx, I think. Yeah, we did end up- I think, in our test, the best way was just Explosion. Yeah. But like, spamming- even, like, Execute was enough. <laughs> spamming one-hit KO moves did, uh... I mean, it had a 30% chance to work on the first turn. That's pretty good. But yeah, Seeking's terrible. God, that was so bad. I don't even think it deserves to be a Deceit here, to be honest. But... <laughs> I mean, it's a water type. It can't be that bad. There's so many better options. There At the are. same time, too. Is Orfry a fake archetype? I wish. <laughs> yeah, this thing might actually be, like, under There's the so sea. many other water types. The seafloor. <laughs> Horrible. Or maybe like, or maybe like the top of the top of it, because it's like it's just like like it's like just like I would die in the city, but it just like flops over. <laughs> Where the swim sack stops working. <laughs> All right, next. Venonat into Venomoth. Extremely underwhelming. I don't know. How bad we're talking, but I mean, we do get psychic moves eventually. Uh, Venera has a really cute Japanese name of like Konpon or something. Uh, I don't know. Like, I'd I'd probably rather use Venomoth than any of these goobers. At least you can use psychic with like okay special, but without stab. I don't really know why I'm trying to justify Venomoth like this. <laughs> I think it's better that it's given credit for. It does have powers. Like, like I almost put it in Viridian Forest at one point, uh, but like it just became too cramped. And mm. like, at, there's a point where like you have too many Pokemon in, air, so like you can't find what you want. So it, like it ended up just going back in like the, the default yellow area, like on Cerulean Cape, uh, which is probably enough to be honest. But like it's a lot later and more difficult to get. It's like a the level evo is like 32 right that's yeah there is that too yeah yeah i always forget this thing like evolves at like 
like like like, like by the time like you by the time it evolves you've probably like got a job already <laughs> yeah level 32 evo is pretty bad uh let's move down a little bit <laughs> yeah it's what's the crap off here it's not bottom of b what the hell <laughs> no way bottom of b this thing's terrible like unless you like catch like a venomoth like late game because there are like areas where you can catch it but like by that point like what are you doing yeah <laughs> isn't it psychic flying type i wish it was no it's bug poison so it is neither of those types. Yep, they'll, they'll literally have sooner given it to Golbat. Like, that's how dire Venomoth situation is. If it was Psychic Flying, I would... I actually probably would put it in B, but it's not, unfortunately. Alright. Next. The Golduck line. I don't know about you guys, but when I think C-tier, I think Golduck. It has Amnesia naturally now. So it's better than Vaporeon. <laughs> well, you heard it here first. It's better than Vaporeon. So, Golduck has actually been buffed because of this green dude here. Weird Duck. This is our first instance of a new middle Evo. I think it gets, like, a few silly moves. But, it, but yeah, it gets, it gets Amnesia super... Uh, because of, like, the event thing. Because, like, I, I, I added the event moveset. Which is why Pikachu gets Fly and Surf as well. So you can see here, these are Psyduck stats, which are not very good. But you then get Weird Duck stats, which are, you know, not very good. And then you get Golduck stats, which are, you know, not very good. But you at least get this little middle tier power bump. Whereas in the vanilla games, you wouldn't get that at all. So... Golduck is technically better, or so the Psyduck line is technically better than Vanilla, but it's still a Psyduck. <laughs> That's a yeah, big... It has Amnesia, which she can't go wrong with us. Yeah, it's a faster slow bro. <laughs> big change, which big change that Plague mentioned is that it does get uh oh. Big change that oh, Plague mentioned is that it does get Amnesia at level fifteen, which is really early, and Amnesia is a double calm mind in gen 1 so that is definitely its major selling point i would rather not well, spend a turn every battle using amnesia but if you do it's actually pretty good uh two dollar cry for help from level five vaporeon <laughs> <laughs> better than vaporeon <laughs> hey, if if you had amnesia, you'd be able to forget about this travesty. <laughs> oh, <that's so> mean. <laughs> and like Golduck isn't that bad. It's got like 95 special. It's okay. It gets it's tons just of too. Why would you use Golduck? <laughs> it gets tons of boosts. Like you have like you have like you have like, you have like decent attack for body slab, you have blizzard. You can do a submission if you're feeling quirky that day. Um, I mean, Amnesia's, Amnesia being so early is incredibly crucial, especially because, like, you could just use TM Bubble Bee if you want, like, a bit more of a power boost, and then Surf, etc. It's really good. It comes, I think it comes quite early as well, which is really useful. Yeah, it's also helped out by being fishable much earlier. Mm -hmm. I'd cry, but I'd, abs I'd absorb all the tears. It's like how milk tank can drink its own milk. Vaporeon can absorb its own tears. Infinite crying. All right, next. The Poliwag line. You've got Poliwrath. You like water types? It's a water type. And it's got stab fighting, which is pretty bad in Gen 1, but hey... At least it's a dual type, which is more than I can say for Polytoad. It's better than Vaporeon, surely. <laughs> nah, I think Amnesia Vaporeon's Bros. better. Vaporeon's got 110 special, and this thing is like, uh, mm. uh, uh Yeah, uh, I guess. Yeah. Like, yeah, submission so is its only five stab, yeah. I like, I like Polytoad is probably better because it's not weak to Psychic. I guess, but you don't even face that many enemy psychics in this game. Yeah, I guess it only really comes up against Sabrina, right? I like the champion, I guess. 
if you want to like go for like an amnesia sweep. But by that point, you know, if you use like two amnesias, you're probably like not taking much of a psychic anyway. Well, that's a crit. That sucks, but yeah. Here's Polyrath stats. Literally none of these even reach 100. Incredible. And here's Polytoad stats. Literally none of these even reach 100. Incredible. Yeah, that's true. Also, all the information in the Pokedex data is canon. Some of it has been, has been retconned from uh, the Pokedex book uh, from 1996, officially released by Game uh, oh, thanks for stopping by, Danny Doyle. I think you missed the <laughs> revival of the Cav Wars, but thanks for stopping oh, by. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have fun with uh, have I'm fun Fira with the movie night. I'm Fira's strongest hater. <laughs> Does the Go Go gradient apply? Not really in Gen One, because there is no special split yet, so I don't think so. There's a Tauros gradient. <laughs> there is a Tauros gradient, seventy special. I guess it does pass. I just personally re I also personally just really don't like Politoed. Like there's modern rain teams where you basically have to play five v six because you have to use a Politoed. Oh, you use Pelipper these days. It's pretty good. <laughs> basically, you have to pl play five v six. You have to use Politoed or Pelipper. Oh, <laughs> Pelipper's pretty good. It has, it has Hurricane, so it just self sets. Pretty good. I guess so. It also gets Wide Guard from VGC. Really good. Oh, I don't play VGC. Oh, <laughs> You should. It's good. Doubles. Well, we'll try this. Next. Alakazam. This is easy. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't take much. One of the best Pokemon in the game. Super stats. Psychic type. Kills everything. Doesn't take any hits. Uh, no discussion needed. It's actually even it easier to get. Post -game. What's that? Oh, yeah. Elemental punches. punches of post -game. We should mention yeah. that. <laughs> It's actually even better than in vanilla because you can do the trade yourself in Vermilion. Or it's actually even better than vanilla because you can do the trade yourself in Cinnabar Island to get actual Alakazam, even though Kadabra is more than good enough. And also in the post game, you can teach it the elemental punches. So the elemental punch out league has come to Kanto. It's lights out for any of your opponents. One of the best Pokemon in the game. Main drawback is that Abra's annoying to catch. Uh, that's about it. Otherwise, it'd be better than Nidos. Ah, that one's easy. Which are better, huh? Why would you ever... Okay, uh, what's this thing? Cheap? Uh, cheap and Jabetta. Okay. Brand new Pokemon here. Wait, is this our first brand new line? Uh... Yes, actually. Oh, wow. no, we have Gorotoro. <laughs> we have Gorotoro. Oh, yeah, Gorotoro, okay. Brand new Pokemon line, Ch cheap, cheapo, cheapa, uh, cheap something, and cheap. <laughs> Beretta, Jabetta. <Jabetta. laughs> okay. Brand new Pokemon line, Ch cheap, cheapo, something inexpensive, and, and then Jabetta. Water type into water fighting type. Uh, why would you ever, ever, ever use Polyrath when you could use this thing, which? I still don't think is that great, but definitely a native of the sea. Let's look at the stats. It actually gets like a few nice moves, like Drill Pack, for example. True. Which lets you use its physical stuff much more effectively than Polyrath, while Polyrath focuses more on special. Really fun to use. So here's cheap. It also gets Meditate. Ooh, okay, that actually is pretty good. It gets some Whoa. weird level up moves, too. <coughs> Hang on here, stat window. So here's Cheap. Uh, despite being the flying fish Pokemon, it is not a flying type, so another sin for the ROM hackers to answer for. It's just how it was designed. It had fighting moves and water moves. <laughs> Level 30 Evo, which is a little bit late. I believe it comes to high levels. And these stats are pretty... Oh. And these stats are 
pretty miserable. However, once you get to level 30, you get these stats, which are actually pretty good. Uh, 125 attack is actually really good. It's water fighting, by the way. Uh, 80 speed is perfectly fine. 80 special is usable. And actually, as a fighting time, I think it gets high jump kick, right? It actually does get high jump kick, which is like yep. the best fighting time, and it gets drill pack. Yep. yep, builds. This is how it's intended to be in the prototype. It had this load set, aside from drill pack, which was added later. Uh, it's really, really nice. I wish it, I wish it made it to the final game. It was really cool. Uh, I just I put think it... it... I oh. think Polyrath got... I think Polyrath got the fighting type after Jabetta was removed. Oh, okay. That's like my theory. That's my pet theory. I just put Jibet. Oh, is this the right? It is the right aspect. Uh, I just put Jibetta in the sea for dramatic tension because it is a flying fish, and it can it can high jump kick its way. I think actually, hey, I think it's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Eighty special is okay, so it's not like your water stab is unusable. And one twenty five attack high jump kick. That's like Hitmonlee. I think Hitmonlee might actually be one twenty attack. I think it's actually stronger than Hitmonlee. Yeah. It's, str it's stronger than Hitmonlee, yeah. I think it has, like, just less attack than Machamp. Oh, Machamp sucks, so... Yeah. <laughs> Main downside is that cheap is kind of lame, and you have to get to level 30. But once you do that, hey! Actually good fighting type in Gen 1. Crazy. We tried to make fighting types good in this hack. Uh, like, as good as they could. The main issue was actually just move distribution. We distribute the moves to, like, legit good Pokemon, so the fighting type is perfectly fine. High jump kick. Lick oh, tongue into Licky Licky. I know there's oh, going to be heavy. some... Wait, so where... Do... Okay, Lick tongue is... Where is Lick tongue uh, As far as in. Oh, really So late. it's quite late. Yeah. All right. But, like, it's, it's, it's absolutely worth it. Like, the detour is 100% worth it. Lick tongue I think it evolves, like, instantly. Does it? It's, like, level... It's in the 30s, right? Yeah, and it comes just... at, like, roughly that level. Level 32 to Licky Licky. I think it's and like level 28 when you can get it in the Sora Zone. Licky Licky stats are... It doesn't look like much. But it's really, really strong. Because normal stab is just that good. Like, this thing got banned from OU. <laughs> All right. We had to ban it, like, really early on. <laughs> Licky Tongue into Licky Licky. I think we're going to disagree here. So in oh. competitive, apparently this thing is really good. Uh, they had to actually ban it to Ubers because normal is a force to be reckoned with in-game. So says Hyper Beam with Stab. Oof. Very painful. <laughs> well, Wobbuffet is also banned to Ubers in competitive, or at least it used Jesus. to be. <laughs> I don't think this thing is that good. Eh? I think it's okay that bad. So you can get Licky Licky pretty much at the same time you get Lickitung. It evolves almost instantly to level 32 Evo. A couple things against Lickitung. First is that it's in the Safari Zone, which is quite late. And although Normal is very good in Gen 1, that's like in Competitive, which is not what we're talking about. I'm not a fan of this thing. Like, look at these stats. The stats are more than they look. These stats are, like, comparable to Clefable, except you've had Clefable for, like, six more gyms. Mm, yeah, you can't... You, you will most likely be using Clefable. Yeah, that just makes sense. Yeah, there isn't much reason to use over Clefable because it's pretty over time. Yeah, I can so see why. That, I think, for in-game in criteria, I don't think this thing is that great. But apparently it is Ubers in Gen 1 competitive, which I do believe. But that I is not what we're talking about. I can share a few things about that. So, for, for the overuse thing, um, what happened was, um, like, Licky Tongue gets sword stats, and it actually already has the ability to do the highest theoretical damage in the game, which is plus six high B with stab. So when you put this on a Pokemon that could actually set up, and does it really quickly... You basically just get amnesia, but better. Uh, and Licky Licky uses it so, so well. Because one source has hyper beam, one shots most Pokemon in the game. Like, period. It just 
And like, once you're at plus four, I think it can one shot Cloyster. And that's like insane. Um, and so, like, if and even if you want to use Cloyster, and um, you can use you can use Thunderbolt very easily. Like setup is really easy with Licky Licky because like look at that bulk. It takes so many hits. Like it doesn't re it doesn't matter. Like you like a, a body slam from Taurus deals like twenty percent. So like and that's Taurus. Like and, like Taurus gets dropped right after. It gets literally everything. It's probably one of the strongest Pokemon I've ever seen in any in any meta game ever. It's beyond insane. I agree with all of that licky licky propaganda. It's I'm not going to refute any here. of it. Yeah. However, that is not what we're talking about, so that's why I'm putting it in D. Yeah. <laughs> that's... yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's also a big TM sync before you get the access to everything. Shrunk of the Mewtwo? Yes. Easily. We might add a C tier, because I think if there was like a letter C tier. Well, I didn't think we'd be ranking everything, but because we are, we may as well add a letter C tier, and I, I would probably put Licky, Licky there. We can do that. So this is the trick here. I have to actually not... It's still editing the SEA C tier, so I have to actually X this. And I gotta put this here. We'll, we'll add this. We'll put, we'll put it there. We've got to change the color, right? Do we have, like, an orange? I think we already do have an orange, right? D is orange. Yikes. What's the yikes? Is C tier below C tier? Oh, I guess it should be, right? Because we like the C? Yeah, we should... I can think I can move this up like this. Oh, Look at that! See. Technology! This is kind of okay, right? Color-wise. There aren't that many colors. Can, 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 we, can, we, can we crucify Remington? What did they do? For the, Regi the Regigig expansion. Don't take I, me I, serious I, I, when I say this, but what if Regigigas uh, was in Gen 1? No, 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 we gotta take it seriously. We, we, I, I'm sick of hearing about it. Oh... <laughs> uh. Okay, how do you, you want them to die? Have, uh, <laughs> you can choose the execution method. I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I guess the Arceus one? <laughs> the Arceus one? All right. How many times have you answered this question about Regigigas? I can't fucking count. Okay. I, it's so much. That'll oh my work. god. So many. <laughs> well, in that case. That's so do you understand the suffering your inane questions have caused? <laughs> it's because people are always on their mobile devices. They can't. They have no short-term memory. Well, hopefully you'll remember this as it happens to you. Ready to I sacrifice five Patreons. And I cast the Wrath of Arceus. Destroy all video games, wherever they are. Destroy mobile games twice. Maybe the reason why Regigigas is so bad is that nobody can wait five turns, because they're always on their mobile phones! The amount of hit times I've had to answer it in my life. Hopefully. Ever since I started my YouTube channel, I've had people continually asking me to like do like a to do a video on Regigigas. And when Kep came out, it got worse because they're like, oh you added all these Pokemon. You could add Regigigas, right? I can't fucking stand it. It's like, not it, in the so theme. Enlightened. Why would you add Regigigas? You wouldn't. Like, like they think it's so. They think they're so enlightened. It up, and I, 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 I don't understand how. Like, literally, everyone asks this question. Like, it's the same with slacking as well. Like, slacking. Is, <laughs> Somebody like, literally why, just typed, "What if yeah. slacking was in general?" I mean, this is my life. <laughs> this is my life. Literally, this is my life. Like, yeah, it has. To... Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. It's you're so smart. What's next, Archeops? It would suck. You just, you just click Blizzard, it dies. It's the matter. I despise it. It's so, so annoying. As you can see, it is the fate of all YouTubers to go absolutely insane. We're like Fire Emblem Dragons. All of them go nuts in the end. It's because we have to deal with you guys. I feel like Metius. <laughs> Why did they call it Shadow Dragon? He's not even an evil. He's, he's an Earth Dragon. 
I just seem to be decent. Yeah, it'd be fucking broken. What do you think, bro? What do you think? It's gonna be broken. No shit. <laughs> what about Arceus in Gen 1? You just saw Arceus. He was here. Oh, God. Well, there is something all of you can do. You can smash that like button to help increase the reach of the stream. I assume the reason why they want Regigigas is because normal is very good in Gen 1, and there are no abilities, so it wouldn't have slow start. That's my guess. It's literally just no abilities. They don't think beyond the, the abilities. That's literally it. And the thing is, if I added, if I added Regigigas to Gen 1, I'll do the PLA thing. I'll just give it slow start anyway. <laughs> <laughs> We've also I talked exactly about... I know exactly where I can add it to. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We've also should know exactly why you it. What if Sableye was in Gen 1? Well, I mean, Ghost's pretty good. We've also talked about all the evolutions, including the mighty Patreons. Thanks to the Patreons mm. for their labor that keeps this uh, channel afloat. You're all on screen now. If you are a Patreon and you're not on screen, please let me know because I have to add you. But everyone should be here. Om was the bad guy. All Duma wanted to do was destroy the lazy regalians who were always on their mobile phones. <laughs> That's why the land was dying. It's nothing to do with Mila and no one wanted to work. When you find Mila's desiccated remains, it's not because she was killed by rebels. It's because she was too engrossed in her mobile device, okay? Mila's mobile phone. <laughs> Echoes when. It's coming up. <laughs> Jedi did nothing wrong. Not gonna lie, he did nothing wrong. Alright, hopefully people it was agree. Just Sorry, I guess it's like a meta thing, but hopefully people agree that this stream hasn't been too mean and hasn't had too many graphics. I think both are okay. Obviously, it's been a little mean, but I do think it's obviously been a joke. Then again, I always thought it was obviously a joke, so maybe I'm wrong. Do tell me. Nah, the Red Gigas thing, that was completely ironic. I, I fucking hate anyone who asks me that question. I, I get, like, I feel the bile rising in my throat whenever I see it. I'm just like. I'm just like, please, just go away. <laughs> like, in the kindest way possible. Please, just go away. Uh, also, also, fuck you. I, th I think fuck the Regigigas you. Wars are over. <laughs> we we have to escape. <laughs> anyway, um, we're putting Licky Licky in C. <laughs> Alright, what's next? Uh, Growlithe line. Growlithe! Growlithe, uh... Growlithe line does not get any Prevo, like, the Growlithe line, there actually is a Growlithe pre-evolution, but it was cut, so blatant QB favoritism here. Uh, Arcanine has really, really big stats, but unfortunately it is a fire type, and fire kind of sucks. Uh, it basically is nine tails... Uh, but in this game, it has slightly worse availability because it doesn't have the prevo, but it's still like it's very better. meh. You could get it via the side quest, so they could just trade for the Hisuian Arcanine. That is true. There is an alternate way to get Arcanine. Uh, in Vermilion City, you just have to catch five meow. Yep. Perfect. Yep. And then you can actually trade it immediately uh, with Bill for History and Arcanine. Did you know that dual types are better than pure types? They are. Enjoy Stab yeah, Rock Slide. Cool. And an Orzis, which actually comes up a lot. <laughs> True! Pretty good. Do we need to look at their stats? They just have the same stats they do in the um, base games. It's plus 5 attack and minus... And I, think, I think it's less speed. But, like, not less speed that actually matters, right? Still has like nine yeah, years. it's like it's like minus five. Like it just takes five speed as to attack. It's basically the same Pokemon. Perfect. All right. Anything else to say about the the dogs? I, I think that's okay. Yeah, the council culture is coming for Radicate here. Wow. <laughs> Why is Radicate not? Wait, what? Will Radicate fear on Butterfree get lowered to C? Why in the world would they're at like the top of B? I have a golem in, in the CT actually, like a little golem. I agree. It's kind of bad. A little yeah, golem kind of kinda, Well, no, actually, I'm not going to because yeah. it still has the utility of Geodude and Graveler, right? It the, it's no electric. I mean, it's electric resist, I guess. So like, it's about the same. It has the utility of Geodude and Graveler. It's just that its final but form it's no is worse. 
But like this, the earthquake doesn't have stab on it. It's kind of there. There's no eradicate is better than sand slash arcane. No, it is. Mm. Remember, guys, this is this is in game. Obviously, in a vacuum, eradicate is complete trash. Yeah, eradicate solid in game. It's so good. However, eradicate joins you like immediate joins you. <laughs> um, you catch eradicate, uh, mm. pretty much immediately, and it gets hyperfang really early, which is really I strong. Think, um, for I the point in the game, like you the get it. I think it could be below Garrod, or like above Garados. I think. I think the fires are all like better than gold, at least. Because at least gold, like gold has sauce, like take damage to attack. Yeah, sure. We and can... that one's actually that one's actually affected by electric. We can should, lower a Lolan Golem. Is Eradicate good? Jump on Edu? Yes. It's actually been on a glow period. I was one of the early adopters. <laughs> Rat gang. I also use it on you. Don't use it there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's gonna. I know what is it? Ultima Power is like the number one Gyarados lobbyist. I I don't think Gen One Gyarados is that it good. It gets worse here, and I don't think it that. It gets worse here. I don't think that even with the Switch XP buff, that it's better. It's above the C, but I'm not. I'm not going A. All right. Farfetched oh, has an evolution. Luxwan. Did you think the Firo Wars were over? They're back. Because this thing is Firo. <laughs> what better? Wait, what? Oh, come on. You're not doing this to me. Oh, come on. Luxwan's better. So here it is. Uh, the Spinstar. <laughs> so, these are far-fetched stats. Obviously, complete trash. But you don't have to use far-fetched. It very quickly evolves into ba -ba -da -ba, Luxwan, which has these stats, which are actually pretty good, right? Well, 105 it attack. Slash never, it has slash. Yeah, it's drop back. It's got slash. It's got drop back. True, true, true. It's slower than Firo, but not in a way that really matters. 70 is still enough for in-game in Gen 1 with stat XP. Big differences between Luxwan and Firo. Uh, not the 105 attack. The big difference is the move pool, right? F level 41 slash is kind of late. Uh, it does get body slam if you give it the TM. It is an okay candidate for that. But that's the big difference. It body slams and Firo can't. Why did I put it below Firo? Because y you'll never guess why. Because I'm about the useless availability. <laughs> like it's useless here. It does nothing. It's because you, you get can Firo... just trade the Spiro. You just trade the Spiro, right? Well, you get Firo earlier. Firo Evo is like level 22. Yeah, yeah. You get the Spiro, and you could just trade it for a better Pokemon. Well, if you trade the Spiro for the Farfetch, you still have to level it up. You have to level it up either way. But Firo. Yeah, and you get it. Yeah, and you get the stonks. Okay, but Spiro Firo. Firo's level 20, see? Yeah, just don't evolve it for that. <laughs> just <laughs> press B, what the fuck? <laughs> I think Firo is... So, I, I, I'll justify my rankings this way. I think Lux 1 is marginally better, but not by that much. I guess that's what marginally means. And you just have Firo for the entire game. You have it for three extra gyms. This goes back and forth Firo. I hate Firo. I will always... But I've also looked about the strongest. Also, do you know this Pokemon is also one of those finished ones? You had to cry at everything. Ooh. I like Luxwan's design. Yeah, it was finished. Uh, they replaced it for. Uh, I think it was Mistrimus? I think saying that Firo is better than Luxwan under any circumstance is insane. I would agree, except for the very specific circumstance we're talking about, which is that you have Firo for an additional like, four hours. Which I think is pretty significant. Yes, I have a whole lover. Yes, the Feng Huang is good. But if you just gave me... If you just presented me with, like, a platter, and I could choose Firo, Luxron, or Dote... If you just presented me with, like, a platter, I guess of poultry, and I could just choose... Firo, Luxwan, or Dodrio. Obviously, I would choose Dodrio. 
But if I had to choose between only Firo or Luxwan, yeah, I would choose Luxwan. Oh, it's just Fancy Firo? Nah. It's not the same. <laughs> yeah, we are Dudra again. We're gonna sign an armistice for now. I'm sure the Firo Wars will begin again soon, but we'll take a brief <laughs> respite. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what this weird line is next to Surfetched, but I don't know how to fix it. So, here's Surfetched. It's got crazy... Here's Surfetched. You have to trade Luxwan for it on the SSN, so they have the same availability. It's got crazy attack. Huge attack. And it's got high jump kick eventually. I think we're just gonna put them together. Pretty good. You have to forfeit the spear you press B on. <laughs> so here's Surfetched. Like, actually, 425 BST, 4 Gen 1 is kind of crazy. 135 attack, wow. 65 speed, barely good enough for a static speed game. <laughs> it's not bad at all. Look at these moves. So, yeah, zero stab until level 29. And also doesn't get slash at all. But hey, it does have swords dance. And uh, the jump kicks are actually pretty good. And brutal swing, that's some dark coverage. Yeah, this thing is pretty good. Uh, it gets double kick at level 17. It comes with stab. Is this even possible, though? Because you have to trade Luxwan for it, right? So it's basically move reminder. No, we look is uh, level twenty five, right? Yeah. So it'll it have it start because with it, it gets the last. It gets so how it works is it gets the last four four moves it would have learned. Okay, so, so it comes with soul stance, brutal swing, double kick, and Leah. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Should we put it above Luxwan and Firo? One thirty five attack is right. huge. Yeah, I think it's all right. All right, next skirmish in the Firo Wars started faster than I thought. Put it above them. <laughs> yeah, it's better than Firo. It's better Let's than go. Firo. You can see it, e go. it even built a wall between itself and Firo. It really hates <laughs> Firo. <laughs> All right, next. Drowsy, I hate this thing so much. Drowsy and Hypno. Ugh. Ugh, he's right. At least they're psychic types, right? <laughs> like, they're legitimately good in-game Pokemon, like, I won't lie. And post-game, it gets, like, the biggest power spike of any Pokemon, because I've used your punches. Uh, but, like, I hate it on principle because of everything else. Like, why did I get that quest if I leave Green, man? Oh, where it, like, kidnaps the girl? Yeah, like, why did it do that? <laughs> like, I know I had that red and green Pokedex entry, but Jesus Christ, that was so on the nose. I don't know. Oh. I mean, I'm gonna agree that I really don't like Hypno. If it were up to me, I'd probably, like, just on principle, put it in, like, C or... I mean, we don't want to be biased here, right? Yeah. This isn't about my personal opinion. It's about the objective truth. And I think objectively, you if you're a Gen 1 Psychic, especially one that gets a huge post-game spike from Amnesia and Elemental Punches, I mean, that's got to be, like, at the very least, top of B, right? Nobody would argue with that. It is legit good, though. Like, I, I won't lie. Like, it actually is, like... <laughs> Sorry, what was that? I, I spaced out for a second. What? <laughs> it's legit good. Uh, I think in Gen 1, it actually has 115 special, right? Yeah, oh, it actually yeah. got bad for Mud use because of it. It actually got bad for Mud use recently. Like, Drowsy itself is, like, not a bad Pokemon. Like, it has really good stats for an NFE. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like, real talk. Stuff, yeah. Yeah, look at this. Yeah. Drowsy, in its base form, has 90 special. And then, yeah. uh, it has 115. That's actually really good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, like, Drowsy's seen use. It's seen use in Arbor and Lotus. 
because of its like because of its special. It's like legit a, po a good Pokemon. I mean, I'm I'm not being threatened, guys. Okay, this is my own free will. Yeah, it's, it's pretty it's good. good. Like it, like it's pretty good. Like it's a legit Pokemon. And like, if, uh, like, it, like it comes pretty strong as well. Like it comes, with, like literally just comes with stab and confusion. And uh, it's in Vermilion City, I believe. Um, yeah. And that's not for my changes. It's just it's just there. Probably the best in game Pokemon of all time. Like next, like a block with like tentacle and stuff like that, of course. I mean, R.I.P. Gen Two Special Split, where it's just horrible forever. But hey, what's yeah, good in this game? It. They took it out back, and I like, I, I look at like it deserves it for sure. But like, oh man. Uh, we got a five dollar donation from I don't cut myself. Mm. Oh, I can't. I would read what it says, but instead I have to go on a tirade. I'm sorry, Cheese. I can't watch you do this. Very sleepy. Good night and have fun with the ranking. Damn it! If my viewers abandon me, I'll never complete this tier list. The beds must be burned before the viewers fall asleep. And then you have to say, isn't that a bit much? <laughs> Is that that? Like... <laughs> you gotta say, isn't that a bit much? <laughs> Isn't it a bit much? Though? Burn down to their frames! <laughs> no one goes to sleep until the tier list is complete. <laughs> Thank you for cooperating. I thank you for watching. I don't cut myself. Hope to see you next time. Okay, yeah. Oh, I think Hypno in, uh, in like, low A, it is a little slow, but... Finally, Warcraft 3 bits with a co -host. They're gonna need, like, an instruction manual. To read all of these. Because there's a ton. <laughs> all right, I'll adapt you. eventually. <laughs> I think that's it. Next, Magnemite line. Four stages. Uh, Magnemite. Is, 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 this, is this the only Pokemon that got two? No, okay. Zubat also did. Oh, but that, you, you, you covered the bats. Magnemite. Just like Zubat, it actually gets two new forms. Unlike Zubat... <laughs> It's actually good. <laughs> Get in the zone. Magna zone. So there's actually an argument that you could use Magneton instead. Uh, because Magneton, uh, it, 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 it doesn't have the steel type. So like that could sometimes be helpful, depending on the team composition you got. So if you have a water weakness, you may not want to actually use Thunderstone. Um, but like it also is faster by 10 speed. So you could use either, and you'll still be you'll still be really good yeah both magneton and magnazone are really good let's look at their stats to find out why i, I think you probably already know why it has a good special so magnemite yeah, that's just that's base that's magnemite wimpy little single magnet magnemite 95 special that's actually pretty good uh it's got this new form magnetite uh, at level, th uh, it's got this new form, Magnetite, at level 20. Mm -hmm. You just, actually get these, thick. you get these luscious thighs here. I and, don't know what they were cooking. <laughs> and you get a minor stat boost. Plus 15 to all is pretty good. It also explains why Magneton is such a huge... Like, like Magneton is, like, gets it so much more stats for some reason. And, like, I never understood why. And I was like, I just saw the middle level. I was like, oh, they just removed it for God's fix it. <laughs> yeah, this does solve one of the mysteries, right? I mean, if there's Magnemites and Magnetons, where are the Magnetites? Checkmate! What are the Pokemon version of Atheists? <laughs> Uh, the missing else. link, we found it, Magnetite. And then at level 30, you get Magneton. Excellent stats. 120 special is amazing. Can't really go wrong with that. Even if all you have are electric moves. I mean, yeah, 120 special electric moves? Yeah, I'll take it. And then once you get in the zone, Magnezone, you get even more special 130. You gain the steel typing, which... It's not as much of an upside as it is in the modern games, but it is still, I would say, overall upside. And one of the main downsides of Magna Zone is, is that you lose uh, 10 base speed, but that 
matters the least in Gen 1 and 2, where as long as you have, like, 60-ish speed, 65-ish speed, you're probably going first anyway with static speed, so... I would overall say that you should get in the zone, but even if you don't, it's still, like, a very good special attacker. Anything else to say about, uh, the Magneton lines? Uh, well, the game I had to, I had, had to, uh, Magnezone, which, uh, means with Thunder Wave in play, uh, it could be very, very annoying to fight. <laughs> it could be very, very annoying. <laughs> Uh, hang on one second here. Could you, uh, sorry, could you repeat that? So I'm going to ask again. Uh, anything else to say about the uh, Magna, Magnemite line? Uh, so it's, so it gets Iron Head, mm -hmm. which means with Thunder Wave in play, it could be very, very, very annoying to fight. But make us just a better, though. So are you saying that you're going to paralyze them and then flinch them? Yes. Oh. Constantly. Wow, sounds like an unbeatable strategy that could conquer any opponent. <laughs> so I don't know if you've seen the Dunn video, but we just had a 37-minute Dunsparce discourse video. I've learned... I ain't watching that shit, sorry. <laughs> I've learned more about Power Flinch than I ever wanted. <laughs> Did you make that with, like, AI or something? <laughs> no, it was I was me reading it. I, I lost, like, five hours of my life. Wait, it's like... So like, like... Did you get it from, like, some some guy, or what? Like... It, there were comments on my videos. On the Gen 4 video. Oh! Oh my god. 37 minutes. Oh! I am so sorry. <laughs> At least people watch the, the wars unfold. Alright, we are... Oh, oh my... Maybe about halfway through? That's not bad. Probably more than halfway through runtime wise because we don't have to do the intro. So here we go. Alright. Diglet dig, diglet dig. Trio, trio, trio. trio. trio, trio. <laughs> do you like insanely good stats for the time you get it? There's Doug Trio. <laughs> there you go. Uh, it probably would not be this high if not for two things. One is that Gen 1 Dig is 100 base power. And the second is that you can just catch a wild Dug Trio in Diglett Cave, which is obscenely strong for the time you get it. So, S tier. Even though its stats are like kind of whatever. It also gets sick crits in Gen 1. As for... Uh, wait, where's the Alolan Dug Trio trade? Uh, I think it's in Lavender. Lavender so it's like yeah. really late. Yeah. But... Actually, no, it's, it's right. Te technically, it's right after you get it. Guess that is right after it? you get it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, and it gets Iron Head, right? I would guess. I'm just going to check that right now. Yeah, and it gets Iron Head at level 30. So I think it's actually just better. As for, as for, as for Doug Trio with the, the sick do, Alolan Doug Trio, the trade is in Lavender Town. Uh, you're slightly slower, which doesn't matter because you're faster than everything anyway. You have slightly more defense, which doesn't matter because you die in one hit anyway. But the big thing is that you gain the steel type and you gain stab iron head, which is actually really good because uh, you will definitely at least have the roll for the flinch chance. So I think it's just better but you get it a little bit later. So we'll mm -hmm. just put them next to each other. Really good. 20% <laughs> crit rate, by the way. Speaking of really good, here's something that's not really good. Wug Trio. More that's like fun, Ugg right? Trio. Oh. Oh, this thing is like C King tier. It, C -King. Imagine there being a C tier and being so bad that you can't even enter. Oh. <laughs> it gets it it gets water stab, but not that special. It ain't, much, it ain't doing much, pal. Um also, it's the fastest rapper in the game, like like is that. Uh, but it's not very helpful. It's really, really, pretty really bad. I really think it's finest. I think it's finest. 
You think it's finest? I really do. This uh, is it's... this is w- Wiglet, thirty-five yeah. special, level twenty-six to Wug Trio. Twenty-six levels for this. I'm telling you, it's finest. Oh. <laughs> Okay. It's finest. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna argue. Oh, it's hiding. I'm like, let's put it with... Leafeon. Oh! Uh, Leafeon's better than that, surely. <laughs> no. Like, at least Leafeon has availability. Like, no, I think, for a while. I think Wugtrio is better, because it does have a high crit rate surf eventually. And, like, 70... Like, it has to crit to do damage. <laughs> What's got 70 special? That's not unusable like, like it passes the taurus gradient but yeah. and it does have a really fast rap oh i mean there's no winners here right yeah yes yeah lost cause <laughs> all right uh. and now the moment that i don't know about all of you have been waiting for but the moment that some of you have been waiting for and it is 11.18 a.m. here, so I think I can say this. Deep breath. 2.18 a.m. here. <laughs> it's everybody's best... It's your best friend and my worst enemy. It's Onyx! Here he is. So Onyx gets an evolution into Steelix! Candy-coated Onyx. It's garbage. <laughs> Holy crap. Garbage! Hey, what did he do to you? <laughs> he ruined my life. That's what he did to me. Yeah, fair enough. So Onyx obviously no, is complete crap, right? That's not even a discussion. The thing well, is that is Steelix any better? And not really. So Steelix's best trait is that it's Steel, the most busted type ever. Except in this game, it's not the most busted type ever, so... You just get candy coated onyx. Interestingly competitive, it's actually like did really well because it gets like rap, well as bind plus explosion, which happens to come up. Oh yeah, no, um competitive Steelix is legit, but so is competitive yeah, but here Licky it Licky. sucks. You have to go to the power plant to get a melt cut. That's probably. Yeah, in order to evolve well, Onyx, there's two options. You can either level it up forever, which you're not gonna do. Or you can use a metal coat. And I think the first one you can get is power plant, which means surf. So you need to get surf to get 85 attack and 30 base speed. No thanks. Yeah. The alternative, alternative is to wait until, like, victory road, which is by that point you should be getting new Pokemon anyway. Yeah. That's another alternative to getting metal coat. Or that's an... That's another alternative to having to get Metal Coat. But how about this? Just use a good Pokemon? <laughs> Excellent work, co-host. I didn't have to say it. How about you use any of these things? <laughs> That's the real alternative. R.I.P. Steelix. Wugtrio should at least be better than the B. No, I think... Beedrill's better. At least it only has to get to level 10, and it's available earlier. Just put it in fire, just to hate this thing. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Boltorb and Electrode. I f- There's a massive cult of people who love this thing. It like, I hate them so much. Like, like Electrode is so shit, but they're obsessed with trying to make it good. I, I can't stand them. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to say that I like Electrode. I'm, I'm just going to do this right now. But, I mean, you do have a 30% what? crit rate. That's pretty good. <laughs> eh. Like, like, I don't know. I think, like, you basically have to use a TM for Thunderbolt, right? And, like, you could be using it on a good Pokemon. Like, you could be using it on anything but this Pokemon. And you have to go, like, really out of your way to get it. Do you? Like, it's, it's in the field right before Rock Tunnel, right? Like, it's still kind of out of the way. I don't know. Like, like most people don't even go that grass. Uh, uh, it's not. It's come, So, like, instead <laughs> of doing this... Oh, that's the wrong way. So, instead of doing this, 
you have to do this by like five steps. Yes. I wouldn't call that out of the way. <laughs> nah, that's all the way to me. <laughs> nah, but it's because I play this game since I was three years old. Of course I'd be doing that. But yeah, I mean, like, eh. I definitely would describe Electrode as among the it's really fast so it goes first and then what? Club, but it does crit you 30% of the time, and as opposed yeah, to like, Crobat, which has zero moves, Electrode, you at least like, can give it the Thunderbolt TM. I don't think it's worth it, like, which is why it's in, like, bottom of C like, here, but... Well, like, to, to me, it's like, if you were to give something Thunderbolt, it better have something for a rock type, right? Like, it better have something for it. Like, if, if you see a ground type, and, like, this comes up, like, decently often... Like, it's, you, your best move is fucking Sonic Boom. So you have to, like, switch out, do this whole, all, all this jank, just to use a lec the most unimaginative generic trick in the game. Like, I don't think a, it's that bad. I think it's that bad. Like, it's, like if it was his and Electric, I would think it could be there, because it actually has Mega Trade or something. It could actually do something against the ground type. But this doesn't. Like, well, at least Seeker can do a few things. Like, I don't know. Speaking of, Electrodes that can do something about ground types. What about History and Electrode? You can Mega Drain them, but when it's quadruple effective, hey, that 60 is actually 240. So I guess it's slightly better. Wow. <laughs> uh, Electrode Special is actually not... It's not that bad. It's 80? Which, Ooh, let's be right. clear, it's it's not good, but it does pass the Tauros gradient, and 30% of the time it crits you. That's really good. Yeah, like, eh, like, OG, like, I guess it'll be, like, the bottom of C. That's something. Oh, see, yeah, they call it the Bob Wolf for some reason in the book. I don't know why. Yeah, one four. I think Electrode and History and Electrode. This is Electrode. This is History and Electrode. They have literally the exact same stats. The only difference is that History and Electrode has the Grass type, and it can learn Mega Drain from a TM. So the new Grass types are pretty underwhelming. There wasn't much you could do with them in Gen One. They don't get many moves. I did my best. <laughs> I'm not exactly Electrode's biggest fan here, but I do think they are barely passable. Obviously, there are a couple yeah. electric types I'd rather use. Alright. Ah, oh, yes. The great dictator himself. Is it wrong to think if you're going to get hit at any point in Pokemon, you better be able to take it or else you basically make a monkey of yourself? The monkey yes. Pokemon tend to be really good. But mm. you, like, Alakazam dies instantly if it gets touched, but it doesn't get hit. Alright. Cruelette. Do you know that Tentacruel in Gen 1 had 120 special? It's pretty good. You can, also, you can still get level 41. You can fish it up really early, right? I think it's actually like S. I think it's actually super yeah, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can get a level 41 uh, near Cinnabar Island. It just don't happen to not have a good water for some reason by that point. Um, and it's just all around insane. It just does everything for you. Super crazy special attacker. I think, is it? The strongest water type attacker in the game, I think it is, with 120 yes, stab yes, by special. Far. Yeah, yeah, super it's not even good. Close. It's hydro pump deals just a little bit less than that Articuno's Blizzard. It's extremely strong, and Articuno's Blizzard is the strongest attack in the game, like bar none. I'm afraid that I'm kicking you off of this project because you just lied to all of us. Hmm? How could you betray Glaceon like this? Oh, uh, yeah, true, true. You have Glacial in this game now. <laughs> Answer for your sins. Thinking... You're off by five special. I was thinking of the vanilla. <laughs> true, in vanilla you would be correct. Yes. 
I don't remember the stats of all this over quick one a sec. Jeez. True. <laughs> but yeah, Tentacruel, super, super good. Actually available... I know Tentacruel is thought of as one of those hyper-available Pokemon, because anytime you surf, you run into Tentacruel. But thanks to the fishing overhauls, you can actually get it before surfing. And although it is a common Pokemon, it is not a bad Pokemon, especially in Gen 1. Super, super good. Uh, murdered by the Gen 2 special split RIP. But hey, this is Gen 1. I mean, even in later generations, it's still, like, good. Like, oh, yeah. It, uh, it, it's only a Gen 5 for Raidish. It's, it's it's always like a very reasonable Pokemon, but it's never the mm. monster that it is in Gen 1. Absolutely, yeah. I wish they'd just buff it back. Like, I, w I want to see the, the old Tentacruel again. <laughs> Today I will remind them. Speaking of cruelty, are you ready for one of the most disgusting Pokemon I've ever seen in any Pokemon property? Oh, yes. It's Toad's <laughs> This thing got banned so fast in Japan. It got banned so fast. If this thing was available earlier, it would be the best Pokemon in the game. I'm putting it here, despite the fact that you... I think you need Surf to go get it, because you can get it south of Pallet Town. Yep. What yep. if you had 100 base speed, Gen 1 Spore? I'm the ground type. Actually disgusting. It's crazy that it has 120 special, exact same stats as Tentacruel. It doesn't even use special attacks. If you're slower than this thing, you cannot win. And you're probably mm -hmm. slower than it. Gen 1 yep. Sleep lasts up to 7 turns, and you can't act the turn you wake up. It's yep. so disgusting. You can put your opponent to sleep, they can't do anything. You can Swords Dance three times, and then you can mow through the entire team with Stab Earthquake. Or you can just not do that and just Earthquake them off of 80 attack, you'll probably still do it. And if you really gotta cheese them, you can Rap. One of the most yep. disgusting, <laughs> absolutely degenerate, unfair toolkits. Yep. I'm glad this thing has been contained within a fan game. Absolutely obscene. Yeah. And funnily enough, in competitive, um, it can survive a blizzard from Starby, which is the only lead that could outspeed it and actually hit it. Um, so it would just like use, and it was better than Jinx because Jinx is like five speed less, and I was the fastest reliable sleeper before. So you just spore something, you sword stance three times, you spam earthquake, and you're probably gonna kill like at least like three of the team. There was nothing I could Oko it, so it always gets sleep off. So there was no reason not to lead with it. So it got banned in, I think, a day. It's one of the most powerful Pokemon in, the, in I've ever seen in any game. Like, when, when Scarlet Violet was, like, first, like, data mine stuff out, when I saw it, I immediately panicked. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> but yeah, in-game, this is ridiculous. There's no reason not to use it. Really good Pokemon Catcher, too, because you can just wrap stuff until, they, until you, go, you get there. Yeah, tons of utility, really, really strong. <laughs> I'm glad it doesn't exist in the modern games this way. Oh yeah, it's also some mute Thunder Wave too. That's crazy. <laughs> you can't even see wave the fucker. Oh man. Here's my warning to you. If you want to make a video with this thing, it's gonna get age restricted, okay? This thing is filthy. Yeah. All right, that's it for Toad Scroll. Blottle into Pendragon. C tier is looking a, a. Oh yeah, I guess I'll mention this. Yeah, th there's a reason why Toad Scroll in the modern games, where sleep is weaker but still had to be banned. I guess Smogon couldn't handle it. There's a reason why it has fun fungal force, whatever, whatever. Mycelium might. Mycelium might. <laughs> Close enough. Where it gets negative priority sleep moves. You can't have a hundred base speed spore. Otherwise you end up censored. Disgusting. Alright. Blottle and Pendraken might be Pen Kraken, uh It's Pendraken. Pendraken. Water fairy type. Well, it's a water type. It's a water type! 
So what, during development, this actually went under like a bunch of changes. So originally it was like a modern war type with no stats above the It was kind of designed to be mediocre. But then like as time went on, like we kind of like a bunch of people started using it in competitive, but like they were like they were like having trouble with like finding ways to distinguish it. So we decided to make it a water fairy, because that was the only type that didn't exist. And it kind of fit with like Gen 7 Mina's like idea of being like a fairy trainer with like artist things going around. It was a really cosmic sort of way to, to interpret it, but I think it turned out quite well. Well, it's if you're like a water victory bell. If your goal was to make it mediocre, you definitely succeeded. <laughs> Smashing yeah, success. Absolutely. <laughs> it's... Yeah, yeah. It's about all I have to say. If you want to make a called mediocre, just don't give it 100 at any start. That's it. That's the, that's the way. <laughs> that's all I have to say about this thing. Yeah. It has rap and hypnosis and that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, stop. That's a good It also make, gives you the sixth mono, uh, Pokemon. If you want to do a Mono Fairy run, this is your sixth. <laughs> Are there only six fairy types? Yep, there's only six. I think there may be a seventh, actually. I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, no. Screamtail's bad. That's why. Oh, panned. Okay. Right. <laughs> do you like mediocre water types? I've got news for you. We got another one. Royal Kazuna. So with this one, we, uh, because it's dark and it's weak to normal, we gave it like Hariyama style stats, and then gave it counter. So it's hit by a body slam, it just catapults you into the sun. <laughs> but in game, it doesn't work. Yeah. Hariyama type stats. That's. Well, one of the things about Hariyama is that it has a ton of attack, and this thing yeah. doesn't. Yep, indeed. It is a water dark type, both of which are special, so enjoy that 75 special. Not the worst yeah, thing ever. Slash is fine. But Night Slash is fine. Not very <laughs> exciting. And just the... Yeah, it uses like... Oh yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it can use like substitute plus counter, and in gem 1, if, if your substitute is hit by a normal type, counter still works. Wow. Very fun. Fun competitive cheese, but... Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> for in-game, spare me this wretched fake bulk. I just want to hit things. <laughs> yes, yes. It's it's not good in-game at all. We have to have some bulk will be mediocre in-game, otherwise... Uh, you, gotta have, like, you gotta have something to be like slimes. <laughs> well, at least it's a water type. Mm-hmm. And I think this yeah, is. Night slash is oh. it? Oh yeah, at least it's a water type, and yeah, it does get night slash eventually. Which hey, auto crit, that's okay. Uh, but the first form Ribito is just trash, as you might expect. So the chap goes in, goes in finest, right? It's got submission, right? Yeah, but like, look at everything <laughs> else. <laughs> All the other fight types get moved. This thing doesn't... It gets uppercut? <laughs> hey, it's got uppercut. I mean, it's not finest. It... I'm gonna put it like here. I don't think Machamp oh, is that bad. When you have 130 attack, you can do something. Even if fighting moves are pretty bad. I guess it gets good coverage. Uh, it's like uh, Rock Slide, Earthquake, Hyper... Yeah, it's like, smooth. okay, th th come on, this is... It's better, it's better, it's better than the, yeah, it's better than the, yeah, it's better than Electrode, yeah, yeah, okay. There Electrode, we go, yeah. okay, well, sure, I sure. know you hate Electrode, but. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm very biased against Electrode. I'll agree with anything being higher than this. Machamp. I do not subscribe to the Electrode cult. True. <laughs> Machamp in modern day, pretty good. Uh, Machamp in Gen 1, a 130 attack bot, which, hey, you could do worse than that. So, so fun trivia in competitive. Um, so with the champ, uh, it because submission is so bad, they often use low kick instead. But when hitting super effectively, low kick just does the same damage as a neutral ride on earthquake. So it's just really, really shitty ride on. <laughs> well, hey, at least ride on's really good. Hell yeah, it's pretty good. All right, next.
Kingler. I well, love this thing so much. It's basically Kingler. Hell yeah. It's got a lot of attack. It's got it a lot a of attack. It's got Hydra special attack, effectively. It's a GSC one. <laughs> Because, you know, if you, use, if you use a crab hammer, it's good. It does have... So, 50 special is total garbage. Uh, horrible, but... It does have auto-crit crab hammer. I'm not going to say it's good. But... It could be worse. You know, Soul Stats Hyper Beam is pretty nice. Yeah. One of the Pokemon well, that... If you want to... Nah... If he wants to buff, if if anybody wants to buff Kingler, what they've always thought about is like giving it like half bug type because it's a crustacean, and then like making Vice Grip a uh, bug move. Just a random thing there. Use this use this physical stab that way. It's pretty fun. <laughs> if you made both of those changes, I, I think it would actually be better. But yeah, as it That's stands now, scope. this cookie is soggy. It's in the sea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Use your vice grip, which now has bug stab apparently. If you edit the ROM, uh, a lot of oh. all together, right? a lot of similarities with Machamp, where you just have a gigantic stat that you're just trying to use, somewhat <laughs> successfully, but mostly unsuccessfully. Mm. All right, we're making pretty good, uh, pretty good time here. All right, the Slowbro line. There's three new forms to talk about. But we'll start with Vanilla Slowbro, Water Psychic, great typing. It's actually got great moves. Unfortunately, you will never go first ever, but they did warn you in the name, so top of the sea. Does Slow King have better special? Yes, it does. Okay. It has uh, the hundred special, so it's literally just like more immediate power. So it's basically better and worse defense, right? Yeah, yeah, worse defense. Okay, but that doesn't matter. So there we go. You yeah. should definitely just use Slow King <laughs> because Slow King has more special, which is all we care about. I think it's also a bit. It's also a. Oh, it's also a Heartstone evolution, so it, it is more convenient than so. You must be a psychic type, because that's that's what I was about to say. Uh, slow, oh, yeah. <laughs> slow poke is a kind of late Evo. It's like in the 30s. Hmm. Uh, but the Hearthstone Evo is instant as soon as you get to Fuchsia City. Speaking about the Galarian so. forms, uh, they both trade the water type, one of the best types in the game, for the poison type. One of the worst. A uh, horrible. <laughs> So, they're disqualified from the sea because they're not actually water types anymore. I think Galarian Slowbro is quite a bit worse. I don't really know what this thing does. It's extremely slow. But it does still have the okay. Psychic type, which is not that bad. It's just like, really, really slow. I'm just noticing how much of a, of a globe these sprites got. Because, like, these are, like, previous revisions. And, like, these two got such much better sprites in the final game. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I'll show you guys the final sprites right after this. I do agree the final sprites are a lot better. Uh, you've got Slow... Galarian Slow King, I think. Actually has 110 special, which is really good. It just wishes it was still a water type. Missing the water type is a really, really big downgrade. But, hey, 110 special psychic type. That's pretty good. Wish it wasn't literally named Slow King. So take a gander at these old sprites. I don't think they're bad, but I think you'll agree that the new sprites are better. So let's actually get those are new sprites. Oh, they're on the spreadsheet? That's pretty good. They are. I, th I think these are the new sprites. Let's see. So that's a Kingler. Here's Galarian Slowbro. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. It's got a little diaper. And I really like uh, Galarian Slow King. Oh, look at yeah. this. It's based on the, like, the Silver Sprite, I believe. 
but it works out. So oh wow! Evil. Great sprites uh, yeah. overall in this hack. They all look really good. Kind of hard to see in Shouts this video. To yeah. Shouts to Albatross for sure. It's so much good stuff for us. Hey, good evening, Cheese. What are your opinions on Pal World? Just kidding. You can't get me. All right, next. Crocky? Where are we? Here, this thing. Uh, yeah. Go Dragon villain! <laughs> Dragon Electric, uh, an extremely powerful type. Unfortunately, it doesn't get Zekrom kick. The Dragon Stab is kind of useless because it's literally only Dragon Rage, but hey, Stab Electric is okay. And Dragon is a really good defensive type in this game. I think my main complaint about Gavillan is the encounter rate is atrocious. <laughs> it's either 1% or 5% uh, within Rock Tunnel, depending on the floor. It's also a little bit under-leveled when you find it, but it's actually pretty reasonable. You do have to give it the Thunderbolt TM, but I think it's got 95 special, which isn't that bad at all. I'm thinking this is like a bottom of B guy. Hmm. Yeah, it went through a lot of revisions in development. Because, like, at first it was, like, Mono Dragon, while uh, Iguanok was Water Dragon. But we kind of, like, changed Ga uh, Iguanok to be Mono Dragon, and then we, like, went back and changed uh, Gavillan later. Uh, so, like, it, we kind of, like, just go through, like, tons of different things. But yeah, it gets, like, tons of tons of uh, different moves and stuff. It's basically just a big gimmick thing, uh, but it works out. Uh, the Electrotype was given to, like, distinguish it from, like, from, like, Iguanark in the end. Uh, but also because uh, it's the idea of it's like the, it's being like the flash crocodile, right? Like it, it it's got those big eyes, it uses something to like use flash. So may as well give it an electric type, right? I thought it was pretty neat. Yeah, these stats for a you know single stage Pokemon you don't have to evolve, pretty good. I mean, 95 speed, 90 special, totally fine. Uh, really good move pool, as a couple as a couple have mentioned, like, oh wow, look at this. Uh, a lot of the elemental beams. You get Slash at level 30. Pretty great. And, of course, I mean, it doesn't count, but... A h hilarious sprite, right? Looks great. Yeah. That sprite was originally made by Racy Beep of Helix Chamber, but we edited it to have the main original from the original sprites, because, like, in the Red and Green popularity poll, it was shown to have, like, this, this cool, like, little, like... Uh, 60s, like, main dress thing. So we thought it'd be nice to have it on there. It's yeah. like a peacock dress. Seems like it has a bit of Clefable going on. Roughly average stats, but also move pool. Yeah. Main thing is that you get Clefable way earlier. And it's much easier to get. Yeah, yeah. We actually had a boss fight of it at one point as well in Diglett's Cave. But we removed it in the end because it's a bit too, like... Too fat for Kia. Oh, okay. It would definitely be better if you could get in Diglett Cave as a guaranteed. But still not bad. Yeah, it was like level 30 and it like, just destroyed everything. <laughs> Alright, what's next? It's... Welcome back, MJDXP. Oh, jeez, MJ. Good luck on your tiering quest. Uh, are, are you heading out? Denning. FE7 sometime, okay? It's, it's coming up. Oh... All right, Rapid Ash line has been mildly buffed because you can get this new pre-evo form a little bit early. Uh, and then Rapid Ash itself has not been changed at all. Uh, Rapid Ash is okay. Uh, the main thing that holds it back is that the Rapid Ash evo is like level 42. You'd expect you'd get it's something okay. worthwhile, but no. You just get a Rapid Ash, so... Considering the extremely late Evo, I'm going to put it here, but in terms of, like, strength, like, all these fire it's types are basically okay. the same. It gets a glow up from the tradeback stuff in the post game, but, like, it's just aggressively okay. Yeah. There's, there's nothing to it. <laughs> aggressively okay sounds about right. So is the, so is the trade as well. It's, like, more like, it's just a psychic of all time. <laughs> yeah. Galarian Rapidash. It's definitely a psychic type. <laughs> that's good. Uh, in Gen 1, at least, that's definitely better than just being fire. It's, it's also a fairy type, but that doesn't really matter. 
you're probably going to have to wait until after Saffron City, uh, because you have to wait for the ship to come back, which only co happens after you beat Sabrina. Uh, you probably won't have a Rapid Ash before then. Uh, I would definitely trade Rapid Ash for Galarian Rapid Ash, but I don't think Galarian Rapid Ash is that great. But it is a Gen 1 Psychic type, so it can't be that bad. I'm going to put it, like, here. Yeah, that's a good I think they have the exact same stats, right? Yeah, they do. It's just a what is uh, a special, a full, uh, well, both full special attack. Yeah, it's quite sucking. Ugh. This is uh, vanilla rapid ash, one hundred attack, two bad fires special, eighty special, and then this is Galarian rapid ash, a hundred attack, two bad psychic and fairy are special, eighty special. So they have the, they have the exact same stats. All right. I'm curious. How is the premium going to be edited? I'm curious, too. We'll see. But as far as I, I think our voices are on different tracks, so it shouldn't be that, that much of a problem. Mm -hmm. What is next? Is it Gengar now? Oh, yeah. Ghastly. I, I think Haunter. we actually put Gengar in the final of Lavender Tower, I think. Oh. I don't know if that stayed. Let me put my lumber there, but I don't know. If I think it got there. Well, I don't know Maybe if we'll there's... Check it we can kind of check, right? Yeah, I don't... I honestly forgot. So was I it a static encounter? It stayed. Oh yeah, so, yeah. 5F. There's a... Uh, apparently there is now a 1% <coughs> chance to encounter Gengar... On the fifth floor of the Pokemon Tower. Ooh. Although I don't think that really matters, because even if you can't get the 1% Gengar, I mean, it's one of the best Pokemon in the game, right? Like, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's S tier as fuck. Yeah. If you can find the 1%, you're golden. No real changes to Gengar from the base game. It's, uh, you know, let's, get, let's put it with Alakazam. Uh, it's basically spooky Alakazam. 130 special is ridiculous, amazing move pool, immune to, like, 70% of the enemy's moves. A really good Pokemon. And even Ghastly and Haunter are both really, really strong. Gengar is like... you also get Ice Punch. Oh, yeah. And it also joins Alakazam in the Elemental Punch-Out. I guess they're fighting each other once you get to the post-game. Huh. It seems somebody's really mad about Rapidash. Who's mad about Rapidash? Uh, Jetblock Joe. <laughs> oh, they also think Fire Emblem Dancers are bad. You can just ignore them. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're, yeah, that makes they're sense. wrong about this unrelated thing, so they can't be right about anything else ever. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, uh, that's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I remember the ancient Pokeopolis episode. That was scary. Oh, yeah. Yeah, with like the like, arcs, marks of the body and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Now, I know the uh, Rapid Ash final Evo is really bad, but Ponyta's stats, despite not being fully evolved, are, like, okay. For a not fully evolved Pokemon. They're higher than you might think. Yeah, I guess a Lola Barrowick. Which also had a glow of its right so. Through three? Oh, yeah. Oh, ooh. Yeah, the new sprite is way better. The fallacies are fun. Alright, so Marowak actually has three forms we have to talk about. I actually don't even know if we should discuss Marowak because it evolves. Yeah, because right? Guardia is just Guardia is just like the evolved one. Yeah, so we're actually gonna I have skip a lot to over. Say about as well. We're actually gonna skip over Marowak because it's actually a middle form. Uh, Alolan right, Marowak. Sorry. Uh, nice. I think it's actually finest. It's actually huh? trash. It's a, it's a ghost. What are you saying? <laughs> well, the nice thing about these two ghosts is that it's immune to everything and it actually fights. Meanwhile, it's fine, surely. Zero ghost moves. 50 special. Yeah, you don't need ghost moves. 
50 you special. You don't need stuff to be a Pokemon. 80 attack. At least Machamp has 130. Why? 45 speed. What is this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and it loses Stab Earthquake. I think it's terrible. <laughs> But it does have some consolation because the the sprite is super sick. It's might actually be my favorite. Oh, yeah. Look at this thing. It's so nice. Really great sprite. Yeah, as Nick is saying, yeah, it is like one of the most nerfed Pokemon go back. Yeah. I mean, the ghost type is really good, but you have to be able to do something with the advantages it gives you. And a Lolan yeah, Marowak does not. You have to actually do damage. Yeah, it's so bad. Shout out to Albatross for the sprite, by the way. Yeah, it looks great. Oh, look, 44 bow. Oh, God. Horrible. It's probably going to be the very top of the finest, but I don't think it's good at all. Now, this thing I have a lot to say about. <laughs> yeah. I should also mention that the availability for Alolan Marowak is, like, a little bit late, because I think the trade is in Fuchsia City, so that's also some mm -hmm. minus points for it. It's right where you could use the heart for a certain Pokemon. Exactly. What Pokemon <laughs> you have could an that incredible be? <laughs> what Pokemon could that be? It's Guardia. Oh, yeah. oh, this Pokemon is something. So, if you're a Marowak fan, don't worry, because Guardi is pretty good. Oh, no, it's better than that. It's better than that. I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll no. see. Okay, I have a lot to say about it, though. Can I go on? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> We'll start by just showing the so, stats. Yeah. So, give me one so, moment just to pull those up. Okay. And then, uh, just one second here. Okay, so, here are the stats. I'm just going to read them out, and then I'm going to let uh, Plague take over, because they have a lot to say. So, stats-wise, it's alright, right? I mean, 90 attack, a really good defense, and most shockingly for me, 100 special. That's actually like pretty it. good, especially considering that Marowak was, like, strictly physical. Alright, go ahead. So, I, I can actually go, go right off this. So, uh, Marowak is a bit of a weird Pokemon in Gen 1, because it has stats equal to Sand Slashes, but, like, worse in everything but defense for... No reason. Uh, I and so a lot of people when they try to buff Rarowak, they like give it like double the attack, which doesn't even actually double its actual attack stats. Um, and also it's just importing GSC Marowak. So when I was making Guardia, I decided to instead go, uh, just look at what Marowak actually had over Sand Slash and actualize it. So we gave it 100 special because what Marowak had over Sand Slash counter and blizzard so you know just may as well play on that give it more special so it's a ground type and niche that wasn't in generation one and we could also give it some good defense to use counter with uh so this ends up with a very bulky monstrous pokemon uh now it actually gets sword stats in the post game initially i didn't initially decide this for that and uh, with sword stats it's pretty busted uh but yeah so the post game it just kind of goes crazy thanks to that um but yeah, so that's just a change I made over development. But I decided not to, you know, nerf, nerf the guard here in any way. Because it was fine. It's still very stoppable. Uh, but it's very, very strong. Yeah, this I is could... why I think it should be S. I think it's brilliant. I think that, uh, just like looking at this stat spread, this is some beef. 70, yeah. 120, 100 is insane. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, beef actually doesn't matter at all. So <laughs> I think it's like most amazing aspect. Uh, doesn't really count for us. Uh, but oh, yeah, it is absolutely. a very competent attacker. 90 attack, stab ground, and 100 special with actually a pretty good move pool. Uh, but I, I do think it, it is a bit late, and it's not, like, spectacular on offense. It is spectacular overall if you're counting the bulk, which for us does not really matter on this list, which is why I only think that... Yeah, uh, it, it just used Rhyperia, I yeah. think. I only think that it's an A, but... Yeah, it's not bad it at all. It's very fun. It's very fun to build as well, I think. Like, you could really, like, sit down and just, like, give it all kinds of different things. There's just so much you can do with it. Yeah, yeah. 
Somebody just brought up uh, Blizzard Earthquake. It might be the best at using both of those. Oh, well, actually. Yep, it is. Yeah, More no, than it, far. it's better than Mew. Because Mew doesn't have static ground. <laughs> it is actually usable in Upus, uh, funnily enough. <laughs> That's how strong it is. <laughs> yeah, very good. All right. Oh, and um, I think it was mentioned earlier, but it's a Hearthstone Evo. So you have to get to mm. Fuchsia City to get it. So same as yeah. Alolan Marowak, except this thing's actually good. Yeah. <laughs> you get the, 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 the difference. It's so real. The difference is just huge. Modern Pokemon. I think you'll like this one. Oh, sorry. I think you'll like this one. Okay. <laughs> Modern Pokemon designs are in the toilet. We get ice cream. We get trash cans. Why can't we go back to Gen 0.5 when we had a balloon? It's got really good stats. <laughs> like, shockingly good stats. Yeah. Boop. Look it's at like this. It's Gengar, but a bit different. Balumba. 125 speed, 100 special. It's a fairy flying type, by the way. And it has explosion. <laughs> and it has explosion. Unnerfed explosion. You can get it on Pokemon Tower. Uh, mm -hmm. But some pretty iffy encounter rates. Draining Kiss. Sweet Kiss, Confuser, A Charm, Dazzling Gleam. Uh. Oh, look at this special move pool. Lots of oh, special yeah. options. It's like, it's... We decided to be very similar to Gengar. But, um... It's actually part of like a little pet theory of mine, where like flying again bird was splitlands. I think this was meant to be the mono flying type. Hmm, that does make sense. Yeah, these are some shockingly good stats. Unfortunately, that flying stab's kind of worthless because fifty attack. But hey, one twenty-five yeah. speed means sick crits. Look, it's so easy. One twenty-five speed, twenty-five percent crit rate. <laughs> wow. And 100 special is more than good enough, especially with such a great move pool. Uh, I think pretty solid top of B Pokemon. Uh, just got some availability issues, and it's not like a powerhouse. It's mm -hmm. just pretty good. My favorite in game Pokemon. <laughs> Alright. Hopefully the finale <laughs> of the Fero Wars. It's so good. It's Dodrio. It's so good. I agree, it is really good. Is, is that good enough? Hell yeah. Okay, alright. Let's go. Peace has Let's been achieved. Go. Let's go. <laughs> Slightly better than Firo, later than... Oh, actually, yeah. significantly better than Firo. Significantly later than Firo. There you go. Yeah, you don't need to get Firo. <laughs> you don't, but you can get Firo. Firo's pretty good. Dodrio's... Obviously better, but it's just a little later. It comes it comes with try attack for Palmer's It's right next to fly. It's like they're begging you to use it. It gets drill pack really easily. It evolves after like I think it evolves after like one wild battle and then after Erica. And it just destroys Erica on its own already. It's everything about it is insane. And also if you want to get like a really good one, you could just get Dodrio on the cycling road one percent of the time. Which is just a yellow encounter. I, so good. In I every agree way. with all of these good things about Dodrio. I think 90% of them also apply to Firo, and Firo can do it from the start of the game. Why do you hate Firo? Because it doesn't get any good moves. It doesn't get tri -attack. It doesn't get Noble Step. And it doesn't come next to Fly. Like, it's, you don't need to invest in Sphero. It, it's true that it doesn't get good Pokemon. normal stab. That is probably its biggest... It I guess nothing. it does get Hyper Beam later, but... Yeah, Hyper Beam from the game corner. But, like... But you could just give it to Dodrio. Dodrio being next to Fly doesn't mean anything. Because you have Firo the entire time. You could also have Firo and Fly. But you've also had Firo before that. Peck and stuff. You could also drill pack stuff. You could just invest the XP into better Pokemon. Though. Oh no. Alright. The, the Fero Wars, they'll go on forever. <laughs> We're ending them here, okay? I, I think we can... As long as we can agree on these placements...
yeah, I think yeah, we absolutely. can bring the Firo Wars to a close. <laughs> Dodrio's pretty good. Uh, do we need to see the stats? I mean, we already know what the... I mean, yeah, I think I should show it's it. Uh, speed, attack. Just because it hits as hard as Solax, it's great. Also, I love this old, this retcon law about like, just like, it just, it's just worshipped in, in Central America, as it should be. Oh, yeah. Uh, just to, um, just to bring the Dodrio War, or just to bring the Firo Wars to a definitive close here, when we say that Dodrio is just better than Firo, we really do mean it, because Dodrio has 110 attack, 100 speed, and Firo... It has 90 attack at 100 speed. So bad. It's so bad. Just has 10 less attack? 20 and, less. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It just has 20 less attack and 10 less speed, but it has one more special. So, niche uses. Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. It's one fine. More special. One more special, come on. The one more like, special like, thing like, is a joke. That doesn't matter, but... I'm, surpri I'm surprised you don't... I'm surprised you don't, like, cope on, like, mirror move. Oh, oh, useful items. I mean, Dodrio is clearly better. Clearly better. The only advantage that Fear has is that it's available early. But to me, that means a lot. Yeah. All right. And I mean, we can at least agree that... We can at least agree that Pidgeot sucks, right? Like, it's not even yeah, yeah, yeah. invited it's, to the discussion. It's so bad. That's that what really matters. We hate Pidgeot. It has to be yeah, Pidgeot so fucking sucks. I actually, before I like started like making like YouTube videos, I did have a script that just ranted about how sh Pidgeot was. Oh yeah, but Sounds like, good. but I, like when I recorded it, it didn't actually go anywhere. Like, it was so weird. I mean, Pidgey also doesn't go anywhere, even if you level up to level thirty-six. So yeah, sounds, sounds like, like it was a good yeah. script. Yeah, it was like it was like ten minutes long, I think, about just like how bad Pidgeot is. It's like shockingly bad. All right. I don't think you need to discuss Mock much, right? Mock. It's so bad. It don't... has so much potential. <laughs> wow. Don't spell muck backwards at 3 a.m. Trash. Trash. Oh, it literally just turns 3 a.m. It literally just turns 3 a.m. What the fuck? <laughs> That's spooky. <laughs> That's spooky. Uh, muck was significantly buffed uh, with the special split. It actually gained a very usable special defense stat. I am not kidding when I say that that is a virtue. It can actually do things now, but in Gen 1, it's just terrible. It had like an Uber's niche in Gen 2, I think. Which is wild to think about. True. Yeah, it's... Curse. It just comes too late here. It's too late. Yeah. Super late, and because of its trash can special, literally trash can special, uh, even gaining the nice secondary dark type uh, doesn't help it that much. So Alolan Muck, definitely better, but I think they're just kind of staring at each other, exchanging ooze. Terrible. Oh, God. <laughs> Did you have to describe it like <laughs> 18 plus stream, okay? YouTube, don't ban me. Look, look at these stats. These are, I think, so this is, this is vanilla muck. Oh, horrible. Yeah, not the worst. Not the worst, but it's mono poison and a pretty late Evo. I think the Evo is in the 30s, right? 38 levels! Oh! 38 levels for this, and like, you have you to just, get... You could just catch a muck. You can't literally just catch a muck. Uh, you could catch a muck in the mansion to get these stats, and then if you trade it for a Alolan muck, you get the exact same stats. Except now you're weak to normal. And you're not even psychic immune, you're just neutral to psychic, because it's not an immunity, it's a resist. Yep. Very bad. You're actually neutral to psychic, yes. It's very bad. Ugh. Uh, I think Weezing will go to right next to it. <laughs> I think you're I think right. <laughs> Weezing is just worse in most that. Uh, it gets less moves. I think Weezing's actually better. Huh? 
Yeah. And we'll just do the same thing with Galarian Weezing. No, I think Weezing's actually better. Oh. Neat. Are you ready for this? I forgot if I put it at an earlier spot. So here is Muck. 65 special. Here is Dolgas. Well, that's actually Moth of Dolgas, Weezing. 85 special. And it's faster at a blistering 60. And it's actually got yeah, some pretty been... legit uh, TMs, right? I mean, you got Fire Blast, Thunderbolt. Uh, these are about the only things you're going to be able to do because uh, Poison as an attacking type is wretched. So you may as well give it Thunderbolt and Fire Blast in the post game because then you can buy them. No way you would actually waste your limited uh, first playthrough TMs on these things, but uh, Weezing at least has the option for that, and Muck is just worse. And uh, Galarian Weezing, it's definitely better, because hey, it's a dual type, and you get some dazzling gleam stab action, but yeah, it's, again... We're, we're really scraping the bottom of the barrel picking through rotting garbage to try and decide which is better. I'll take the dual type, but I'm not excited about it. <laughs> Everyone okay with these poison types near the very bottom, but with their dual type variants just above them? Hey, I get to talk about this thing now. Boy. Alright, I think that's it for the, those guys. Alright, next, uh... This is this a Tangela pre-evolution? Oh yeah, I need to go to the daycare. I forgot to drop it off I at think. the daycare. Don't don't tell you to. I, <laughs> I think so. At least I think. Oh, oh. you think you're gonna be sleeping at the end of the stream? It's three a.m. Amber. I mean, oh, it's three, yeah. three a.m. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hit. The second I hit that pillow, I'm gonna be as fast as old. Sorry. Oh, don't. Please don't feel obligated. I know. I like ranted earlier about um. Oh, I guess no, no, committing no, no, no. arson. I, 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 no, but... I, no, no. I'm here. For, I'm here. For absolutely okay yeah if you're too I love tired talking about this stuff. at any point feel free to bow out. i'll finish it but yeah, don't i forget. love this stuff it's great all right tangela gets an evolution into tangrowth before i place tangrowth let's take a look at the stats oh this thing is oh <laughs> oh <laughs> this is what the transfer game <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's got, the assault vest. it's got the assault vest. Wow. The only issue it has is that it has nothing. The so, stats, the stats have nowhere to go. Your mic cut out when you said the sad part. Please say it again. Yeah. Like, like the stats are insane, but like they have nowhere to go. Yeah. Because it's monograss. <laughs> Incredible so stats. Incredible stats. Mono grass. And the evolution level I think is quite high as well. With these moves. Where where is Razor Leaf? Where is Razor Leaf? I don't want to use Mega Drain. I, I give it a shit I don't give it a shit. How do you think I am? You use source as an earthquake. <laughs> I guess you can. Also, uh, I think Tangela's... I think it's evolution level's like 42 or something. We can actually like, you, like, you know, you know for stuff. Oh, level 44. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. Look, you want those stats? You gotta have to work for them. Yeah. You gotta have to work for those stats. Well. <laughs> I'm not doing it for the stats. I'm definitely not doing it for the type of type or the moves. I'm doing it for this sprite. Look at that. Adorable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's an Albatross W. Super cute. I've seen people think it's really creepy. Like, I've, some people like complain to me about it being really creepy. I was, no, I like it. I like it. it. Like, people complain about this game for a lot for some reason. Or is well, it like I feel like like new gen guys coming in and just like ranting about stupid things? I'm just like, edit it yourself. <laughs> exactly. Uh. Well, insane stats. Unfortunately, it can't really do anything with those stats. And it is fairly late game, and it's a high level Evo, so. 
I'm thinking like bottom of C. Very unfortunate. Uh, if it had Razor Leaf, maybe like top of B. Razor Leaf would be a huge upgrade. If it had like a dual type, maybe even A. But yeah, too many very severe negative factors, I think, uh, to really be placed that highly. Oh yeah, so regardless of Gen 5 Evil levels, um, it's a mix of factors. Not One of them was actually intentional. Uh, what happened was, um, so for the move-based evolutions, we made the level the same as when the move is learned. So Tangela learns, it learns Age of Power at level 44 normally, or maybe not. Uh, but like other times we had the Space World 97 levels, so Crobat gets its level 44 because of that. So, like, um, that's an official pre-French Pivo level. So I thought that was, like, a good thing to do. Um, yeah, that's how it goes. So there is basis for these very high EVO levels. It's not just, like, that they hate Tangela. I think it's quite convenient, anyway. I was starting out because, oh my god, it's a massive stat, stat stick. I think somebody asked why is Crobat so low, uh, because you have to deal with a new pre-evolution for Zubat. So Zubat is even worse, and Crobat is a level 40 evolution, and you Crobat itself is not that good. So you Crobat can't is just catch really Zubat, bad. But Zubat sucks. I mean, we did give Crobat's poison stab and that, put in some effort for it, but like, it doesn't help it. Yeah, it's really bad. We have our boost, I think? Uh, I think what were we talking. I think uh, that's it for um. Rambus. Tangrowth. Just a Tangrowth. So everybody okay yeah. with uh like bottom of C Tangrowth? I think so, right? Wish granted, Tangrowth is now a grass bug type. If only it actually got bug moves. I mean, that would be an upgrade. Uh, next. Why do people not get good moves? I don't know. Huh. I mean, it bounced around the vanilla Pokemon, so. <laughs> Rum Moose. Massive fail by the developers, not making this an electric type, even though they named it Ramu. Uh, it's a grass normal type with shockingly good stats. I was actually amazed. Like, they're not amazing, but I expected worse from legally distinct Stantler here. <laughs> Ice? It's like pretty good. Yeah, so with Ramus, uh, it actually does get some in competitive. Uh, like, uh, it's actually like really good at like dispatching Snorlax, for example, using Razor Leaf. Uh, the reason why it's grass and all was because, well, it has like leaves on its head, so like, eh. But I, I, uh, it did seem to have some electric. It got actually got a uh, Thunder Wave for some reason. It does seem that this did become Stantler, because a lot of the moves it has in the prototype Red and Green, which, uh, like, we have, like, some of the stats and stuff. Not the actual game itself, but we have, like, stats. So, uh, not stats, but, like, yeah, learn stats. Uh, it did seem to go that way. Uh, but, yeah, both are very interesting. It's, uh, it's very, very strong, for sure. Yeah, the, these stats, I think, you will agree, are shockingly good. 110 attack is great. 60 speed is very suspicious, but you do have stat XP. 90 special is not that bad at all. Like, it's actually very solid overall, and it was mentioned, it does get Razor Leaf. Yep. Uh, my, look at this. my friend decided the stats for it, uh, specifically to, like, check Snorlax, but, but not completely. And it worked out really well. Yeah, Razor Leaf, Razor Leaf... Auto crit, very good. Actually, pretty decent special move pool, right? You've got Thunderbolt, you've got Psychic, <laughs> Stab, Hyper Beam, Stab, Double Edge. Like, this thing's, like, kind of legit. The main reason I think I only put it in B is uh, it's a little iffy to get. Uh, you gotta wait till I think this is Celadon City and then a 5% encounter. Mm -hmm. so, uh, and, of course, Grass and Normal see it in the gym, yeah. aren't lighting the game on fire in, you know, your normal playthrough, but it's not bad. Mm-hmm. We do it's have very to. Fun to use. We do have to mention, because this basically is goat adjacent, and it doesn't have ninety-seven special. So this does fail the go goat gradient miserably. 
<laughs> a real shame because it actually has special moves that aren't surf. <laughs> But yeah, high. Where'd I put it? High B. Yes, pretty good. Above extra bell. It's probably better than Persia, right? Yeah, it's probably better than Persia. It's probably better than Booster. Look at this. Yeah. Sorry, Booster. All right. Next. Gen one fighting types. These all go with fighters, right? They're all kind of garbage. Like, I think you can put all three Zelda in left. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not putting <laughs> Hitmonlee in finest. Maybe the rest of them, though. <laughs> oh, no. Hitmonchan ain't gonna be at the top of that. Like, oh, no. I mean, okay. Like, look who, it's, look who he's competing against. Uh, actually, I actually might I put mean, Hitmonlee yeah, in. Yeah, it's worth the buck. Let's see. It's worth Hitmon the buck, surely. Hitmonlee is kind of legit. Yeah, it's, yeah, that was like okay. If, Him like, on if you top squint a little, <laughs> yeah, I like the second I saw that thing, I gave us thirty five. I was just, I was so sad. I was like, oh, man, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, little one. <laughs> so actually, wait, we have hit my, my champion. You know what? Hitmon Lee, he's uh, he's better than Machamp. He's in a class of his own. I think he's yeah, he's actually just better than Machamp. Look at look at this Hitmon yeah. Lee training arc. It's happening live. <laughs> I'll play that Rocky theme, yeah. <laughs> so if you're wondering why Hitmon Lee is so much higher than the other Hitmons, let's take a look. It has actual moves? <laughs> That's probably the big one. So here is Samuara Hitmon Lee. 120 attack is excellent. Uh, 87 speed is probably good enough, and probably the most important thing about it is that it kicks you, right? You got jump kick, which is like, okay. And you got high jump kick, which is, like, okay. And when you compare that to Hitmon Chan, this is the Chan, you lose 15 attack in exchange for basically nothing? What do you actually get? I think it's more defense. And it, and it has punches it can't use. And the only thing it gets is agility. It just gets agility, that's it. Oh my god. Fire punch, ice punch, thunder punch. All special from 35. Five special. Thirty-five special. Yeah, it's got nothing. Absolutely horrific. But at least it's yeah. not the worst because the worst is Hitmon Top. You thought one hundred five attack was lackluster. How about ninety-five? But at least you get even more defense. Wretched. It's somehow got higher BST. I'm like, I just think about that for a minute. It's got higher BST than the other two. And it somehow ends up being <laughs> this bad. Hitmon top. More like Hitmon bottom. Horrible. Oh, bad. <laughs> yeah, I guess it gets, I guess it gets smacked around a bit. <laughs> I'm assuming no complaints about the Hitmons near the bottom. The have, only I reason... Plenty, I have plenty of complaints about Hitmon Chan's place, but no way is it, be is it better than Steelix. Sure. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna argue. I I just. <laughs> okay. So there's actually like some. Fa so a funny thing that happened with Hitmonchan in the Overwatch community. So Edigami, who's like an absolute lab wizard for Army Y, like everybody should know that person's name. Um. So they actually managed to experiment with like how badly Hitmonchan lost to like a bunch of Pokemon. A reflect need around female can outlive Hitmonchan with Blizzard. So it just blizzards until it dies. And it was like, it got to the point where like people, uh, there's like some fan art made. This need around female just sitting on top of like, of like a dead Hitmonchan. Like it's like, it's like in the art, Ken Sukimori art style. Now. Like Hitmonchan is a gigantic meme in the art. Like just a gigantic meme. <laughs> This is like the sad pilot episode of an anime. You have to show the hero oh, at their weakest. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I guess we have to angrily read these uh, other Hitmon Top slanderous comments. I guess it's not slander if it's true. Hitmon Top? More like Hitmon Stop! More like Hitmon Flop! More like Hitmon Drop! Ugh, horrible. 
It's actually, I think, just worse than Hitmon Chan in this, which is really saying something because Hitmon Chan yeah, also yeah, sucks. We somehow made something worse. Oh man. Oh, apparently its Japanese name is Capoeira. Real, ex real creative, right? They literally named it Capoeira. They named it the Brazilian thing. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. I don't know why Hitmonlee is so high when it's more frail than Alakazam because it's never gonna get hit. Frailty it's like doesn't hit. factor in at all. I just assume you never get hit, unless your speed sucks. In which case, you're probably not that good anyway. Uh, is there like a... Is there like a pig Pokemon? That'll... Primate? That'll Annihilate. Annihilate looks pretty evil, right? Okay. That'll Annihilate's no match for the king! Draw. Oh, it actually is, because Annihilate's one of the best Pokemon in the game. And Kingdra's... I guess it's it's not even the king of the sea. I don't even think it's the best one in the sea, but it's definitely a water type. So I actually have a few things to share on this. So um so we so ever think about how like GSC's Kingdra is just RBY King RBY Cedra sold back to you. Like it they actually ends up having the same stats overall. Because it just took away the special defense to make it fall. So when you evolve it, it goes back to ninety five. So when you add it, it's so when you add it, King Dragon's RB1. It's literally just Cedra, but with a part dragon type. It's a scam. Uh oh. Is it is it time to reveal the I think it's time. It's time to reveal the dark industry behind the Cedra Kingdra scam cycle. Yeah, it's a scam. So here's Cedra. 95 defense, 95 special. Here's Kingdra. You get more attack, but who cares about that, right? Like, it's literally just a scam. <laughs> they took away the special attack to sell it back to you, or was it special defense? Yeah, the special defense, yeah. It took away oh, no, not my special <laughs> defense. <laughs> like, yeah, they made it 45 to sell it back to you. <laughs> like, like, that was, like, one of the worst revelations I ever came across when making this hack. I was like, what the fuck? Why? You know Why what? This? Hearing this trickery, I'm now on Team Dunsparce, okay? I want Kingdra to <laughs> lose to Dunsparce. Absolutely. Kingdra's a scam, bro. It's literally just like a Ponzi scheme, right? <laughs> they took away the... It's, like, it's, a, it's a classic Nintendo product right there. Like, just, just take a shit away to sell it back. The most Nintendo Pokemon ever. I'm definitely going to fork over extra money to buy my special defense back. Uh. At least yeah, in the modern just, games, yeah. Kingdra does get a lot of mileage out of the extra attack because a lot of the strongest dragon moves are special. Uh, if you want to dragon dance uh, and then outrage it up. And the dragon type does become relevant later. In Kanto Expansion Pack, though, the dragon type is... I'm not going to say it's useless, but it's not worth a lot. It means that you have no weaknesses, actually, if you have water dragon type. So that's the thing, I guess. It's not much. Well, I guess you have weak to fairy in this. Okay. So it's not so even that's like a thing, unfortunately. I was about to. So I was about to yeah, sacrifice about to out, two yeah. interns, but you, you saved yourself. No, it's it's weak to. Yeah, yeah. I, I literally like just remember that fairies exist. like you never fight them. <laughs> I'll mention that I'm also guilty of that exact same thing. Cause I think I said in the playthrough it has no weaknesses. Completely forgetting yeah. about fairies. They basically don't exist, so it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, in Kanto Expansion Pack, the dragon type is basically just defensive utility, which in this list means nothing. So it essentially is Seedra, but it has more attack. But both of its stabs are special, and one of them doesn't even exist because there's only dragon range. So, C tier. Uh, Dugong will just go straight there, right? <laughs> Speaking of C-tier, here's Dugong. At this scale, it kind of looks like it's flipping you off with its flipper. Pretty audacious I would be too. for a Pokemon as pathetic as Dugong. Yeah, I would be with two if I was in that scenario. If I was Dugong, I'd be flipping everyone off. God. At least it's got Ice yeah, Stab. Blizzard. Yeah, Stab Blizzard's good. It's about the best thing I can say.
Here's Dugong's stats. Any Ugh. questions or can we move on? This gets nerfed, by the way. This uh, yeah, why did it do that? This 95 special gets nerfed, by the way, in Gen 2. It becomes special defense, so enjoy it while it lasts. Oh, I think I think they actually buffed it back recently. I think. I don't know. I think actually. Uh, one second, I'm actually gonna check because like it's actually. Oh, this book was like the weirdest history. For for no reason. Anyone you know care actually about good use, by the way? Let's see. Oh no, Vinan. I'm sorry. I I I'm literally just like, I'm literally just like. It's still seventy. Okay. Seventy special attack. By the way, Jesus fucking Christ. Like, I will. It has nothing. <laughs> I'll cut the mistake so that you don't have to be sacrificed. But yeah, Dugong's pretty bad. <laughs> Yeah, it has like the BST of like a like an NFE. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, it really HP, feels 70 like attack, it should have another stage. 70 special attack, 95 special defense, 70 speed. If it had an evolution, it could be in the Catholic expansion pack. Oh yeah. Oh. See, that's why you should ask for it, right? <laughs> Next. Give it like a, give it like a bigger horn. <laughs> Cloister! Do you like the C tier? We've got Cloister. Before the special split, its special attack was actually kind of respectable, and Water and Ice are both really good, and it's not even that slow. It's, a uh, very it's really good, good C tier. Maybe like King of the C tier. Yeah, easily. I, I miss this thing so much. Mm. Uh... Super busted in competitive, like, tippy top, but for in game, it's just. Pretty good. We're getting some late availability here, though. It's not that high. Like it's like a, it's like a solid, like a minus rank Pokemon, but it's just still really good. Uh, but I really miss its old competitive niche. Like these days, it's like oh yeah, like like boom, so shell smash boom. It's so boring. <laughs> like like in the past, there's like this really like high octane, like it really like serious Pokemon, like like with like with clamp and everything. It's because Clamp takes like a, a lot of like strategic use, like covering. You can pivot into stuff. It does take like quite a bit of like thinking to like get close to going. Once it starts, it doesn't stop. It's really good. But like, I really wish it could go back to those old days. Like, I wish they gave it like flip turn or something to like sort of replicate it. But like, it's like yeah. a pivot. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, it was so much better back when it was a pivot. But that was just a shell special. You could just hate it. Boring. Eighty-five special. Yeah. Ready to play the stats? <laughs> Ten worse than Dugong! <laughs> but Shelter is an instant uh, yeah. Ice Stone Evo. So Fuchsia City, you can yeah. get it earlier. Check out this Pokedex awesome. entry. It's hard shell is extremely durable. Even Napalm Bombs have failed to reveal what's inside the shell. How do you think yeah, the napalm. scientists asked... For permission to bomb Cloister. It's like, is it alright if we <laughs> deploy explosives against this Pokemon? It probably this won't hurt. This is Cabin, by the way. Like, this is Cabin. <laughs> and yet, in it's the in anime, the, it took a lot less than a Napalm Bomb, right? It was, uh, Kingler did it. Cookie, cookie. He, like, smashed it open. That Cloister probably died. Really scary. <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, like, in the 1996 Cre uh, Creatures Inc. Pokedex book, like, it just says that. It's just like, oh yeah, we tried we tried bombing this thing, and, like, we couldn't break it. Oh yeah, somebody mentioned, Lieutenant Surge said there were Pokemon Wars, where he zapped his enemies into submission. Maybe they were normal flying types. Firo doesn't have the best special, right? Never forget yeah, the Blade Firo Wars. Yeah, also had an original design about that. Yeah, Blade's original design, before they got replaced with like uh that showed him like uh with with like the, the war outfit as well scary yeah it's a comfortable cheese i'm like I, I get comfortable eventually oh i do i start getting funny <laughs> don't don't show any remorse about destroying these viewers it's more mercy than they deserve <laughs> i think we've been pretty nice overall so far they've been, they've been pretty they've been pretty okay this time <laughs> all right there is a there is a brand new Shelter Evo. If you've ever wondered where the bizarre 
shelter attached to the Slowpoke family comes from. Well, here it is. It actually has its own standalone form now. Disturbin! It is a Waterstone Evo, so you can get this as soon as you get to Celadon, because you can fish up Shelter earlier. And it's got a lot of attack. In fact, it's basically Kingler. That's unfortunate. <laughs> You're not going to let me lose that one down. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it, it actually took a really long time for us to decide what the fuck to do with this thing. So, um, so when we, fi when we finally decided to add this, which is like really late into development, um, we already had like all the Pokemon get like the all water types again, like all the types. Like, so we decided like go okay, we gotta just go with like standalone like water type. And we just like okay, let's just give it like more attack, so it's like a like hoister. But we also have to be really careful with like the special because otherwise it would like it, it could outclass it instantly, stuff like that. So maybe it's like a a hoister with like a slower clamp and like higher special, and then, like more balanced attack and defense. Um, I think if it's transferred to GSC, it would probably be really broken. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's it has a better explosion. <laughs> yeah, I mean this thing also, is. Uh, it's also removed from the Spaceball demo. That's where it came from. So this thing is basically Kingler. <laughs> it's really good attack and defense. Can't really use either, and it doesn't even have Crab Hammer, unfortunately. And it's also a little bit slower, so. Do we it put it below? Clamp and explosion instead. It does have clamp and explosion, true. Although usually the service Japanese name is Tarban. Oh, it's just Turban. Yeah, it's just it's just Turban. Yeah. Do we put it below Kingler? Yeah, we did. It's yeah. <laughs> it's basically Kingler with slightly different, I would say, slightly worse utility. It does have a really strong explosion, but if your main utility requires you to kill yourself. Probably not the best idea for an in-game playthrough. You have to actually fight a bunch of enemies. Anything else to say about Disturbin? Alright. Next. Starmy! I only see one star on screen, but we already know this thing is five stars. Oh yeah, so good. Oh, it's gonna be higher than that, right? Sure. Yeah, it's it's that good. Yeah, it's so good. Great typing, water psychic. Like, what if the slow bro? Great typing, water psychic. So, what if the slow poke family was definitely not slow? What if it had a hundred and fifteen speed, and every move ever, five stars. Next. Yeah. <laughs> So Blastoise doesn't evolve from Squirtle anymore. It's still in the game, though. It actually evolves from this thing, Blast Tyke. And I think Blastoise is literally vanilla Blastoise, except now yeah, you have to wait for the Seafoam Islands. And I think I said when I first made uh, the Gen 1 tier list that Blastoise would be C tier if it was available later. And now... My dreams come true. It's yep. It's Blastoise. So like, Blastoise like it's like it's basically just the worst fully evolved water type in Gen One. Like in terms of like everything it has, the one issue it has is it doesn't get Soul Stance. And if it if it did get Soul Stance, it would probably be like one of the best because again it gets Earthquake, Hyper Beam, etc. But like it just doesn't get any of that for some reason, and it's like. Very little reason to use it because of that. It doesn't get any secondary typing. It could be able to grab one or two. You know, looks like it could. Um, but yeah, it just has nothing. Like, its stats are really mediocre overall. Uh, yeah, as Naga says here, it is literally just the most boring starter. It does nothing. It just hits things and nothing else. It doesn't get any big utilities. Like, it could use Withdraw, but like, Cloyster gets that and it, it actually uses Anubis. Uh, that's a fun fact for you. Yeah, it just does nothing. It's, it's nothing there for Blastoise to look at. Like, sub-90 in both attacking stats. Jesus Christ. At least it has 100 defense. Ugh. I'll say that's, that. why swapped the, that's why I swapped the stats for Totartle. <laughs> Kingler's looking pretty good. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. See? Kingler's great. 
I love that thing in Commander. It's so fun. You should try it. <laughs> Alright, C tier for sure. Alright. Well, we're getting all of our exercise in the pool now. Hey, look! It's a water type! It's so cool. It's so cool, though. It's basically it's... Kingler. <laughs> but better. <laughs> it gets it gets physical stab. It's great. That is true. Hey, look, it's a water type that's kind of slow with not quite unusable special, but hey, really good physical attack. Yeah, uh, it's actually is so cool. It's a water steel type. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Water steel type. Really fun. And it's actually right next to Blastoise for extra mockery. <laughs> but yeah, it actually gets physical stab because it gets these uh, steel type moves that it can use. Yep, and it even gets like Horde Drill if you want to be funny, I guess. <laughs> Although, how fun using it with that speed set. <laughs> Main downside, I would say, for this thing is just that it's kind of late and kind of rare. You gotta get it in Seafoam Islands. You gotta surf around a bit for it. But once you get it, also, it's totally fine. Four, four times weak to electric really sucks too. Th that is true, yeah. Because uh, remember that steel is weak to electric in this game. So you get zapped okay. real easy. If you put this thing at GSC, I think it would probably be like S T O U. It's really, really strong. It's balanced around the steel, the steel in this game. <laughs> I agree. Would be better in a different context. All right. Mm. It gave this thing so bad. It's crazy how quickly it drops. <laughs> Tor. Executor. Do you like 125 special stab psychic? I do. Pretty good. Oh, damn. We gotta believe it. Execute is very, very bad, but you can leaf stone it immediately. And then you have powders, and you have stab 125 uh, <laughs> special psychic. What powders? It's not have powders? Um, you know what happens when you evolve it immediately, right? You can't get the powders, but you can just go get the powders. From the move relearner, right? Am I, uh, am I wrong? It doesn't work like that. It has to be higher. I, uh, I believe it actually just doesn't work for these guys. I forgot. I don't. I haven't ever actually tested. Them. Um, but I believe it just doesn't get them. Oh. I think. I mean, maybe somebody who do like no life this game more than me would say, but like, uh, I genuinely did not test it. I, as far as I know, it doesn't work like that. So I'm guessing you'd have to get level 48 as execute to actually get sleep powder. Yeah, I like vanilla. Um, I mean, it's not that bad without it, regardless. I mean, like, it gets, like, you can't just use, like, like, I don't know, like, like double-edge, psychic, uh, mega trade, etc. Obviously, it's not great, but, like, it's still 125 special psychic, which is all you should be clicking, realistically. Yeah. Alright, so no powder utility. It's fine. You have kill utility. This is good enough. Yeah, also, 95 like of attack is not that yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it uses double edged competitive to dog jigs just because of that. It's legit great. I think it is. Is this higher than Needle King? Yes, I believe so. Yeah, I think modern Needle King has a hundred, but they were oh, really generous yeah. to Executor. It's Tachiri's favorite Pokemon. No, no, Ishihara's favorite Pokemon. Oh no, not Ishihara. We're gonna see him soon. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a perfectly fine book. Probably like B tier. Like I give it like obviously it doesn't get access to everything. Sure, we'll move it down. It is a brilliant Pokemon overall. It's crazy how far it falls in, in game. Like from being like like one of the most threatening Pokemon ever to just like oh it's okay. <laughs> well, big loser from the special splits. It lost like <clears throat> eighty points of special defense. Uh, it got murdered. It did not deserve that. It did absolutely not deserve that. Like, God. Like, it wasn't even that good at the time. Like, it's just, Blizzard was everywhere. So, like, it just kept dying to Articudos and stuff. And now it gets it's like, yeah, it's absolutely ruined by U-Turn as well. But, hey, at least in Gen 1, Bug wasn't a real type, so that wasn't an issue. 
Yeah. Although if you were lucky and you got crit five crit plus five hit pin missile, one shot one shot it. This <laughs> is so. the only way to one shot executor. <laughs> All right. So let's say that. Hmm. How do we say this? So let's say that you had an executor, but you just wanted a worse Pokemon. Well, great news. There's a Lolan Executor. What is this? <laughs> oh, it's so shit, yeah. Uh... Like, by the time you get to the Indigo Plateau, you've already, like, established your Executor. And, like, oh, yeah, what well, do you want to, like, make it terrible? Get rid of all his TM moves? <laughs> is, it, is it this? I mean, it's... I think it's that bad. I think it is. Okay, so the stats are very similar. However, the best part about Executor is Stab Psychic. Becoming a dragon type, dragon is special, and you do still have 125 special, but it doesn't scale your dragon rage at all. What moves does this thing have? I think it actually has nothing. Uh, no, good. Like, it's, it gets, like, the same moves as Executor, but, like, it's... I think that's Earthquake? Yeah, we gave it Earthquake, oh, so it's gosh. got, like... It is a decent Soul Stats user, but, like, it's just not Executor. Like, it's like, it's like Soul Stance Leaf Yard, but, like, quirky. It's got Earthquake. It's, it actually does get the level up Sleep Powder. And it does have... It can still Psychic, although it's half as strong, because it's not Stab anymore. And then this trade is on the Indigo Plateau, right? Yeah, so you have to, like, establish an Executor, go to the Indigo Plateau, trade it, get rid of your TMs... And also, you get rid of your static speed, so you can use this thing for the Elite Four. Ugh. Cool sprite, though. <laughs> um, yeah, it's truly a cat Pokemon. I'm thinking this is one of those Pokemon like Alolan Marowak that they just had to include for completeness sake. Yeah, those are some pretty severe drawbacks. Uh, I'm, I'm going to put it here, though, because it does it still have... It is a good have... Sword Stance user. Yeah, it is a Sword Stance user. It can Earthquake. The stats are still pretty good. It's just the moves aren't there, and then it loses the stab on Psychic, which is a, a huge minus. And you are also, going to be... Also, we have to use the debug. And you are going to be losing your trained Executor, and it is very late, so... Tons of... Tons of drawbacks. Yeah, so when uh, some people like debugging this game, uh, you know, like like Ishihara did, like it, like Ishihara did use Executor for it. So what I, so what we did instead, we actually put the Alola one there instead, uh, which I think was like kind of cute, I guess, <laughs> just to feel like the Game Freak developers, I guess. Which means you know, like being extremely high the entire time. There's a lot of there's a lot of blood sides, like so many bloods. Oh. <laughs> All right. I think that's it for a little executor. Next, Rhyhorn line, which gets the evolution to Rhyperior, which is one of the most straightforward Gen Four Evos. It's literally Rhyhor. It's literally Rhydon, but more. <laughs> it's... Yep, it's the superior Rye. <laughs> uh, the debate about Golem versus Rhydon has raged for decades. I think most people just agree that Rhydon is better. Well, Rhyperior is definitely better. The oh, yeah. issue is that Rhyperior is in the game way less than Golem. However, once you get it, it is better. So, I think we're just going to do this. Yeah, I felt really ha really good like uh, putting the uh, Protector in that specific... Like... I really did put a lot of work into like making Giovanni like be as like you know cool as he, cool as he is. Uh, I wanted to like really like put some put some work into him, just to establish him as a character. Um, and so Iperia being like law locked felt like correct. Yeah. Um, so no spoilers. And also, like, uh, oh yeah, oh, yeah, sorry. of course. No spoilers. Uh, but also but, like, uh, yeah. sorry, I'm just gonna say the availability. <laughs> um, no yeah, spoilers, yeah. but uh, to get. Right here, for story reasons, you have to beat the final gym, but chances are you probably didn't have Ry Dawn for that long before that anyway. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Also, uh, 
it's because of its the attack increase, it actually has a shot of like Okoing like tons of random Pokemon. It like Rhydon normally comes like super close, but like Rhyperior just goes, nope, die. It could two a slow I think, which is kind of insane actually. One hundred percent ten defense. Yeah. Super, super good physical stats. Can't really go wrong once it's actually in the game. Good Pokemon. I don't think we need to see the stats. They're good. Oh, yeah. If Rock Wrecker existed in its Gen 1 form, you might actually use it if it didn't have the recharge on kill. As opposed to its modern form, which is just an abomination. You could add it very easily into this game if you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The animation will be really complicated. Twelve forty-seven p.m. So it probably is safe to say. Scyther. <laughs> Very fast and strong. Bug flying type doesn't have either of those types to actually use, but great stats and it does have stab slash. So. Very bottom of B. Well, that we actually we actually raggy Scyther. Damn. That is basically a book one. Yeah, Scyther on its own, I think, does get to be ranked. However, Scyther does have both of its evolutions in the game. Both Caesar and I have no idea how you would say Cleavor. Is there an anime Cleavor line? We'll just make it up. Cleavor! <laughs> Very good Pokemon, both of them. So, Scizor has higher attack, and it actually gets Steel Stab, as opposed to Scyther, which gets neither Bug nor Flying Stab, so... That's a step up. 130 base attack. Edward Scissorhands likes it. <laughs> I think it is significantly better. Uh, where are we going to put it? Yeah. Up here? Like, that's a lot of attacking power. The main drawback of Scizor is that it's way slower. But because of stat XP, it's actually still fast enough. Which is not true later. Because, but it is true now. He also badge boost with either agility or stats. Uh, like, both of which make it, it really, really good. True, true. And then the main course. Cleavor. Cleavor stats are so good. And you get Stab Rock, which is about 73 times better than Stab Bug. It's much better. I'm actually going to give Cleavor... Hmm. I think like mid A. Oh shit! This thing is super good. Yeah, I can see it. No more assist is huge. So both Scizor and Cleavor are basically stone evos. Uh, by mm -hmm. the time you get Scyther, you have access to both of them, pretty much. Assuming you get the Safari Zone Scyther, but you can get the. It's literally a stone evo for. Cleavor, you need the black augurite. You get the metal coat either from the power plant, uh, or I think you can buy it from a couple places, but you can get the power plant one. Let's look at their stats. This is Scyther's stats. 110 attack is great, 105 speed is great. Enjoy using Slash, because that's your only move. At least it's a good move. This is Scizor. 130 attack, really good. 65 speed, good enough with stat XP, and you actually do get bullet punch, although it's not with technician, so it's not that good, but it's not bad at all, and hey, you get, uh, you get sword stance if you want to do that, and you have iron head, which is really good. A bullet punch. And here's Cleavor, 135 attack, huge, 85 speed, great, and you get stab rock. Rock Slide is level 50, but you could also use the TM. Uh, I yeah, think... Yeah, that's not much really wants to use it anyway. <laughs> yeah. I think Cleavor is, like, clearly the best. Just really, really good. And all of them win. Oh. And all of them win when it comes to the sprites, right? If I could, I think it's too low. Yeah. Uh, all of them win when it comes to the sprites. Here is Scizor. He's ready for action. And here is Cleavor. This guy is looking like... Hard 5 Gomer. 
Wait, is he the uh, is he the Shadow Dragon boss? Is it Gomer? Does anybody know? I forgot. <laughs> There's the. Years. Is Gomer the bandit from FE5? <laughs> I totally forget. 1X is Gomer, 1 is Hyman. I was correct. Okay. Yeah, Gomer. <laughs> So yeah, I think these are the placements for the Scyther forms. They're all pretty good, but Cleavor is the pretty best. Pincer and Triclops? What's this thing called? Uh uh, Triculis. Triculis, uh, okay. The, Jap the Japanese name is Prax. Ooh. Basically just Plux, I believe. <laughs> okay. So, Pincer and Triculis. I, I wonder why they cut Triculis, because it would have paralleled the Scizor evolution, but they follow sort they of the same path. It. They just replaced it with, with, um, what was it, uh, Heracross? They just replaced it with that for no reason. R.I.P. Pinsir. Eternally mistreated. But Pinsir has yeah. a really huge attack stat. It just doesn't have any moves. I think, I, actually, I'll put it next to Machamp. Because it's basically what it is. It has a huge attack stat, yeah. but nothing to actually do with it. Yeah, like, at least Scyther is, like, faster. Exactly, yeah. and has auto crit Slash. Yeah, I mean, no, uh, no Pinsir gets Slash, right? Does it? Yeah, but could have sworn I get slash. I'm like ninety percent sure. Yeah, I don't think Gasly. Yeah. Level forty nine. Yeah, it still gets like bind and stuff. Yeah. Level forty nine slash. Yeah, it's not very nice. Uh, wait, what's Scyther slash? A level twenty nine. That's yeah, much it's, better. it's it's night and day. Yeah, level night and day. Level forty nine slash is unacceptable <laughs> yeah well if you go to Tricules you get like uh, part of steel iron head stuff yeah Tricules is significantly better because it, it does have stab which is the main thing that pincer really lacks but it, it is also extremely slow so yeah. I think it's... Um, it's, not, it's actually a finished Pokemon by the way before cool. they cut it yeah, one of those Pokemon that was finished and then just chucked away. It had a cry and everything. Two Pokedex entries, too. Why would they dispose of these finished Pokemon? Yeah, here, here are... Um... Replace with Tyrogue? <laughs> Here's Tricules' Sprite. And... And here are its stats. stats. Like, wow, 125, 140. This 45 speed is... Pretty dismal. <laughs> ah. But hey, this number's really big. There's so many Jevon side raids that they were adding. Got rid of the wall. Oh my god, is that Warlord? Yo! Warlord. Like, go. Villainous Warlord. I'm not familiar with them. Yeah. From the hit Discord server, K Rolls Kremlin Cutthroats. KKC, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. I wonder if they if they cut multiple Pokemon for Sunkern, the most damage that Sunkern has ever done. All right. I love Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan. Oh, no, <laughs> it's a normal type. Oh, wait, it's an old type, alright. I'll put it with. Uh, it's probably worse than Licky Licky. Yeah, it's worse than Licky Licky. You got the same spot, come on! It's definitely a normal type. It's. It's okay. It 
it's just that it doesn't do anything. Yeah, here are the stats. They're fine. By this point in the game, the Safari Zone, you can probably do better than fine. 40 special is horrendous, mm -hmm. by the way. Yeah, interestingly, MJ, like, they coexist like this for a very long time. Like, Guardia and Kagaskan. They both coexisted with the cube in the pouch all that time. Really weird. Yeah. There's a two kangaroo Pokemon for a while. Guardia's is just way better, right? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. It's much cooler in general. Alright, next. Uh, Trampo, right? Trampo, yeah. So, huge lore-building Pokemon here, Trampel. They've retconned the Raichu entry. Raichu used to be able to bring down an Indian elephant with its electricity. Now, it's actually been changed to Trampel. And the mm -hmm. dex entry is still alive because Trampel is part ground, so there's no way it would be affected by Raichu. Yeah, it turns out that it was actually that they've actually put it to Copperage in recent years, like oh. with Ghastly and uh, Raichu. So it seems that Trampel eventually became Cop well, eventually became Copperage. Um, it's a really interesting Pokemon to me. Uh, when we decided it in Kep. We decided to make it normal ground because that would make it almost impossible to paralyze and thus a good user of substitutes, which in generation one lets status go through it. Uh, I think it worked out pretty well. Immune to body side paralysis and thunder wave is really big. Pretty good competitive utility. Now when you see an elephant Pokemon, you would expect big HP, big attack. How big? We actually nerfed this HP multiple times. <laughs> well, I wish you didn't nerf it, because this is kind of small. It had 134 at its peak. 134 at its peak. Yeah. 56 speed, 100 attack, stab, normal ground. It's not that bad. But I'm a little underwhelmed here. It is single stage. So you don't have to do any evolving for this. But yeah, pretty slow. You could do worse. You could do worse. I'm thinking, where'd we put Scyther? Like, bottom of, bottom of B here? It's probably better than uh, Triculus. Well, so I, I, it seems a bit damning at first. Worst Guardia? It's yeah, probably well, Guardia's really yeah. good. It is pretty rare in his Safari Zone. Yeah. I'll throw all those bits to it. Ah, it's better than Alolan Golem. We'll put it here. Yeah. Yeah. Easily. Just very middling numbers. Middling numbers are okay when you're in Mount Moon. <laughs> <laughs> and can stomp the rest of the Ouch. game. But by this point, you gotta do better than that, Trample. Yep, that's post, post nerf, Remington. Alright, next. The King of Gen 1, Tauros! Uh, I think I put Tauros in C in my original list because it was basically the end of the game. But considering there is a very substantial post-game for Tauros to fight through, it's actually going to rank a lot higher. So if you go through the trouble to get Tauros, which I think you actually should in this version, it's really good. I'll put it damn. like here. Yeah, damn, alright. <laughs> you can I never... I actually gave it a better lead set, I think. Hold on. Oh yeah, Safari is easier to get, and there's the Persian trade. You'll never get me excited for a normal type. I I, I, I can't. I just don't like normal types. But this oh, yeah, is as good as normal types five. get. <laughs> level 35 body sub was given. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's... That's my bias kicking it right there. <laughs> and obviously in competitive, this thing's like the best thing ever, but this is not competitive. Tauros actually comes with three different forms. Uh, all of the Paldean forms are here. So you've got the Combat Breed, the Blaze Breed, and the Aqua Breed. I think their stats are all the same, I believe. Uh, they're slower, but with more attack, which is terrible. So this is base Tauros. Has 110 speed, 100 attack, 70 special. This is Combat Breed. 
it is 10 points slower, but 10 points stronger. It's actually good for in-game. And the different breeds all have the same stats. They all have uh, 110 attack, 110 speed. And they all have that same 70 special. So let's see. You can get all of these the moment you get Tauros. You just trade them. So look at this. Combat breed Tauros does actually get jump kick. And it's got rolling kick. So it basically trades normal stab for fighting stab. If this wasn't Gen 1, I would say that combat breed was better. So unfortunate for combat breed, but it's still pretty good. They all have their own utilities, which is nice. Blaze Breed, it's only fighting move here is going to be low kick. I guess double kick as well, but low kick's better. You do get flamethrower. Also, th these sprites, I believe, are a bit outdated. Uh, uh, like in the end, we actually... Uh, I believe we modified the sprites more to like make them even more distinct. I think Ooh. it's like more detailed the fur, for example. Okay. I'll show the sprites uh, soon. Yeah. And then Aqua Breed is probably the best because you can give it Surf right away. And also, water is just the best type. Uh, but you do lose the normal stab. Uh, so here are the here are the sprites. Oh. Oh. I don't know, DFG are kind of fucked. Yeah, just like, just like in the actual games. And I'm just removing this because, like, a Scarlet Violet it just kind of fucked. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Here's the Aqua Breed sprite, very regal. Here's the Blaze Breed sprite, very passionate, I don't know. And here's the Combat sprite, which I think maybe looks a little bit too close to normal Tauros, but I think it has been updated since then. I think that one's been updated, I'm not sure. Maybe? Question mark? Like, sometimes the sprites get a bit disorganized, so probably to make a central... So for competitive, losing 10 speed for 10 attack is horrendous. It's a death sentence. But in-game, uh, losing 10 speed doesn't matter at all. And gaining 10 attack definitely does matter. I think they are all pretty close to each other. Normal stab is probably better than fighting stab. Just Gen 1 things. Uh, but I actually do think both of the elemental ones are actually better than vanilla Tauros, in my opinion. I'm going to put Blaze a little bit above, and I'm going to put Water above that. Yeah, I can see it. All um, of the, the, the entire Tauros somebody's... clan, they're all pretty good. But I guess this is how I would rank them. Yeah. So what do you say, like, the second stab is special, so it's above? Tauros' like, 70 special is fine. Like, it's more than enough when it goes alongside this physical stab. Like, the special stab is meant to be, like, an auxiliary. Like, the Blaze Breed uses Fire Spin to whittle stuff down, uh, and obviously it's Fire Blast. Uh, the Aqua Breed is a lot of Surf, which is for, the, which is for like, those random Pokemon you can't hit, or it's, like, more easily dispatch, like, a, a Rock-type, which often has a defense to handle it. Uh, the Combat Breed is just Smack or Drop Kick, I guess. Yeah, if Combat oh, Breed didn't have Drop Kick, or didn't have Jump Kick, it would be very bad. But it does have Jump Kick, so it's okay. Yeah. It has it to, like, distinguish itself from the others, like, you know, it's more specialized in fighting. As for combat breed in the actual SV, I don't know why it exists. It's so pointless. It's so horrifically outclassed by both of the elemental breeds. Yeah, yeah. I'm so glad I, like, took the time to, like, you know, like, I, like, like, when I was, like, because I only, like, designed these when the leaks were happening. Uh, so I didn't get the time to, like, look at, like, oh, yeah, it's, it's meant to be bad. It's, like, but when I realized, I was, like, nah, the because the idea is that, like, you're meant to, like, look amongst the bull herd to find, like, the the ideal one in I the game. So. Which is why, like, they spawn in, like, those little herds in the game. It's really silly. And, like, I think it could just go with, like, normal Taurus. Like, surely it would be fine, right? <laughs> Maybe. I think that's enough for the Tauruses, though. Everyone agrees they're all very good, just yeah. not as good as they are in competitive. Mm-hmm. Speaking of not as good as they are in competitive, Chansey and Blissey, in Gen 1, I think they gave Blissey 135 special, uh -huh. or something insane, but it, it's also special attack. The issue is that it is slow as sin. It is so slow. 
So I, I think we can't really put it that high. This thing will never move first, but you're never going to see Blissey this high again in an in-game tier list, and I'm only putting it in C. Yeah, in, in Ubers, uh, like, we, like, we sent this thing to Ubers really early because people kept stacking Blissey and Chansey on their teams, which was impossible to play. They, they made the game like almost impossible to play. <laughs> No stat doesn't matter when you have that much special. Don't you? Uh, yeah, you can like you can have like a reflect Blissey and a bolt beam Chansey. You can have a sing Chansey, and a bolt beam Blissey, and you can just keep using these like switching to and like no Alakazam was getting through that shit. It's so so hellish to play against. Yeah, one thirty five special indeed with a pretty good special move pool with TMs. The main issue is fifty five speed is probably too slow uh this is getting fairly late game and then although you do have a ton of hp so you can probably take a physical hit you are going to take a ton of damage you then have to pay to restore so for in game very unfortunate but it's not that bad uh there will be a better special attacker later don't worry and chancy is significantly worse i'm not gonna say unusably worse but significantly worse and you do have to level it up a little bit not too much all right so that is blissey at top of c i think that's okay all right Cactormus! Did you like Cacnea? <laughs> Did you like Cacturn? Did you like Maractus? Well, you're in luck. Here's Cactormus. It's fun. Yeah, yeah. It's better than Pidgeot, surely. Yeah, it's fine. Better stats than you might think. Yeah, it's designed to be like just like a fun Pokemon, I think. Some world building. Uh, there is actually a static... Oh, so here are the stats. I mean, 95 attack. 75 special. It is ground grass? Yeah, ground grass. Please no more Torterra Wars. I've had enough. <laughs> nah, nah. Great. Great, uh, great grass moves, huh? You know, Vine Whip, uh, I guess that's it. <laughs> Focus is more on, uh, on the crown end of things. The grass part is mainly, like, flavor. Oh, hey, Earthquake through TM, though. Yeah. It's just how Gem 1 is, baby. <laughs> Gonna be real, this is a pretty generous ranking for this thing, but... Stab Earthquake isn't the worst thing in the world. Hey, you can spend 1,500 coins for it. <laughs> I think that's it for Cactormus, right? Cactormus does serve a story function. It is a static encounter barring your way. So you can think of this as the pseudo pseudo wudo. What an honor. Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah, so the primary reason we made it, like, a game... Well, like, we made a game called a prize. It was because, like, there was nowhere to put it. Which I think is why it was removed. Like, there's nowhere in Canto that's a... And nowhere that would have a cactus. So, like, in the end we were like, okay, it's gotta be on the game corner. And so, and, and, so like, in the post-game island where, like, there's some Team Rocket stuff going on, mm -hmm. like, it kind of, like, linked up a little bit. So, like, a bit of quasi lore. Oh yeah, we're catching these things on this island to send back to Seldon City. I thought it was like a nice little quasi little bit. Ooh. That, that's a lot of care and attention for Cactormus. Hey, I, put, I, I spent a long time making this. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's pretty... It's like a very decent Pokemon. Wish it had Razor Leaf. If it had Razor Leaf, it'd be a lot better. I mean, how would it use it? It's like spiky. <laughs> Uh, Razor Spine, I don't know. <laughs> Signature moves. <laughs> Alright, next. 
Mr. Mime and Mr. Rhyme. So you get these decently early. You can trade an Abra for a Mr. Mime right after Diglett Tunnel. And then you can trade Mr. Okay. Mime for Mr. Rhyme on the SSN, which is immediately after that. I hate Mr. Mime. It's one of my least favorite Pokemon. You and me both. Oof. But yeah, it's good. It's good. <laughs> Don't ever call me biased, okay? Don't ever call me biased. Imagine not being biased. What the hell? <laughs> super, Bias super busted Pokemon. Both of them. Yeah. Rhyme is nuts. Probably the best Pokemon in the game, actually. Like, probably, like, near enough. It's so strong. It's close. So, this is Mr. Mime. 100 Special is... a little bit disappointing. I would just use Alakazam. But... I mean, you get this thing really early. And it, it is technically... Less work than getting Kadabra, but I think Kadabra's better. The main thing is that you can trade this thing for Mr. Rhyme. Oop. You get 10 more special, and perhaps even more importantly, you get secondary ice. Ice is super, super good in Gen 1, and you get it before the third gym. It's basically even better Jinx. It's very obscure, but it's very worth. Yeah, so you have to you have to be in the know. So you have to be in the know because you got to do the double trade. Uh, it's like the trade chains you have to do to get to get like the Bigoron sword. You got to do the trade mm -hmm, quest mm -hmm. Abra for Mister Mime, then Mister Mime for Mister Rhyme. But it is definitely worth worth it. Yeah, yeah, you hit the nail on the head. There. I was actually inspired from that. <laughs> These stats and this type this early in the game. It could only be an S tier. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna tap dance for you, but I'm considering standing up. This thing is very good. But hey, if you can tap that's pretty good. <laughs> I'm actually gonna move Mr. Mime down, it's a little worse. Yeah. yeah. Like, near the end of the game, it starts to fall off a little bit. Yeah, I, I thought it had the same special as Mr. Rhyme, but I was wrong. It's still really good. This is Gen 1 Psychic. Yeah, Mr. Rhyme is, like, giant stats. Like, technically, it's meant to be a Galarian Mr. Rhyme, but, like, when we were, like, compressing everything, we'd, like, uh, f swap for the Mr. Rhyme. I mean, just, the, less I, the, the less I have to <laughs> deal with Mr. Mime, the better, so thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we could all do with a little less of it in our life. Speaking of ice psychic types, here's Jinx. Uh, you can actually get the... So there's the Celadon City trade Poliwhirl for Jinx. Now normally you have to wait quite a while to actually get the Poliwhirl because of how late the fishing rods and surf are. But in this game, you can feasibly get it before actually going through Rock Tunnel... Which means that it's basically the same availability as Mr. Rhyme. It's a little bit faster, but it's a little bit weaker. But Mr. Rhyme is super, super good, so... There you go. Ugh, hate this thing, but yeah. Good. Don't ever call either me or Karma biased, okay? Neither of us like <laughs> these things, but they're very good. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Still a bile or is it Ah, uh, well then let's move on. We'll just have to agree that they're both good. 15 less special than Mr. Rhyme, but it still has oh, more than enough good. special. And two great types. Also, like, like you can appreciate that, like, we put the censorship in the game. That's true. the call invitations. This is the censored <laughs> version. Yeah, we could do, like, the, the, the virtual console method. Because they actually apply a filter over it for some reason. Uh, so we just, like, did the GSC method instead. <laughs> with the white hair. Ooh. Yeah, it, I definitely do appreciate... It's not offensive, it's just... Bad. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh no, it's, it's quite offensive. Anyway. Nah, it's still kind of <laughs> offensive. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, it's still pretty racist. <laughs> All right, next. Oh, they call this other side motion out there. <laughs> boo? I think it's just called boo. Yeah, in the Helix Chamber stuff, they called it. They called it. Um, they called it Frizzetti, but like that felt. Oh. So, it was such a shit. Uh, boo is its official name, so. All right. Boo. Are you afraid? I'm a little afraid. Can we have a stat that's at least 100, please? What is this? Hey, hey, have you seen the other ones? Have you seen Magmar and Magmar Electabuzz? It's part of the bunch, you'll go. <laughs> Don't remind me. Oh. 95 yeah, yeah. speed, pretty decent. 85 special, it's, a little bit disappointing. It's based on Wu from Ultraman, which I think is quite neat. Oh, I actually don't know who that is, but I, I guess I'll put them in the premium after I Google them. Oh yeah, there's lots of Google to do. <laughs> this is in Seafoam Island, so it is actually pretty late, but it is an ice type, and ice types are actually really good in this, so I give it a stab blizzard out of 10, which I guess is a C. Add fire to fire. <laughs> it actually might be a little better than that. Let's put it like... Yeah, it is. Blizzard's is pretty good. It gets lots of other moves, yeah. too. Like Thunder Punch and stuff. It's got moves. It's okay. Yeah, it's, it's just got kind, kind of suspicious availability. And... Yeah. It's not like amazing stats. Like, Jinx is doing all of this and more for like six extra gems. And it has a psychic type. Yeah. I don't know why you would ever use this thing. Unless you, yeah, it wasn't. It. it was decided to be like a law. Alright, that's boo. Electabuzz does have its evolution into Electivire. So Electivire gets a pretty massive attack stat buff, which is mostly useless. But I'm not going to say entirely useless. And its special is. Very usable. It's in the power plant, so that's getting a little bit late, right? You need surf, but it, it's it's okay. I'm thinking it's gonna be part of like the Safari Zone crew here. I'm, I'd probably rather use this thing in like a Lolan Golem, right? We'll put put next like Gavillan. Maybe this thing. Let's actually see what physical moves it actually gets. Uh, evolves oh, with it a. a lot. It also a Thunderstone, by the way, so you can get it as soon as you get Electabuzz. Yeah, it gets a lot of moves. Like, a lot of moves. So yeah, these are the stats. No, 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 no. It, it's perfectly serviceable in this game. 85 special is a little disappointing, but 123 attack is really good. Whoa! Yeah, it gets the Electabuzz move will add more, because it gets Earthquake and stuff too. Probably one of the best move balls in the game. Where did I put this thing? Like it's a Pokemon. It's uh, we we can move it up. That's that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. It has a, it probably has the best sprite in the game too. Um, its original sprite was significant. Maybe hereish, hereish. Yeah, it, it is was kind of late. skinny originally. Like um. So we had to like rework it multiple times. <coughs> like Albatross had to learn how to draw an entirely new body type. Ooh. <coughs> but yeah, it's like it's a Pokemon for sure. The sprite looks good. Better than the tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure. <coughs> Congratulations, Electivire. Yeah, it's a Pokemon. That's for sure. <laughs> it's definitely a Pokemon. Bolt Quake. Yeah, it gets, like, a ton of stuff. I would think Cheese would hate Xavier for being slow and relying on status. Just Psychic them. And you have stat XP. So, yes, I would hate it for relying on stats, but you don't have to. You just Psychic them. They'll die. Gorillamo. More like Gorilla Mao. <laughs> it's not that bad. So it's a fighting type. Yeah, it's normal fighting, and uh, we decided after 1967. <coughs> oh. 
yeah, uh, 1967 King Kong. Um, so it uses like Thunder Punch and stuff to represent its electric powers, and it also gets Amnesia to help with it. Um, so it's like it's got a lot of stuff going for it. It's sort of like Amnesia lacks. It feels more honest about its intentions. It's really interesting. It's definitely legally distinct Donkey Kong. It's very yeah. similar. I mean, it is a it is a gorilla, but this is another one. This is another Pokemon that, for me at least, has been a trend where you look at them, they're like very imposing. You would expect to see some really big numbers, at least in special areas, and then you get. You think you're thinking of new jump pills? Yeah, you jump pills here. <laughs> you get this. Yeah. A hundred attack, really? Yes. Gen 1 stats aren't that high. This is normal. 40 special. <laughs> 40 special. Yeah, it's fine. Even with amnesia, that's like a little suspicious, but a as oh, stated, really? Snorlax does the same thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is, I think, Safari Zone and a very mm -hmm. rare encounter elsewhere. Yeah, 1%. Yep, in the uh, special areas. 1% if not Safari Zone or a post-game area. So a bit annoying to get. Yeah. At the Pokedex entry, uh, it references the the artwork it came from. This was the last Pokemon we added. Ooh. Intelligent enough to craft items of clothing. Do you like crafting mechanics? Craft your oh. own legally distinct neckties. Ugh. I think it's actually easier to catch stuff in the Safari Zone. Because uh, the Safari Balls have the fixed Ultra Ball race now. Uh, yes, Jacob. Yes, you're correct. I'm thinking... Yeah, somebody said bottom of B. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, with the other Safari Zone crew. Pretty suspicious pretty availability. Solid. Pretty slow. But it's okay. You can do things with it. And it's good to go out of the box. Doesn't yeah. need to evolve, doesn't also, need to train. Also, there is some interesting stuff as well, because, like, the ancient like, the scripture part, it actually, like, sort of, like, references, like, how King Kong has, like, all those, like, ancient bits bits to its lore. So it's, like, it's kind of fun in that respect. Yeah, yeah. like, Godzilla vs. Kong, but also the prototype, the prototype artwork. I think it's, like, really neat. It's, like, a threefold reference. <laughs> Hey, Cheese, what's up with the shorted graphics? What do you mean by that? I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, God. I guess I'll... Oh, God. I'll wait for a response. Oh, God. I gotta turn Next the... One. I'll do it. I'll do it later. All right. Avert your eyes, okay? Because things are about to uh, heat up. You've heard of Boober. Well, here's Boo Burn. So Magmar gets a gigantic special buff going up into Magmortar. Magmar's special is like kind of middling in general, but had a really good move set, right? It's got Thunderbolt, it's got Psychic, it's got Stab Fire. It's clearly the best fire type in the game. Uh, I think actually, considering how much you can actually do with its massive special attack stat, I'm actually going to put this in S. This thing is really, really good. Um, am I in here? So these are Magmar stats. You only have 85 special, really underwhelming. You can just firestone it up immediately and get Magmortar's am In the special game, there are winners and, and there are losers. Magmortar is the loser. Sometimes you get tank growth, sometimes you get Magmortar. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that Magmortar was treated unfairly, because this is consistent with the way they treated the special split for every other Pokemon. Yeah. 
Having said the that, sister. I can't believe they treated Mag Mortar so unfairly. What is this? <laughs> and it gets slower. It loses yeah. 10 speed. Yeah. 395 yeah. BST for Magmar. 415 yeah. for Mag Mortar. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yep, absolutely. I'm absolutely kidding you. Yes. This is so sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna have to, like make it inconsistent for no reason. <laughs> wow. You see what people get when you don't get, do stuff consistently? My goodness me. Oh, I wasn't dealing with that shit. Buraki's gain, unfortunately, is Boo Burn's loss. So sad. Yeah. You get yeah, look, you got Umbreon, you got Tagrowth, you got Screamtail, you got all these incredible ones. One of them had to take the fall, and it was my water. <laughs> oh yeah. Unfortunately, Magmortar is basically Magmar. Magmar's not the worst thing ever, but I wouldn't call it good. Yeah, that's one of the best sprites of the game, though. <laughs> it does have a cool sprite. We had to do a lot of work because of the lips. On a, on a Game Boy screen, looked a little bit too Sambo-y. <laughs> so we had to, like, spend a lot of time, like, trying to, like, fix it up. <laughs> Yeah. I think it looks good now. Uh, yeah. Closing thoughts on Magmortar. It's basically Magmar, so... Excellent move pool, but very mediocre typing and stats, and very iffy availability. I would actually just rather have Stab Blizzard compared to everything that Magmortar has. If you want to know what it improves, it gets Thunderbolt now. That, that, that's something, right? <laughs> yeah. It's the only fire type with Thunderbolt, I think. It's kind of neat. <laughs> that is neat. I do... There is some good news, though. It has nothing to do with Mag Mortar, but... We need We need to get a 999 macro transaction from Louis Tymon. I hope I said that correctly. Finally able to catch some on the stream. Thank you. Sorry for the late acknowledgement, but I was busy having my sanity broken by the most injustice I've ever seen in a fan game. <laughs> Uh, Chris Bonet, so regarding, like, using the better in Gen 1, that is a terrible idea. Like, it's a terrible idea. There are so many Pokemon that just end up being, like, randomly really broken if you just use the better stat. It's not worth it at all. Um, like, eh, it just doesn't work. Like, like for example, like, if you want to, like, take, like, Reg Ice, for example, like, you just give it 200 special. Why would you do that? Why the hell would you do that? It's so bad. It just like it's just like this whole like oh yeah everything really stupid buffs for no reason. I'd rather not have that. So was the S placement a bit or was I actually blindsided? I I knew the truth. Okay, I chose to deceive myself and you, if only for a moment. No, I knew it was terrible. It's not fair. I was an acting major. All right, let's move on past this tragedy. Lapras! How many water ice types are they gonna add? Well, here's another one. It's a lot better than it is in vanilla, considering you get level 34 instead of level... True. Like, main level issue that Lapras had in the main game is that it was like level 15 after Sylph Coast. Like, what do you do with this thing? Well, now you actually get it kind of on par, and it's got... Water and Ice Stab. It's definitely better than Dugong. Hooray. <laughs> it's probably better than Cloyster, right? It's got better moves. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, like, shout out to Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee for, like, fixing Lapras so I could just steal the idea. <laughs> Congratulations, Lapras. I, I don't have anything to say about Lapras. Next. <laughs> All right. The screaming condom. Ditto gets a horrifying new form. <laughs> Mimeo? It is a normal steel type with... Sh I think it's water steel. Oh, okay. So, Ditto gets a horrifying new evolution, M Mimeo, which 
these are the consequences of applying a metal coat. It becomes pure steel. And its stats are actually... I think you're going to be shocked by them. Once I can actually pull them up. 100 base HP. 150 speed. Wow. Unfortunately, all of these disappear. And it just copies your opponent's stats, although your HP oh. remains. So the There's 100 HP actually. is actually a huge buff, because that's probably more than whatever you're transforming into. 100 There's is actually quite good. One thing you actually. It does keep the crit rate. Oh. Okay. Also, it gets Reflect, Light Spring, Mist, which all carry over when transforming. So you could use light screen to reflect, and you could have a reasonable shot surviving, and they could transform, and it'll be really bulky. It's okay. really fun to use. So this isn't just a, this isn't just a faster ditto. It's a faster ditto that can set up screens beforehand. Although remember that screens in Gen One are really bad. They only affect you, not your whole team. And then you actually keep your 30% crit rate, even after you transform, which is really nice. The only thing that you have to worry about is that you have to pay a one-turn tax each battle, because you still have to use your turn to transform. Also, I think if you use transform, like, 255 times, it just it just stops working, I think. Uh, I think, like, somebody did that in a solo robot. Like, 255 times within your entire playthrough? Yeah, within your entire playthrough. It just stops working. Okay, well, apparently there is 255 durability on your transform. <laughs> and once you use it 255 times total in the playthrough, it stops working? Actually, it, actually, it may be struggle. It's one of the two. But, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's weird. Well, uh, it doesn't really matter because I'm not even going to use this once. Worst Pokemon in the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just a gimmick. It's really fun. It's really, really fun. Taxation is theft, okay? A one-turn <laughs> transform tax for every single yeah. battle? Absolutely not. Alright, I won't tread on you. <laughs> if you've seen the Ditto version playthrough we did, the unfortunate thing about using Ditto is that you are then using your opponent's Pokemon, which are atrocious. No thank you. Worst Pokemon in the game, but at least it gets a cool new form. And this also kind of explains how in the later gens you get the metal powder uh, that oh, boosts your defense. Right, yeah. Or the yeah. swift powder, whatever it is, that boosts Quick your speed. Powder, yeah. yeah, it's kind of like that's the why. ground up metal coat. I I'm imagining that's why it works. Yeah. yeah, I never thought of it that way, but you're right. Yeah, That's Look so that. interesting. There you go. Zane is one of the best units in that game, and he's just Ditto. Well, he's in a Fire Emblem game and not a Pokemon game, so yeah. Zane can be good while Ditto is bad. Those can both be true. Also, Zane transforms into your units. So, of course, he's better. It could be cool if, if like, maybe you had, like, a transformer, like, let transform into your teammates. That could be really neat. But it takes Maybe. so much work. But even then, I would rather just use it. another Pokemon that didn't have to transform. One turn tax is really bad. Yeah, it is It is very bad. Speaking of Zane, I think he actually is in this graphic, which we haven't played for a while. Well, that's the wrong one, so that's why we didn't play it. Oh, there we go. Thanks to the mighty Patreons. And if you look under the rightmost column, there is actually Zane the Insane. I think it's one of the newest Patreons. Thank you for your support. Good unit in Fire Emblem. Uh, not in this game, though. And of course, everyone can smash that like button to help increase the reach of the stream. Thank you for your support. We are almost done here. Probably about another hour, I would guess. Because uh, a lot of these Pokemon coming up are like single stage. So we do have to talk about all of them. Alright, next. Porygon. 
Porygon in Gen 1, one of the worst Pokemon ever. I don't care what Big Yellow says, because that's not what we're talking about. <laughs> oh, why do you call that like that? But it gets <laughs> both of the evolutions, right? It gets Porygon 2, you get the upgrade right after Sylph, and then you can get Porygon Z as just a trade Evo over on Cinnabar Island. So you actually, as soon as you what? get trade? Porygon... No, it's, no, it's just a dubious disc. You just use it. Oh, you're right. Where's it's the dubious total. disc? I remember we did this. Dubious Disc is in? It's in Cinnabar Island, yeah. Cinnabar Island. So you, have a guy who works at, you have a guy who works at... <laughs> Alright, and he gives you the... Du I remember that. You're right. Okay. Yeah. His, his uncle works at Silphco, right? <laughs> he, actually, he actually does. So actually getting Porygon is a little annoying because it's primarily available in the game corner, but the game corner has been rigged in your favor, so... You will probably need the speed up button on your official Nintendo PC, but that is very fitting for having to obtain Porygon. Just mash A during speed up for about two minutes. You'll be able to afford a Porygon. Will you actually want to spend your coins on this thing? Because you can get it into Porygon 2 right after Silphco. You get the upgrade there, and then once you get to Cinnabar, you can talk to a guy whose uncle works at Silphco, and you can get the dubious disc. To then get you to Porygon Z. How good is Porygon Z? Oh boy. It's really good. It's yeah. really good. This is the Porygon Z that those Dipa theory crafters were afraid of. If you were there when right before if you were there before Gen 4 existed, people were saying Electivire and Porygon Z were gonna tear it up. They did not. <laughs> But at least in yeah, this game, possible. Porygon Z is a monster. I mean, Porygon 2 is pretty good as well. Like, Porygon oh. 2 is, like, default, but with stats. I gotta find this. Well, Z is, like, just a different... So this is Porygon 2... I mean, it definitely looks like a Gen 1 Pokemon, even though it's technically Gen 2. Can I have a stat over 100? Access the dubious disc? Yes, you can. You can have 135 special. Wow. <laughs> we have Nasty Plot, by the way. <laughs> that was going to be the, the next part of the scheme. What if 135 oh, special isn't good enough? Level 50 Nasty Plot, which is the same as Amnesia. It definitely needs... <laughs> it definitely needs TMs, but man, this is a good investment for your TMs. And keep in mind that the only thing that would theoretically resist the Bolt Beam combo is Magnazone. Except Steel is different, so it actually doesn't resist Bolt Beam. So Bolt Beam hits literally everything, and I guess you can also give it Psychic. <laughs> Yeah, so we actually banned uh, Porygon Z pretty much instantly when making this, along with Porygon 2. I think Porygon 2 would be right next to Z, uh, because Porygon 2 itself is a legit good Pokemon. It's bulkier and everything. Uh, there's a lot to that one, for sure. Yeah, in competitive, bannable, <laughs> in-game, a little bit late, but one of the best late-game cleaners. It's it's basically like Toad Scroll, where it's an instant win. Like, I don't know how you lose by using this thing. It's just that you don't have it for a lot of the game, that's all. It's easily stronger than Mewtwo. Easily. Like, not even close. Alright. High praise for Porygon Z. Alright, next. Omastar. Terrible. Well, okay. <laughs> Terrible. It comes. It comes ready now with buff. Like with the level buff, it's like there. But like, why would you use it? <laughs> it's not that bad. Like Kabutops is better, but like eh. Kabutops. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. There's no way. Look, 115 special. 
on yeah. Omastar. Yeah, we have Slash on Kabutops. Yeah, but this is 115 special. That's really good. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> it's got 115 special. That's really good. 115 special stab water. Uh, they are too used to ideas. Oh. <laughs> Come on. I try to avoid this thing as much as possible. So well, many the... better options. The big thing is that it, it gets the level boost. Like, the fossils don't start as weak as they were before. Which really helps. But I'm still not going to say this thing is good. It's in the sea. Yeah. Yeah. Kabutops, meanwhile. It's alright. Yeah, 70 special is pretty terrible, but 115 attack with Slash? I mean, that's basically Scyther. It's a great soul that season too. Where are we putting these guys? So I think Omastar is definitely in the sea. Because you actually get a very, very strong surf. I think it has the strongest surf out of any of these clowns in C tier. However, you have to do a lot of work because you have to revive the fossil and level it up to Omastar. And then you have Kabutops, which... I mean, I guess it's technically a water Pokemon and it has 70 special attack and it does have stab surf. But you're really just going to be using Slash. But you also have to level it up as well. So I think we're just going to put them together. Kabutops is probably a little bit better. At least we're not talking about TCG Kabutops. That thing is horrible. Oof. Any complaints about putting these primordial beings back in the sea? <laughs> I think that's fine. Aerodactyl. It's really fast, so it goes first. And then what? Well, it gets, uh... It gets Earthquake in the postgame. Uh... <laughs> uh... It's really fast... So 130 speed is great. 25% crit rate, I'll take it. 105 attack, that's pretty good. What moves are we using? You gave a Constellation prize. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> At the very least... In the post game, you can move relearner it earthquake, but by then, there's so many better things you could be doing. It doesn't even get rock slides. Well, yeah, did it get a vanilla? So, oh, my but there's always so much I can do. And rock, rock throw in Gen One is so bad. I think yeah. it's like 60 accuracy, 50 base power. It's horrendous. 65. Oh, it's 65. I'm sorry. Yeah, C tier. Hell yeah. At, hey, least, you get, good for it. at least you get sick crits 25% of the time. I wish I had actual moves. Oh yeah, this thing. Uh, I think that's it for Aerodactyl, right? Yeah. Sorry what to say about it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anything from the chat I'm missing? They're just complaining about Aerodactyl. Uh, someone asked me uh, asked to be on bed. <laughs> uh, oh no, alright. Well, I mean, I'll give them an answer now. Um, I'm not gonna unban you. In fact, I'm actually gonna ban you here as well. Uh, and the fact oh, that you, you can't really understand why you were banned is why you're getting banned. So, farewell. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, what happened there? That for the of ask. Oh, no, I can tell you, but um, it's oh, yeah, very sure. rare that people actually get banned. So we can actually do this. Oh, yeah. 
You never get to see this graphic. Yeah, like, 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 if one of cheese beds are like... Oh, they're very the rare. They never happen. They never happen. You gotta really mess up to actually get banned. Shit. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, but I mean it's some pretty standard, uh, you know, anti-Semitism hate speech. Yeah. Banned. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. 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 Uh, usually I feel pretty bad when I have to ban someone because I'm like, oh, no. But no, this time, like, you know, goodbye. <laughs> it's just, just gone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's just a sad issue. I just said, like, you should. I understand. I perfectly understand. Yeah. Yeah. But... So, not going to apologize for this one. Farewell. Uh, fuck that guy. <laughs> At least with the hot girls in my city, they were uh, robots. I was kind of, I, I do miss them. Oh, yeah. No, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with this one. Banned. Fozzy, my strength is failing. I'm succumbing to the allure of rest. If fate allows it, I will find you once more. It has been a while since we shouted at someone for this, right? We'll do it one more time. I don't think people will be too upset about, uh, it's like a, it's been like two hours since the last time we did this. Damn it! If my viewers abandon me, I'll never complete this tier list. The beds must be burned before the viewers fall asleep. Burn down- oh, sorry, you have to say, um, isn't that a bit much? Is that too much? <laughs> Burn down to their frames! No one goes to sleep <laughs> until the tier list is complete. Uh, I guess the exception to that is actually you, because, of course, you can go to sleep if it's too late. But we are almost done. Ah, we're, almost, we're almost done, it's like a sunk cost fallacy. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> oh, but yeah, other people were in the Discord for the original messages that got them banned, so, like, yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> it seems, like, pretty cut and dry. Yeah. Enough of that. All right. New pseudo legendary just dropped, uh, a substitute apparently by paying 25% of its health. It's the substitute <laughs> Pokemon that evolves into legally distinct Tyranitar. It's what? really, yeah. really bad until it evolves, and then it's pretty good. Why the doll? D for doll. You got the, you got the guy the. <laughs> Gotta pull up the stats here. <coughs> it's like really bad until it evolves. 15 speed. 15 speed. What moves does it get? A decent amount of TMs in terms of level up moves. Level 38 rock throw. Whoa. It comes at level 42. It doesn't come a level 42. I'm talking about the fossil revived one. Yeah. It's level 42? Yeah. The fossils come at around level 40. That's the Pikachu thing. There's no way. I, I I remember leveling this thing up. It did not start at level 40. Oh, maybe it's because Plus, I... I'll literally like look through my source. I'll look through my source code right there. Okay. Maybe it's because I caught it on Faraway Island. Oh, that would be why then. Yeah. Because the fossil of you meant to like you're supposed to arrive from fossil. I don't think I even like. Oh anyway, yeah. So scroll it down. Should be in the fossil room script. Why is it not letting me scroll? Huh? I'll wait for this confirmation. It's I crashed the second I opened. Sure. Okay, bro. Uh. That's not a good sign. It was asleep for a long time and never fully woke up. It stiffened the joints. I mean, it was literally dead, right? So, I guess that's an excuse for it to be a little lethargic. Oh, let's open. Giga Dweeb really believes in substitute camping. Okay, it's level 35 it comes at. Okay, so five levels you... of it being useless. Okay, that's not that bad. All right, so let's change this a little bit. New pseudo you just dropped. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. New pseudo just dropped. 25% uh, of its HP to 
Drop a substitute, apparently. Oh, okay, well. Is this pseudo? New pseudo just dropped, kind of. Uh, 25% of his HP to drop a substitute. It's Decilla. Absolutely horrific stats. Uh, but after five levels, it evolves into legally distinct Tyranitar, which is actually quite good. I'm really not thrilled about this, but let's take a look. <coughs> so this is the base form that you revive from a fossil, the substitute doll. 15 speed is atrocious. 90 attack is, is actually kind of okay. And then as for moves, well, you've got rock throw... In three levels, but you're starting off with Growl, Tackle, Screech, and Substitute. Incredible. You're probably never actually going to fight with this, because you do get it revived at Cinnabar Island. Which means that you probably have the EXP share by now. Slow XP group. But, once you get to level 40, you get... These stats! 124 attack is really good! 101 HP, that means you can make those uh, thick substitutes that don't break to seismic toss. 100 defense, that's pretty good. 30 speed is actually unsalvageable. <laughs> it's actually way too slow. Hey, 95 special is pretty good. Definitely not Tyranitar, by the way. <laughs> yeah, originally it didn't have very high speed, but like, we realized that like we didn't really have a special attacking rock type. So we kind of just made it Tyranitar. Like, we just decided to bite the bullet and go, okay, fine, here's your Tyranitar, take it, it's yours. <laughs> yeah, this thing is Tyranitar. Like, look at this. It's Tyranitar. Yeah. This says Gawar Head, but no, it's just, somebody edited that, okay? It's Tyranitar. We actually had an idea about having, like, an arc where, like, you see it in Victory Road, like, destroying stuff. Um, like, there's, like, the whole Godzilla subplot with Omega, but we decided to get it to the end. I think, canonically, uh, the Dex entry mentions that Gorilla Mao is tussling with this thing, but 30 base speed is so bad. Uh, it's... I, I gotta <laughs> drop it. I gotta drop it. Oh, damn. Oh, Jesus. Damn. <laughs> this thing is never going first. Ever. And you have to put the work into it, and it's available late. Alright. Legally distinct... Mecha. So we're going right into legally distinct Mecha Tyranitar. It is a pure steel type. <laughs> with good physical stats, but probably worse than you'd imagine. The steel type itself is not that great, and it's super, super, super slow. Damn. I am not a fan. Omega. 106 attack. Or Omega. 101 HP. 106 attack. 120 defense. Very solid physical stats. 25 speed. <laughs> 25 speed. I think Snorlax is 30. It's literally slower than Snorlax. Yep, it's had to be. <laughs> At least it gets stab steel moves. You get this at the very end of Silphco, by the way. Mm -hmm. Really great special move pool, though. Yeah, it, in competitive, it's often used to, like, um, stop, like, Mel Battle, for example. It uses the immunity, then uses Thunderbolt. Um, it's really fun. Uh, but, yeah, from an in-game playthrough perspective, it's definitely not fun to use. Yeah. It's definitely a purely a competitive thing. Also, we consider it to be a legendary. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, it's legendarily slow. It is 
way yeah. too slow. So I'm <laughs> putting in slow. C, but that's its main flaw. Too slow. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, it's Snorlax. I mean, it's Snorlax. Unstoppable. Really strong. Really, really, really slow. Too slow for me. What is it, Arden? <laughs> ah, but it's five points. Oh, okay, we can make this a little bit bigger. Ah, oh, but it's five points faster than Omega. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah. Way too slow. Way, way too slow. But, great physical stats. And hey, you can do Amnesia stuff with 65 special. That's something. But you're going to be doing it second, which, for me, is not acceptable for an in-game playthrough. Mm-hmm. Obviously, in competitive, it's much better, but... I've said that before. I think that's it for Snorlax. Screamtail! One of the... Oh, okay. I think this is actually the... F one of the first new... Is this one of... Is this the first... No, we've done other exclusives, but we'll talk about this. Screamtail! Deep within Mount Moon lies the Mount Moon Crater, a mysterious realm where reality is distorted and these legendary creatures that may not even be from our world can be found. Well, Wigglytuff sucks, so I don't know how good Screamtail is. This thing. <laughs> yeah, we, we had to pad this thing. It's pretty good. <laughs> Dominates the post game. Easily. 111 speed. 115 special. 115 HP! Psychic Fairy! Well, it's also 99 defense, don't forget about that. It takes 23% for a Taurus body slot. It doesn't even get- it doesn't even get uh, to a kill on crits. <laughs> the move list doesn't even fit on the document! It can literally rest loop Taurus, it's insane. Like, it does everything. You scream. I scream. We all scream for Scream Tail. How high is this? Like, I mean, really high, obviously. I think this is the zone of auto win post game, and this is one of your options. No, right? They weren't post game for balance. They were just, it's just how they worked in a Gen 9. You'd go there after beating the champion. This thing is literally okay. the cover legendary. <laughs> it's it's mm -hmm. so good. Only flaw is that it's not in the game. The moment you can get it, which is right after you become champion, uh, go on your Mount Moon Crater expedition. You won't regret it. The other one's just as good. <laughs> what is this thing? Sandy Shocks. Ground electric, right? I don't want to underestimate this thing. It's probably, like, pretty good, right? I mean, like, yeah, it's 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 probably like pretty good, right? <laughs> one hundred one speed. One twenty one special. With Stab thunderbolts. That's quick. Level up Earthquake, although that is level 70. You can just buy the Earthquake TM. Mm -hmm. Stab Earthquake. Wow. It's pretty good! 
Let's just put it in the auto win zone. Get in the zone. Auto win zone. It's the reason why this thing is post game. It's way too good. Yeah, in competitive, it's actually being kept in OU, and because people like genuinely just have fun using it, because uh, like you know, they're, they're, it's immune to Thunder Wave, but also hits with electric moves. So it kind of like blends the Zapdos and Rhydon dynamic in a really fun way. If anyone ever like wants to play on the Showdown mod at petsmodsdh.com, uh, it's probably what sort of the most fun you'll have in Pokemon. It really exploits the Gem One type charm. Shilling for your own mod? How dare you? You should play it if you're interested. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> They're both super super good. You should go on your Mount Moon Crater expedition as soon as you can. So as soon as you become champion, you can go do it. All right. Actual new pseudo just dropped. This thing, Iguanark. Uh, it is the pseudo because it is a level 55 Evo. Uh, and then it would have a 600 BST if it was in the modern games. So it's got really high stats. Eventually. Really, really eventually. Yeah. I do not like this thing at all. <laughs> We actually nerfed this thing a bunch of times in, uh, like on the showdown mod. Um, it very regularly got complaints initially because it had water stab and hydro pump. So it kind of like warped the offensive play a lot. So we had to nerf it like a bunch of times. Uh, so we, like, uh, it basically just became like a slash bot in the end. Um, I do feel like I could probably go back and like put it back eventually. Because like it is like, but then again, it's just kind of Kingdra again. So it's just kind of been left as it is. So this thing used like, to be, as was just stated, yeah. used to be Water Dragon. And in that case, it's 121 Special with Stab Surf was way better. However, we're looking at 121 Special with non-Stab Surf, and I think that's, like, about it. <laughs> I guess there's the Thunderbolt. Hole? Uh, your main thing you're going to be doing is 93 attack slash. Which ain't bad. <laughs> now, these stats in a vacuum are not that bad. However, of course, this thing does not exist in a vacuum. You have to get to level 55 for this, which is, like, definitely post-game. At which point, I think you do have better things to do than this. And the dragon type has literally no moves. It's just Dragon Rage, so... This 121 special is kind of deceptive. That's be the worst opinion I've ever seen. What the hell? So this high D placement... Uh, is considering all of the work it takes to get, including the fact that it is in the slow EXP group. If you just magically started with Iguanarch, I'd probably put it in, like, high B. That's what I would say. You could do it with the source code. <laughs> That's true. You could make it a water it's type yourself. I change too. <laughs> yeah. If this actually was a water type, I probably would put it in high B. Because I think it would then be worth the effort somewhat. Alright, almost done. Just a bunch of legendaries left. Well, let's... Dragonite! I think in my original Gen 1 list, I put Dragonite and their entire family in D, which I don't regret, because obviously it's really strong when you get it, but you don't start with it. You start with the Dratini. However, off the coast of Bill's Cape... There's a mysterious lighthouse, and waiting there for you. As soon as you get Surf. Level 55 Dragonite. So how good is Dragonite if you just get Dragonite? It turns out it's pretty good! <laughs> I 
Wow, great stats. You guys fly by trade Vex. <laughs> there it is. As soon as you can get as soon as you get Surf, go get Dragonite. It's pretty good. Great moves, great attack stat, usable special stat. Recommended. And hey, strongest rap in the game? I think. Yep, that's correct. Although if, if you have skill rap, for good measure. Although if you have 134 attack, I think you probably have a an easier solution to your problems than waiting 10 minutes for rap. Lance knows the strategy, just hyperbeam them. <laughs> All right. Articuno suffer Articuno suffers in the main game from being kind of absent because there isn't really any place to use it. It's very good because it has 125 special blizzard, uh, but it's just not in the game because you become the champion like right after you get it. However, there is a post game where you can then annihilate things with 125 special stab ice moves. I'm not going to say that Articuno is numero uno, but it's like numero... Dis? How do you say 20? It's numero 20, but in Spanish. <laughs> uh, if it was German, I'd be a little fancy. <laughs> numero viente. Oh, there we go. I don't even know if this is number 20, but it's very good. Zero investment for an incredibly powerful special attacker. Take everything that I said about... And we're going to skip a little bit around here. Take everything that I said about Articuno, and just instead of ice, pretend I said electric. There you go. I believe, we, I believe we also fixed it up its load set. I think it, I think it just has Thunderbolt now. Oh, perfect. So there's that too. Zapdos. I'm not going to say this thing is dos, but maybe more like Viente dos. Is that 22? Oh, okay. <laughs> Spanish speakers, please don't watch this part it's of the dos. video. It's Zapdos. <laughs> And yeah, we'll Moltres do Mol too. And we'll do Moltres now as well because Moltres is has and we'll do Moltres now too because Moltres is oh sorry. And we'll do Moltos now too because Moltos has actually been rearranged. It's no longer in Victory Road. It's now in the Cinnabar Volcano. So it's a little bit earlier. You get a little more use out of it. It's definitely a class below the other birds, because fire kind of sucks, but it's not that bad. Uh, it's way better than Charizard. And by way better, I mean I'm putting it above Charizard. It's the best fire type in the game. That's kind of sad. <laughs> but hey, good Wait, news... Good news for Moltos, it just has to wait 25 years until it will actually be OU. In a very power crept OU, so hey, just hang in there, Moltos. Even though I'm not even respecting you by calling you your real name. <laughs> Oh, Blaze Breed Tauros is probably better than Moltos, yeah. It's the second best fire type in the game. Hooray. Oh, that's depressing. Oh. Also, a fun fact, actually. Um, so, Moltres, uh, you know how it has Leah? Um, that was actually an error from, like, because it was exactly 10 hexadecimal places away from Flamethrower. So it seems when they put the hash in, they just, the, no, the hand slipped. Causing it to load Leo instead of Flamethrower, and they only fixed it in Generation 2. Oh, so that's why the solo run of Moltos is awful in Gen 1, right? Skits Leer instead of Flamethrower? 
Yep. 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 Oh, what's Mol Moltres in Japanese? Take a wild guess. So, Articuno is Freezer. Uh, Zapdos is Thunder. So, what is Moltos? It's literally fire. <laughs> so, it's Frieza, Sanda, and Faya. Terrible. All of the vanilla legendary birds are available before the Elite Four, so they can help you with that story arc. But once you enter the post-game, you actually get the uh, British version of the birds. They are all available. Galarian Articuno, Galarian Zapdos, and Galarian Moltos, all available on a post-game island, which has a fair amount of content on its own. But these are going to get a little bit penalized for availability. So Galarian Articuno, instead of Ice, it is Psychic. This is the only generation where that's not really an upgrade. <laughs> but Galarian Mo but Galarian Articuno is no slouch. It is really, really strong, great special attacker, but unfortunately it's not really in the game, so... Maybe like bottom of A? The only thing it can really help you with is Sylph Gauntlet, but that is a lot of fighting. Then you have Galarian Zapdos, probably the best fighting type in the game. Uh, fighting flying with really great attack, and more importantly, it actually gets the good fighting moves. It gets all of the jumping kicks. Uh, and the fact that it is a flying type means that, the f means that the Japanese names of the jump kick moves, which do involve flying, Tobi Hizageri, flying knee kick. Uh, it's actually very thematic. Best fighting type in the game. Yep. I'm just yeah, going to put it, it next also, to uh, Articuno. Yeah. So it it also happens to... Uh, uh, so if you're not confident about like getting it Oka, um, it does get Rolling Kick, which has like so it has a 30 percent flinch chance. It makes a really good fourth move. You got to do the tricky flinch tactics with these martial artist birds. Is it the best fighting type? Oh, I guess it's below combat oh, creep, but that's for... It's the best fighting type once you get it. <laughs> but you get it really late. And probably the one that benefits the most from its Galarian form would be Galarian Moltos. Uh, I think literally the reason why Dark was nerfed <laughs> in development. Uh-huh. It's probably the best of the trio because it's the most unique and it's a uniqueness that you probably actually want, assuming you didn't pick uh, Buraki. It's definitely better than Umbreon, but you've had Umbreon since Mountain Moon and you only get this thing once you're round in the final corner. So all three of these birds, super, super good. They're just not in the game. Yeah. Also, just like uh, just in competitive. Sorry, um, can you um, repeat that? You have to like... Uh, sorry, yeah, just like in it, just like in competitive as well. Uh, you have to kind of like go out of your way to make both Moltres work. Um, for Moltres uh, normal, you have to like uh, get rid of Starby and stuff like that. Uh, usually Chansey. While for uh, Galarian Moltres, you have to get rid of all the normal types. It, uh, but when both work, they are pretty much unstoppable. It's really fun. Yeah, and in in game, you can just smash what's left of the game with them. There just isn't that much yeah, left to smash. Boost. You just boost and kill, yeah. Alright, we're actually gonna come back to Mewtwo, because it's it's kind of unranked. It's literally the last thing in the game, so we'll just put him at the end there. Mew! Uh, the Pokedex order is actually a little deceptive here, because you can actually get Mew as soon as you get Surf. I'm not going to tell you exactly how, because I want you to find out for yourself, but you can look oh. it up within the Excel sheet, and I'll, I'll give you a little hint. I'll say the schoolyard rumors were right. <laughs> uh, it's a Mew. It's, you know, one of the best Pokemon in the game. Let's put it up here. Yep. Uh, from the moment you get it, it's probably going to be your best Pokemon. <laughs> Learns literally every move. Stab Psychic. Uh, 100 in every stat, which for Gen 1 is actually really good. It's insane. 
The only reason to not use Mew is because the game would then be too easy. That's all I have to say about Mew. I guess I'll just cover my bases. When I say it learns literally every move, I meant it learns literally every TM. Now I should be safe. <laughs> Mel Tan and Mel Metal. You should be higher. It can be obtained before Mount Moon. Am I missing something? Huh? That's not true, right? No. I'm not including glitches. Remember that they think dancers are bad, so you can't trust them about anything. <laughs> But they do watch every stream, so we can't be too mean. No glitches. Okay, yeah. So yeah, with glitches, you probably can get early, but I'm not counting that. Mel Metal into Mel Tan. So I'm going to start by saying that Pokemon Go ruined Pokemon, and I hate everything that Pokemon Go represents. And I'll start about Mel Tan and Mel Metal. So Mel Tan is absolute garbage. Uh, it's unusably bad. However, you're not really supposed to use it. How you get it is a dude in the Safari Zone gives you the mystery box, so he tells you to download Pokemon Go. The first hit is free. But at that point, <laughs> all you can do is catch Meltan, who is worthless. Basically, it only becomes a real Pokemon by the time you get the candy jar at the Indigo Plateau. So this is sort of a post-game Pokemon. Once you get the candy jar... What you can then do is play bad Pokemon Go. This is not a slight against the developers. They did the best they can, but when you're working with Pokemon Go, even if you faithfully recreate the experience, it's going to be horrible. So in that sense, they actually did a great job. Yep. <laughs> what you do is you then... You kill the belt, as it said. <laughs> you just use the mystery box. It turns every encounter into Meltans. Then you have to kill, I believe, 40 Meltan? Yep, 40. 40 Meltan, use that speed up button. Once you do that, your candy jar is full. You can then use the candy jar on a Meltan that you caught, and then it evolves into Melt Metal. Does Mel Metal have good stats? What's not shoot out of spite? It was not shoot out of spite. This is just me faithfully recreating the. This is the best I could do. <laughs> yes. It has extremely good stats. <laughs> One forty-three so attack. Fact, it's actually, it's actually less. It's actually less of juice than go. In go, you get like three candies per Meltan you catch, and it's actually really hard to. It has like a really low catch rate, so, and also you can only catch a set amount of Meltan. The experience it kept is significantly better. And it's still least... awful. <laughs> <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Well, props to the devs for preserving the horror of Go within the <laughs> Nintendo PC. But hey, insane physical stats. Oh yeah, it is up to still, yeah. Absolutely. But Level like, 72 yeah. Ironhead is a bit disappointing. I don't know if you're ever oh, going to reach yeah, that, yeah. but... With physical stats like these, you can just click random physical moves and probably delete your opponent. Hey, wow, look, it actually has a worse crit rate than vanilla crits. That's actually really hard to do. Amazing stats, but considering the horrible availability, I think we're actually just going to have to put this at the uh, very top of D. Oh, yeah, it actually does load a submission of that level in, in uh, Let's Go, by the way. It does load a submission level in one normally. It's insane. <laughs> Incredible physical stats, but an extreme chore to get, really late availability, and you are never moving first, which is a big problem, but... If you're stronger than me and you're willing to go through the work to actually get this thing, the physical numbers are really good.
And Mewtwo is the very last encounter in the game. It is the post-post game, so you have to finish the Sylph Gauntlet, uh, and then you can go ahead and capture Mewtwo. And I mean, it's Mewtwo. It's the strongest Pokemon in the game once you get it, but by then, the game is over, so... It's the daycare teacher. It learned how to love, okay? It's taking care of all these Prevos. What a nice guy, but it's unranked. All right. I think that's it. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, how long did Me I say this would take? Well. Definitely less than seven and a half hours. I'm gonna, in my yeah, defense... You said, you said three hours. <laughs> in my defense, when I said it would take half the time, it's because I wasn't going to talk about any of the old Pokemon, and it's because I was gonna do it alone. In the end, I'm glad we talked about every Pokemon, and I'm glad you were here for it, but it did take oh. seven and a half hours. Yeah, I'm Jewish. All I do is talk. <laughs> I don't want to keep you too long, because I'm imagining it is almost morning oh, for you. Shit. It's 5.23 a.m., and I don't oh, regret dear. anything. Okay. Oh, yeah, I got to teach at 2 p.m. Oh, shit. Thank you for your contributions, <laughs> uh, both in creating the ROM hack. I really enjoyed the playthrough, and in mm. soldiering through this tier list, where there were only a few casualties, I guess including you a couple hours in, but <laughs> it was justified. Aw. Uh -huh. Jeez, yeah, does this yeah. mean we're going to get remixes of the old tier list? Absolutely not. I, I think I did do the Gen 1 review, but that, that was only that because it was a long time ago. So I think the only thing we have to do now is we need, like, an outro. And then from then on, I can, like, wrap things up uh, on my own. Do you want the, I definitely do you want the got PVK one outro? <laughs> uh, what's that? Do you want the PvK outro? I think I still have it. <laughs> oh, maybe. I think we just need a... Just, like, something to say uh, to end the what will eventually be the edited video. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh... Well, thanks for having me, I guess. <laughs> will we be making more videos in the future, or is this the end? Um, so, it's very unlikely I'll make more videos. I have some old scripts... But I'm not motivated to make them anymore. There's a lot of reasons for that. Um, like, I've got studies to focus on, for example. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, and so I and also I'm, I'm teaching more now. I'm, te I'm teaching on Thursdays and Sundays. Um, so I need to prepare lesson plans for that. Uh, there's lots of other little bits going on. My personal life has changed a lot. They've got lots of friends now, which I didn't have before. Uh, yeah, I was pretty lonely in the past, but yeah, now I'm not, so it's good. Very happy. Um, but yeah, so don't expect much more from me in the future, um, but I may make a video sporadically, but I'm, don't hold your breath. Uh, I did, I kind of like release Cap to end on a high note. Uh, somebody tried to spite me during that, which was weird, but yeah, I, I guess. Uh, but oh well. <laughs> was they tried to snipe you or spite? Someone tried to spite me. Uh, okay. It was really strange. But I, 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 I won't. Uh, I, I won't delve into this if you don't want to. But spite's a gen. Oh, it's, it's, it's fine. It's it's whatever. Like, just happens to it just happens sometimes. Okay. But yeah. It's it's whatever. I'm what? pretty happy with the result anyway. Uh, I agree. No, it was. Um, I think that vanilla Gen One is defunct. <laughs> I think it's just better. Oh. Yeah. I'm glad it turned out that way. My intent was to just make Gen 1, but, like, the core experience were better. <laughs> so I'm glad that, like, someone like you enjoyed it. Like, someone like you enjoying it so much is, like, huge to me. <laughs> no, it, it, was re it was very, very fun to play through. I, I guess it's been, like, we never said this, but it's been seven and a half hours. We can say it now. Listen, viewer. Oh, wait, no, I can, I can actually make it the good guy, right? I have the good guy overlay. I do. Listen, viewers, there's something about the plague that you should know. You have to go to their channel in the description and subscribe. <laughs> Even though they might not be making any more videos. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.
Alright, so, I guess Plague hoped to end their YouTube channel on a high note. I would say that Kanto Expansion Pack definitely was a high note. So thanks to all of the viewers who are here to craft this tier list. Uh, and of course, huge thanks to Plague Von Karma for both creating the hack uh, and dealing with this hack for seven and a half hours as we fought the <laughs> Fero Wars. Hopefully, in the end, we can all live in peace. Yes. Wouldn't absolutely. that be nice? I doubt it. Please leave a comment. <laughs> Alright, that is probably it for what will actually be in the, uh, in the video. Eventually. We're talking in like two months probably, but eventually. Yeah. Next I have to make FE7. That's the next plan. Oh, terrifying. Best of luck with that one. <laughs> uh... So before we end here, just got to play these stock graphics. I know people love those. Uh, be sure to... Smash that like button to help increase the reach of the stream. And one more time we have to thank... All of the mighty Patreons uh, for their contributions. Mm -hmm. Thank you to all the Patreons. Uh, Evolutions do pretty well in this game. <laughs> Stream tomorrow. I am not planning on it. I think... Probably next weekend, though. Probably will do... I think Emerald only A. But don't hold me to that. It depends how long editing takes me. But that's what I'm planning. Black and White 2 tier list eventually, yes. But probably no more... Yeah, probably stream highest to do the editing. I'm going to do it during the week. No more Power World. <laughs> I think Power World is done for now. Well, damn. <laughs> there are the Smogon Wars, the Torterra Wars, the Cavalier Wars, now the Fero Wars. Yeah, there's a lot. Jerk. <laughs> um, I think there will be jerking today, but the afternoon jerk window has closed. So... Probably jerking at 4.30. I think I'm going to run there. Cavalier Wars, what was that? There is a oh, no. brief revival of the Cav Wars earlier, where those who instigated the wars were actually here. I'm not giving a GBA Cavalier three stars. Don't be obscene. All right, I think that is just about everything. Any tier placement changes? I don't think so. I think we've done pretty much everything. Yeah, I'm I pretty happy with how I agree with basically works. everything. All right, anything else? Anything I would tell you guys? Um. Not that I can think. Rapidash in D. I know you really hate Rapidash. It's not that bad. <laughs> I don't think I have anything else to say. For now. Mm. Aside from thanks for watching and thanks for enduring all of this. Uh, probably some... Some form of live stream next week. It'll either be... Emerald only A, or it might be... Hot Girls in U City 2. Oh, shit. <laughs> because I might... If I'm gonna sign up for another one, I should probably do it now so that I can attend one that has, like, the cherry blossoms next month. We'll see. Ooh. Time for another that? poll. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> I don't know if people would watch Hot Girls in U City 2, but I imagine in a year... Oh, I, I would. It's funny. <laughs> okay, everybody wants the Hot Girls... <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> we might do Hot Girls in New City too. You could do it. <laughs> I'll say it depends on depends on what I actually have to how the editing goes. If editing goes really well, then we'll do only A. Combine them? No. You have some miserable online experience. Okay, everybody wants Hot Girls in New City too. Okay. Tentatively. <laughs> Hot Girls in U-City 2. 
But I need Let's a thumbnail. Go. I actually, I already have a Flannery <laughs> Boober edit, so maybe we'll do that. Jesus Christ, bro. Hot Girls in New <laughs> City 2, maybe. Hot Place in New City. This funny thing is some, some guy, like, commissioned, like, like, NSFW of my VTuber avatar. What in like, the world? Yeah, like, there's two bits flo floating around. I was like, you know what, my character's not a success. Like, commission like, you know someone what? else, sure. right? Hmm? Is this just like, like third party and SFW? <laughs> yeah, some bloke just like went out and commissioned it, like base as fuck. <laughs> what in the like, world? You know, sure, bro. <laughs> if you can imagine, rule thirty four is a hell of a beat. <laughs> All right. Well, my my plan then is. We're not gonna do hot girls in you city only A. I don't think that's gonna work. But we'll do. We might do hot girls in you city part two. And we'll see what's new this year in term in terms of ridiculous speed dating events. Especially now that everybody can watch the edited hot girls in you city video and get an idea of what exactly it is we're getting into. But I think we're mostly going to focus on the hunt for interesting stock images. <laughs> and then maybe find a Hot Girls 2.1 final mix. Alright, so tentatively, Hot Girls in New City next week. We'll see. Alright. Thanks again, everybody, for watching... Special thanks to Plague for both making the mod and enduring this list. And I hope to see all of you guys next weekend for either uh, Emerald Only A or Hot Girls in New City 2, Dream Drop Distance or Final Mix or 358 or some ridiculous title. <laughs> That's what we'll do. Alright, I think that is it for today. So thank you, everybody. I'm waving at the camera. And then I have to move one of my hands away. Not for the jerk. That's in two hours. I gotta run there. But so that I can play the live stream severed graphic, which I don't even think is loaded. Nope, it's not. Whoops. <laughs>